Alrighty, everybody, how's it going? Welcome to uh live stream, right? No. Yes, yes, live stream. Now hang on a sec, time out. Um let me just fix the settings. My settings literally just went all crazy as soon as uh, I hit stream. So F me. Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can fix this real, real quick. Um, you might be able to hear the music if you can. Good God almighty. Welcome. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, do this. Do that. I don't know why, like, this decided to go on the other... It decided to just do its own thing, is what I'm saying. It decided that it wanted to, um... To go on the other window, or the other monitor. I don't know, maybe I need to restart the game. So let me just restart the game. Hang on a sec, we'll, we'll, we'll switch over, we'll switch over. Hi, how are you? Welcome to freaking Forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just relaunch the game here. But, yeah, so we're playing Animal Shelter Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're playing Animal Shelter today. I will get into the little bit of brief. Oh, dude, I don't know why. I don't know why it's over there. Don't go over there. Come over here, man. Why are you over there? Come on now. Oh, no. Don't tell me this. Hey, we're fine. We had the screen over here. We had the game over here. I went over and changed one setting. I changed the FOV in the settings, and now it's off to my right. Oh, you son of a gun. Please, let me switch the monitors. Don't act like this already, game. This is not how you're supposed to act. Uh, let's go back to default settings, I guess. Maybe let's go default settings and I'll switch it over. I don't know. Uh, nope, it does not. Strike one. Strike one. Um, okay. Uh, I don't even know what to, what, to, what, to, what, to, what to even try to do. I don't even know what to try to do. Um, let's see here. Maybe I can launch it in a different way. Uh, love the, like, love the technical difficulty. Just love it, right? Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Can I launch this in a specific way? Not controller. I don't know, dude. I, 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 I done messed up. I done messed up. Will I have to be playing off to the side today? I really, really hope not. I, I, I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm a little sour already. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. If I have to play off to my right, then I guess I'll play off to my right and I'll be looking this way, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, dude. But for some reason, it did, it was over here and then I, I changed one setting and then the, it just changed everything. Lots to see. If not, it's not, I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I mean, I can, I can, I guess, work with it. Maybe. And we'll just go from there. Because I really want to play this game today. I do, I do, I do. I know a lot of people are jonesing for this game as well. Hang on. Hang on. He might have done it. Hang on. Yo. Yo, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Hang on a sec. Give me a minute. I can't even grab it in... <laughs> I'm trying to grab it in... in um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. I think he's done it. Hey! Alright. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, now I'm facing you guys. Holy crap, I did it. I did it. I actually did it. Okay, yeah. Anyways. Alright, sorry for the te technical difficulty. We're back. Um, let me go ahead and just switch it now over and say, hey, we are playing a game that you should, like, honestly start capturing. Now my capture doesn't want to capture. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. This is Animal Shelter Simulator. Good God. Thank God we got past that. We're only, what, five minutes in? God damn it. Welcome, everybody. So, before we jump into this, I want to say a quick shout out real quick. Creators for Peace is happening this week. And Creators for Peace is a... Uh, we are spreading awareness for the kids in Ukraine. Over a million children that are displaced in Ukraine. If you would like to help support the cause, you can go by clicking the link down in the description below, and you can donate to UNICEF, where the money will go to the kids of Ukraine and try to bring them back some more normalcy. Now, when it comes to Animal Shelter Simulator, the game retails for $19.99, but right now, for the first seven days, you can get it 10% off for launch. However, 
you can get an even a bigger discount on this game. You can get it for 20% off for the first seven days that it's out. How can you get it for 20% off? Very easily. You buy it within a bundle. Um, if you own Gas Station Simulator, if you own Cooking Simulator, and if you own House Flipper, any of those three games, you can buy this game right now for 20% off. So that is really, really good. So today we're going to be jumping into this. I have been waiting for this game for a very long time indeed. I, I, I am. I'm, 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 I'm pretty low-key excited about this. I don't know how long we will be streaming for. I like told, you know, I was like maybe like four or five hours. Like I'm into it. Like I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm all in, right? So it's going to be a good, good fun. With that being said, I have now recently, the last weekend, the last Sunday, my part of the world, time has changed, so our clocks went forward, at least for us, so that means for some people around the world, um, I might be streaming at a different time, that's because where I live, our clocks went forward, so yeah, so sorry about that and any inconvenience to anyone about that, I have no control over us changing the time, that just is what it is and that's how we do things over here. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and um hopefully this doesn't change anything or like like mess anything up my god um let's go ahead and say hi to everyone sorry that i, I have a small chat log here so i'm sorry if i don't read your name but if you would like to say if you would like to say hi again no problem there so hello queen hello savage shorty uh hello darren hello goose giraffe hello chris comer hello debbie ray and that's all the names that i can see right here um but if you want to say re hi again so i can see your name absolutely do so I, I i'm i would scroll up but i don't want to touch and go in and out of the program because i'm a little scared that i might put the game on that monitor over there so yeah hello zachary gaming how are you hello pug how are you hello bliss langstaff hello benny how are you and hello patrick how are you good to see you your clocks don't change until the 27th really that's very interesting hello simplify chaos daylight saving times is lame i know right I don't like it. <laughs> I don't get it and I don't like it. I think there was a act. I don't know. I don't know if if like we signed a or not I say we, but they signed a uh, sunshine act where they got rid of daylight savings. I have no idea. I don't know. Hello Kumar, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, Kumar. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. Sorry about that for people that are uh, watching in the um Watching in the uh, w the the replay, I, I apologize for a little bit of tough technical difficulty. But it is what it is. Okay, so hello. Please enter the name of your shelter. They always like to hit me with the hard questions, right? They uh, <laughs> um, our shelter is called. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know what it's called. Hello, Zooted. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, UK clocks. Okay, 2 a.m. in my country, but I'm still watching your stream. Holy crap. Good God. Shout out to you, Benny. Daylight savings time is a relic of the past. We simply cannot let it go. Forehead shelter. All right, that's the first thing I saw. Hello, Mana Forever. How are you? Good to see you. All right, we will be choosing a dog. Yes, we will be starting out a dog. Sorry, no shade to any of the cat lovers out there. Um, I have owned a cat in the past, and I'll be real with you. The cat typically whooped my ass most of the time so now i own a dog welcome to your sh personal animal shelter thank you hey there friend you are here to run your own animal shelter taking care of your animals finding them new homes upgrading stuff expanding your shelter and so much more check out the rest oh and did i mention that this game is finally out today is release day for this game so you can go ahead and pick it up for yourself all right so here we go so we, we're very familiar with the WASD. We will, we don't need to like learn WASD. Take a new animal into your shelter. We absolutely can do that. This game looks pretty good. Like I played the demo of it back last year, the demo or the prologue, one of the two. I think it was the demo, not the prologue. But yeah. So in the demo, compared to the prologue, uh, there was a lot less. And I saved myself, right? I saved myself. Uh, I wanted to. Why am I so short? I am pretty short, <laughs> like really short. I saved myself. I didn't play the prologue or anything like that because I wanted to wait till release. Anyway, here's the computer. Uh, use the computer to check and do many of the most important things in your shelter. Take in animals, seek a new home for them, browse items to buy in the shop, and of course, control your statistics, everything in one place. Right. Emails, here you can check emails, the newly received and already read. You can even reply to some of them. 
Uh, food, medicine, decoration stuff here. You can buy it all. The shop has been divided into different categories to make it a lot easier. We don't have daylight savings. You are lucky, basically. Dogs for Peace is the name of the shelter. Never alone shelter. Oh, hello, lady kryptonite. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Uh, Daniel, hello. How are you doing? Love the videos. Keep up the amazing work. Keep up the amazing forehead. Thank you so much, Daniel. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you, Daniel. Pawhead shelter. Oh, that would have been sweet, too. Upgrade your shelter, buy new buildings, furniture, and rearrange things. This is all new that I have never done in this game, which I'm very excited to do. Uh, animals in the shelter. Here you will find a list of every animal currently living in your shelter. Love to see that. Kind of reminds me of Nintendo Dogs. Oh, now you're now you're pushing little buttons. Now you're pushing some nostalgia buttons. I like it. I like where we're heading now. Pets to take in here. You can find a list of animals that are not living in your shelter but can be taken in. Uh, the gallery is a, p a bunch of pictures, statistics, all the shelter stats in one place, shelter cleanliness, wait, shelter cleanliness, your currently placed buildings, finances, and reputation. Don't ignore this tab. It will be a, it will play a big role. All right, statistics. So this game is pretty deep for anyone that has never seen this game before. It's pretty deep. Um, if you missed any notifications, don't worry. They're all here. Animal status and warnings and thirst and hunger and things like that. Then the encyclopedia, which I think is amazing. Learning about different breeds of animals. Pretty, pretty cool. Here you will find everything you need to know about the game. Um, well, don't say like the game. I want to know about the breeds. I'm pretty sure we did breeds last time. Um, so let's hear encyclopedia. Let me just see. Adoption, new arrival. No, no, no. I want to learn about the dogs, man. I don't give a damn about your your new arrival. Well, I do, but I want to learn about dogs. Now, that would have been a cool thing. This is a dog. <laughs> so, it's October 24th, 10.25 a.m. Thursday, I guess. I... Okay. All right. Very well. So, let's see here. Do we have... We should have a dog, right? Dude, the... the... You hear the music? The music's actually bumping. So this is Ollie. So we have Ollie expires in one day. I think that's what that means. One day. Uh, thin too thin. Ollie looks so poor. We should. We all should agree that Ollie needs a lot of care and love with warm and, warmth in a good home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take Ollie. Uh, enter the name of Ollie. Hey, well, subscriber. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Eva, 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 <laughs> Avella Rose, Avella Rose. This just hands out like, no, we can't, we can't put a pug to not a pug. I don't think Ollie's going to be a pug. If we knew what pug was going to be, then I would say do the pug. Hello, Leslie. How are you? Good to see you, Leslie. Um, you know what? Ollie is fine for now, but I would like to make our own names going forward. Just keep that in mind. So keep names in mind and we'll, we'll, we'll do that together. All right. So let's leave the computer. Wait for a car to arrive with a new pet. Okay. We could definitely do that. Yeah. Wait for the car to arrive. There we go. Open up. Oh, there's the car with the... Wow. What a hell of a billboard that is. Um, if we get a pug, I'm naming it pug. Take out the animal. Okay. It will be all right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Animals deserve their own space. Only one pet is allowed per cage. Let's take this one into its new temporary home. Oh, baby. Oh, look at him. Okay, okay, okay. Open up this. Okay, I might... I don't want to get sad, dude. <laughs> enclosure. Enclosure is a place where you can let your animals uh, to run, walk, or spend time together. Note, dogs and cats have separate enclosures. Yeah, I would hope so. Okay, so we have... How many enclosures? Two enclosures? Looks like we only have two enclosures for right now, but we can expand. Uh, kennels. Kennels, cages for dogs, can be used as a temporary house for your animals after they arrive or their arrival into your shelter or as a place for rest after treatment. Oh, treatment. We haven't, I've never done treatment. I didn't do treatment in, uh, in, in, in the demo and things like that. Each cage has its own clipboard with animals info. Very well. Okay, here you go, buddy. There you go. There you go, Ollie. There you go. All right, like every other cre living creature, cats and dogs must eat and drink, use a computer to buy food and water for them. He's, he's happy. He's happy. Okay, we have no water and we have no food. So you just sit tight. Yo, <laughs> yo, he's so happy. Oh my God. Okay, I'll get into that. I, let me just get, get the gentleman his water and food. Oh my Lord, this is fantastic. Now, if Bella comes into the, into the room, I swear to God, I will put her on camera because this is her game. I, I, this is her game. This is her game. Okay. We want to go to shop. We want to go food, budget-friendly dog food, and water canister. So there's a lot of different kinds of foods we have here, right? Uh, water bowl, super snacks, quality, high quality, premium, medicine. One thing that is uh, actually kind of 
sold out. Why are you sold out of everything? Look at all these hygiene stuff. One thing that is uh, that's kind of interesting to note in this game is that um, where there will the question is will there be updates? And if so, what kind of updates can we expect? Can we expect different kinds of animals coming forward? Maybe, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add one to the cart on each, just because I don't know. You know, I mean, I have fifteen hundred dollars. It's not that big of a deal. I could order more, but we'll, we'll just do that for now. There we go. Just one for now, and then I'll come back and do the rest once I start getting into the flow of things. So various items will provide different actions in the game. However, remember that you can only have one active item in your hand. Okay, so the the hot bar key. Yeah, yeah, we 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 got that. We're, we're all good. Alrighty. Ollie is a good name. Ollie is a good name. There we go. Package has been dropped. Oh, yeah, that's right. In this game, when you order stuff, they drop it off via... You come here! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this son of a gun. Woo! This is Bella. Bella, we're playing your game, sweetie. She came into the room. She came into the room. I couldn't resist. Anyways, in this game, when you... Oh my god, focus in, forehead. When you um, buy stuff, it comes via the drone. So that's incredible, right? I don't know. I always thought that was kind of funny. Okay, alright. So let's do that. Well, let's, let's get our package. There's our package. Take everything out. Open. Yep, take everything. Thank you so much. So store your items. If you can pick up the item, you can put it in your inventory. Very well. All right, there we go. All right, let's go give our boy like some water. Let's go give Ollie some water. I need a Bella cam. You are not wrong. <laughs> you are absolutely not wrong. There we go. Fill it up. Oh, he's going to be so happy. Okay, water bowl actually filled. Food. Crack that open. Oh, look at him. Look at him. So happy. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. The pets need most or needs must must sorry the pets needs must be met systematically uh you can check on them by clicking q or see the info board behind you or the clipboard all right close that all right here we go so um this is a hell of a scale i'll, I'll be real with you 30 3900 out of 5000 um and it's going up because it, he's getting his hunger in he's getting happy his bladder's you know going down as he drinks his thirst is good his fun is absolutely good his hygiene is good and his health is good uh some of the perks that he has is he's quiet a quiet animal represents the complete opposite of a loud animal yeah i would hope so and then question mark question mark question mark get to know the animal better to uncover the other trait i guess trait or um uh you know trait or perk uh he just actually just learned another trait that is happy belly like humans animal love uh love to be full so he likes to be full and apparently that hidden trait was loyal so even if the world collapses a faithful animal will never leave its owner so that's like wonderful traits so there's the traits up there those hearts i guess you can uncover i guess uh but yeah his adoptability rate is 85 percent which is really high but i think i guy if i saw him in real life he would probably be like 95 percent like he's he's a cute damn dog right okay okay okie dokie so that's very good so let's go ahead and pet him make sure he's okay ollie ollie yo oh yeah i forgot you get to actually pet him yourself with the mouse oh so good yeah 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 right behind the ears love it okay so take the ball and use it to play with the dog oh yeah 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 play fetch okay ollie we're gonna play some fetch here oh if Bella heard that squeak, she would freak out. Um, playing with animals. Do you want to play with your animals? Press the right. Yeah, I, I would love to play with my animal. Okay, Ollie. Ollie. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. We have... We have this. No, no, no. We have this. Have to be in... Uh, right here, buddy. Right here. Right here. Squeak, squeak. Let's go. Pick up the animal. Possibly. Come here. <laughs> Put down. Out in the yard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Look at you. Look at that little rumpus. Yes. Go get it. I dropped it. Shit. Go get it. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. Yes, that's a good dog. Absolutely great dog. Go again. Oh, love it. He loves it. That's a happy dog. That's an actual happy dog. Fantastic. Hello, Art Vandalay. How are you? Just popping by. Good to see you, Art. Hello, Rich. What an interesting game you picked it. You picked. I may have to get it for myself. <laughs> Hi, Rich. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. 
Oh, congratulations, your dog is ready for adoption. Before proceeding, you will need to create an ad. So a picture taken by uh, by camera will be useful. Yeah, so I remember doing this. So most of this stuff is like things that... All right, I'm going to put the ball down. We're, no, we're not... We're not... Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, Ollie. Yeah, okay, good good dog. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done doing that. All I need to do now is actually take your picture, my man. So we have to go and buy a camera. So just sit here. You know, you can chill out in the yard by yourself. You can have fun. I know, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, so sad. Um, what do we do with the... Tr do we, like, actually put this away in the trash can? Like, do we actually recycle? If so, that's actually kind of cool. Use the large trash container? Oh, you do! You actually throw it out? Right? Wait, wait, wait. Throw out? Um. Maybe right there? It says... Okay, this is, this is a little weird. It says to actually... It says to throw out... Complete tutorial first. Okay, it says complete tutorial first. That's fine. We'll do that. All right. The game just doesn't want me to go ahead of itself. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so let's go here. Let's go ahead and buy a camera. See, this is why I didn't want to get too crazy. So I would buy a camera, probably an other. Yep, there's an Insta camera. Oh my god, camera, Insta camera, and a tripod. That's wonderful. Okay, let's buy this camera. This is like uh, one of those like, and then the stuff comes out and all that, right? You throw like a girl. No girls throw away. No wait, throw girls throw away better. I would have to say. Hello, super weapons. How are you? Cuteness overload, I absolutely uh, uh, agree. Going to have to remove my dogs from the room. They are going to mentally he hear fetch and good dog. I'm telling you, if, D if Bella could hear the squeak squeak go from the ball, she would be losing her damn mind. Luckily, she can't. Polaroid, thank you. That's what it was, Polaroid. I couldn't think of the name. Polaroid. Does anyone else think look like a young... <laughs> Like a <laughs> President Zelensky. Oh shit, dude. Uh, uh, well, you know, I think he's short. He looks short. I'm short, so maybe. I don't know. Anyways, taking photos. So pick up a camera and press the left mouse button. Uh, this will make the camera ready to take photos. All right, yeah, we will take this. At least I thought it was a Polaroid, but maybe not. All right, hello. Hi, how are you? Ollie, what are you staring at, my man? You're looking right at a bush. That's all right. We can get into this. All right, so let's see here. Um,. So, okay, so take a photo of our animal. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Wonderful. Oh, look at this guy. And I can zoom in. Oh, baby. Okay, this looks... I mean, this doesn't tell the full story, right? You ever see pictures... You ever see pictures of dogs, right? Whenever you're, Or animals, whatever you're adopting, right? It doesn't tell the full story, I feel like. When I... When I got Bella, she... Like, the picture of her was, like... She looked mean. <laughs> she looked mean sitting on, like, someone's couch. I don't even know. It, it was weird. But, yeah. The, the picture never tells the full, full story, right? All right, so now we do the scanner, right? So scan the photo you have made by using a scanner located next to the computer. Oh, get the photo. There we go. Oh, did you see that? That was really cool. I forgot about that. It's like the actual photo itself. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. All right, so let's create an ad. So where would we go for that? We go to gallery, statistics, notifications, encyclopedia, emails. Do we have any emails? We have no emails. Uh, build mode? No, we don't need a build mode. Animals and shelter? Maybe more info. Loyal and quiet? Wonderful. 5,000 out of 5,000. Okay. Okie dokie. Animals and shelter? Nope, sorry. Pets to take in? None. Gallery? Oh, look at that. Um... Oh, we haven't looked at the statistics either. My lord. There's so much in this game. There's so much in this game. Hang on a sec. Let's see here. So to create an ad, use the computer. Choose animals and shelter. Then click more info and create ad. Okay, so animals and shelter. Click more info and create an ad. So this is going to be an ad for Ollie. Yes. Ollie the dog. This is a dog. Ollie. Description. Look at this pet. Cute, right? This is Ollie. You may not know this, but our friend was born as a homeless animal. Oh, no. Uh, in spite of hard life, Ollie is really friendly. For sure, Ollie will become a great friend to someone. Don't let this pet stay homeless. Give it a full 
of true love. Give it a home. Oh, give it a home and full of true love. There we go. There we go. Ollie has a uh, has an ad. So thank you for posting your ad. Hopefully someone will be will find him soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Martha Salt. Excuse me, Martha Salt. Discard. Send an employee for an inspection. I don't even know what the heck that means. All right. So now that we have that done, what do we do? So performing a virtual visitation gives more information about the potential animal owner to check its progress. To check its to check it, press more info on the animal and human tab. Choose the right owner for the pet. Okay. So um looks like oh there's multiple people. Okay, so we have to find the perfect owner for this pet. Right, this is interesting. So send an employee for an inspection. I guess maybe that's what we have to do. So send an employee. Are you sure you want to send an employee for an inspection? Yeah, we'll do that, I guess. <clears throat> Hello, Jessica. How are you? Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hello, Daniel Ramos. Good to see you, Daniel Ramos. Nicole Frazier. So Nicole Frazier will send one off too as well. I guess. We'll see what happens there. So more info now. I don't know if that's uh, if that's anything. Ah, so here. Small house. Nicole Fazer, Frazier. Virtual visitation was carried out. Say so good. Um, so small house is not good for every pet. No dogs in the house. There are no dogs in this house. So she has none. Cats in the house. Pet will have cat companion, so there will be a cat. This person looks to be lonely. A pet will certainly come in handy. All right, well, that's good, I guess. The house does not have a garden. Okay. And have time. This person has a lot of free time. Oh, well, that's good. At least Lolly will have, like, you know, someone to be with, right? Nicole Frazier. Let's see here. Nicole Frazier, small house, dogs in house. So there's other dogs and there's other cats. Adults at home without children. Only adults live in this house. Okay. Have a lot of time. Okay. Desired traits. Quiet and trustful. So she likes quiet. So that's her desire. And then I didn't see the traits here. No desired traits really for anyone here. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I think like... I honestly think like Nicole would be a good match. I think... One, Ollie would have another friend, another dog friend, and would have a cat friend, and would be in a house that's just adults. I mean, I don't know if that matters for, for Ollie, but at least that would be something. Uh, this person will have a lot of time, and this person likes a quiet little animal. So you know what? We're going to freaking e-match him here. ChristianMingle.com, baby. There we go. Fantastic. Great job. All right. Wait until the car arrives. Okay. Ollie's going to get like a first taste of freedom here. Oh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There we go. Put the box right there. Hey, the car is here. All right, now let's go ahead and get Ollie. There we go. Hello, Ollie. Pick you up. And then open. And then come on in. There we go. Nice. All right, put the dog into the car. All right, Ollie. Oh, this is a sad moment. We had not a lot of time together, but the little time we did spend together... No, 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 my good man. Oh, there you go. Ollie, you're going to have a great time. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. He's out of our lives. So, wow. Okay, good. Um, wow. Reputation points. We got really good reputation points because of all the certain things. So, there is a little bit of, like, actual... Um, gamey game going on here, uh, which I really like. Uh, like, you can't just, I mean, uh, letting your pets be adopted by certain people, it does matter. So it does matter how these pets match up, whether it's a dog or a cat, um, and it affects your reputation altogether. So that's really good. I like to see that. Awesome. Well, there goes Ollie. What a clever student. Apparently, it's the achievement. All right. So, hand over the animal to the new family two times. So, now I have to go inside and I have to bring in more animals. Wonderful. Oh, there is a tab, though. What is my tab? So, some of the tabs. Uh, email from Nicole. Reputation bonus. 169. Stay away from the... Okay. All, all bunch of notifications here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, we have an email. So, maybe we, we can see that email. 
So this is from Nicole. Nicole says, hello, I'm so happy with my new pet, the one from your shelter, which you gave me. The dog meets all my expectations, which makes me very happy. Please accept this gift of 427, 426 tokens or money or a token of my gratitude. Oh, that is wonderful. So we got $426, you could say, from that adoption. That's wonderful. Awesome. Cool. All right, any pets in need? Oh, dude. Bubba. Zane. Sierra. Holy crap. Kona, Alexis, Muffin, Amber, Hope, Spike. And some of these dogs look like they have to actually take a certain thing. So shelter does not meet requirements. Uh, very well. We'll kind of go down the list here. Bubba. I mean, come on. You got to hit, you got to hit it with the Bubba, right? So we'll take Bubba and we will leave it for Bubba. Very, very good. <laughs> have a good day there, Zachary. I don't care who you are. That's just cute. That comment just had me picture a game like this, except you are trying to get uh, Christians together. <laughs> and then Zane. We'll do Zane and we'll do Bubba. To take... Oh, wait. We have to go. We have to take in the other one before we can get that one. Okay. So we have two... I mean, we have two enclosures. So we can have two dogs at once, but, right? We can do the two at some... You know, at the same time here. Thank you, Shorty, for that uh, link to the uh, Discord. Really appreciate that. Bubba. Bubba is hungry? I bet he is. I wonder if you could get an email with them saying they had, they hated the match. Um, take your dog back. Is that what you're asking? And take it back again? You know, I, th that's a good shout. Um, I do believe that, that you will get an email of people not liking what they got, which is kind of sad. You know, I personally, like, I feel like, you know, if you go to a shelter, you know, and you and you do your thing, and you and you see what kind of animals they have, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one. And then, like, I don't know, you you adopt an animal, and then like the animal is just too much for you. Like, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. A part of me feels like, you know what? You adopted the animal. You took on the responsibility. You should not return it for a refund. I don't know. Maybe. So this pet's mother gave birth to three more animals. Sadly, the previous owner could not handle them all. They had no choice to give them away. That's why Zane appeared on the list. Okay, I didn't read Bubba. I should have re read Bubba's. All right, so there we go. I'll do that. One of the pictures, like, hang on a sec. Like, hang on, like, the music is, like, bumping, isn't it? No, I might have to turn down the music. But, um, like, this dog seems terrifying. Sierra? Seems a little terrifying. Hang on a second. Let me just like turn down the game just a little, little bit. Just a tiny bit. Got to get hit with that DMCA, right? Um, there we go. Awesome. Cool. Looks like my Sheba. Spike, that was the name of one of my best dogs I've ever owned as a kid. Yeah, pin Ollie's photo on the wall if possible. That's a good shout. I wonder what I can do with that, right? Put down this dog. All righty. So this is uh, this is Zane. We have Zane and we have Bubba. There you go. There's your water, my good man. Here's some good food. And then we'll go ahead and look into what we have here. Hi. Oh, dude, Zane looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Yeah, let's just let him be. All right, so hello, Bubba. What do you got going on for you here today? You got bladder? You need to go outside? Well, I mean, you are outside, but you need to go into the yard maybe? Oh, no, they do it in their own cage, huh? They do use their bladder in their own cage. Uh, so here's Bubba. His probability or adoptability, I should say, is 69%. Um, he's distrustful. So something has happened to this animal because he seems to be distrustful towards humans. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, but he likes, a ha he likes a full belly. That's good to know. He would like to have a little bit of fun and get to know the animal better to uncover this next trait. All right, so let's let him out and let's have some fun with him. You want a ball? Ball. Ball. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're gonna we're gonna play ball. We're gonna play ball. There we go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. I I'm terrible. Go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We'll get his fun up in doing that. Uh, now that I'm kind of like learning, right? I'm learning as I go. It's starting. You know. Now that I got the tutorial basics out of the way, it's starting. To, it's going to become uh, very simple and very easy. Uh, well, I say simple and easy, but it's going to be easier for me to wrap my head around what's going on. So now I can finally take in the chat, right? Tutorial is out of the way. I know what's going on for the most part. Hello, chat. How are you? It does look like a husky, right, uh, Zane? He does. 
There we go. How's your fun looking? So your fun is great. Let's put you back into the uh, into the enclosure here and let's go ahead and I don't know what happens if we have multiple dogs out. Maybe that's something we should test. Let's see what happens if we have two dogs outside. Hello, Zane. Uh, what is your dealio, Zane? Um, he's quiet and he has a happy belly and he would like to have some fun as well. All right, Zane, come on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and check out Bubba, but we can play ball together. Now, sometimes you got to be careful playing ball with especially new dogs. They might get very territorial, right? They might freak the hell out, right? Um, oh, wait. No, no, no. I, I wanted to play with him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you actually have to click on the dog to play fetch with. So the other dog is not going to interfere, interfere, which I was actually kind of curious to see. Oh, dude, he is so happy. Oh, my God. He's like, jump. Hey, he's like jumping. Go for it. <laughs> he's jumping. So there is a little bit of like personality differences you can definitely tell. He's super, super happy. All right, very well. His fun is up. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. We're done playing, we're done playing. Now I just need to take your 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 picture. Oh, look at him. Yes, 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 Bubba. Pose, you're looking great. <gasps> Don't go. Don't leave me. Zane, you wanna get hit with that? Great picture. <laughs> Don't look in the, into the cage. There, Bubba. 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 Bubba, my man. My good man. We're not staring there. We're looking somewhere else. We're looking somewhere else. We need we need you we need you to eyes forward here, son. Eyes forward. Alright, try again. There you go. Alright. Yes, this is your friend. This is this is this is your friend. This isn't your brother. This is just a friend. This is just a colleague. Because your forever home is coming soon. There we go. All right, so we took pictures of both of them. Now we can go ahead and get there. Did I unlock any of the hidden traits? Uh, I did not. He, one of them needs to go to the bathroom. Where did the dog go? Bubba? Hey! Oh. Bubba, you you, you, you went to the bathroom, my good man. All right, that's fine. I just need to buy a mop now. Okay, you guys have fun out here. I don't want to, like, lock you inside. Your gates are open, so that's okay. You guys can go get a drink, I think, whenever you want. But I'm going to go ahead and create an ad and then buy a mop. Wonderful. This game's pretty cool. Hello, Jeremy. How are you? Um, let's see here. Medicine, hygiene. No, no, no. Medicine, tweezers. No, no, no. A broom. By the way, in case anyone that doesn't know, there will be medical stuff and things of that nature. We will have to nurse animals back to health eventually, and we will have to give them a nice uh, rub down, scrub down with some, you know, sponges and dryers and, and, and things like that. Poop bag. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I need a mop. I need to buy a mop. Let's add that. Let's go ahead and uh, confirm that order. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and make a... Yes. Great an ad. Animal doesn't trust people that much to be put up for adoption. Hey, that's actually interesting. So this pet doesn't trust people enough to put up an adoption. Interesting. So we, we have to probably get more trust with Bubba there. And then let's go ahead and look into Zane. Create an ad for Zane. We'll upload Zane. That, oh wait, we need, we need to scan. Oh, dude, see, I'm already missing steps. Okay, we gotta scan these pictures. Put that in. So Bubba, oh, poor Bubba. <laughs> we need a whistle in the game, I know, absolutely, right? And then we'll, oh God, that's a great picture. Scan that, all right, let's see if we can put Ollie on the board. Can we pin him on the board somewhere? Can we put him anywhere? Like, can we, I wonder if we'll be able to buy like a cork board or something, right? Like, that would be nice. We'll put that there. We'll, we'll keep all of our animals, like, pictures placed everywhere. Okay, so that was taken. All right, good. Let's go ahead and upload our picture of Zane. Yes, Zane, the dog. So, Zane, because of parasites, animal this animal was very sick. The previous owners didn't have enough money for treatment, so they abandoned their pet. What? That's just irresponsible. Previous owners didn't have enough money for treatment, so they abandoned their pet. Luckily, Zane found a few sponsors who agreed to pay for it. Now Zane is awaiting for a new home and owners who will love him. That is freaking sad, dude. Thank you for posting this ad. All right, thank you. So Zane's going on. Love to see it. Mm. Buy a cookie. It helps with trust. Really? All right, so let's buy, let's buy like five cookies. Yeah, let's do that. Confirm that order. We'll help with trust. We'll get Bubba going on here. 
I should go out there and like check on the dogs, huh? <laughs> I did buy a mop and he did make an accident. Well, he didn't make an accident. He did what he needed to do. That's just, uh, you know, life. Open that up. Give me the cookies. Oh, biscuits. Bella loves biscuits. There's our mop. I will refer to everything at, to, to Bella. Let's see here. Let's, let's clean up their little spot over here. Sorry, excuse me, Zane. There we go. Um, do I have to scrub it? Oh, I have to scrub it myself, yeah? Oh, I do have to scrub it myself. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. You know, it's not like an automatic thing. I actually have to do it myself. There we go. Bubba? Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? <gasps> yes. 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 Good dog. <laughs> Zane, I don't know what you're staring at, buddy. But I would like to give you a treat. There's no space in front of you. I think that doesn't apply in real life, but it applies here. Your eyes are actually beautiful, my man. Good job. Okay, let's see here. How are we doing? So Zane is 100% uh, adoptability. Uh, 100%. Bubba has finally hit the 80% mark, which now we've known his other trait, which his other trait is uh, energetic. So hyperactive animals can be funny, but due to their trait, they can also be problematic. Now, I don't have an inner, uh, very energetic dogs. Maybe Mercy. Mercy might be the only energetic dog that we have. But I tell you what, my guinea pigs are way more energetic than, than the actual dogs themselves. Those things never stop. Those things are 24-7, dude. Like, I think they sleep... Five minutes out of the day. Every day. <laughs> Just wanted to give Mercy some love too. I know if Mercy comes in here, like I will definitely like put her up. But she's like, that's a hard one to catch. Bella, she's very friendly. She's very open. She's like, show me off to the world, baby. But Mercy, she's like, don't touch me. She's very skittish. She's afraid of certain things. She's afraid of like... She's afraid of different things in life. I don't know. She's, it's, it's, it's hilarious, kind of. So we have Agnes here. So Agnes, let's see more on Agnes. Uh, I would like to match her with Zane if I can possibly. We'll see here. So Zane, who is kind nature, well-mannered, and well-behaved pet, who is also quiet. Um, let's actually send an employee out to her. I'm willing to spend the $25 to get these interviews done. I have no problem. Now, take a look at the, take a look at this. Desired trait here is kind natured and quiet. That's perfect for Zane. Now, where would Zane be going? Zane will be go going to a small house. Um, a small home is not good for every pet. Now, I wonder if a dog will will be like, hey, I don't want to go to a small house. I don't know. Um, the best condition for this pet: adult at home without children. And this is an adult at home without children. Cats in the house. That's all right. No dogs in the house have a garden they do have a garden which appeals to the pets busy the little free time which kind of sucks but i think this is a pretty good match all together so let's go ahead and match zane and agnes now for bubba i still don't think i uh, oh is he oh okay he, he he's not shy anymore so there we go bubba good good job buddy there we go description of bubba look at this pet cute right bubba you may not know but this is our friend and was born as a homeless animal um, Bubba is really friendly. For sure, Bubba would become a great friend to someone. Don't let this pet stay homeless. Give it a home full of true love. Oh, yes. Now, for, uh, Bubba... Well, no one actually came in for Bubba, so that was only, uh, submissions for Zane. So, Zane... He's going out! This is his day! Wonderful! Good job, Zane. I think it's gonna be good. Fur babies are the best. <laughs> I have two guinea pigs. I love them. I have four. They're crazy. Insane. Crazily insane. I used to have a cat. The cat wasn't, uh, the cat did not like me very much. The cat, cats are, cats are like, uh, cats, are, cats are good. Cats are just very independent. So you don't really get that companionship a lot with cats. Um, compared to a dog at least. So that was like a banger hit here. 
Reputation points, 336. This was a perfect uh, perfect hit here. First paycheck, new career, achievement unlock. So we got this. Um, this was good. Good match here. Not desired traits. Luckily, we didn't have any of this other stuff. Um, but we had this and this, so we didn't match up. That was our best one that we could probably have gotten for Zane there. So I'm glad Zane had that. Congratulations. You reached the next shelter reputation level. New items have been unlocked. That scares me. But it's good to know. <laughs> My three rats are hyper. They chase each other and wrestle all day. Um, that reminds me of Seesaw. She has some rats too, uh, but she loves her rats. I've seen her. I haven't seen her in a couple months, but she, uh, she definitely posted pictures of her rats in the Discord. Pretty cool. Danielle was like, those are actually kind of cool. <laughs> Energe energetic dog probably needs to go to a place that has a lot of free time. Yeah. Yeah, could you imagine an energetic dog just standing, like, sitting around, just not, like, waiting all day, and then you come through the house, you know, come home, and then, like, they're, like, doing circles, right? I had a standard poodle for over 10 years, got him right after I finished college, named him after Hom Homer Simpson. Did you name him Homer? Is that what you did? Most of our dogs love getting photos taken except one. She is the most energetic out of them all. We'll do anything to have a pic taken. She will also photobomb the others, given the chance. It's hilarious. Oh, that's wonderful. The more guinea pigs, the better. I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I make custom fleece liners for cages if you're ever interested. Really? That's, that's incredible. Um, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. That's actually really cool for the, for the pigs, right? Chippy would be cheap since we are both in... Oh! Fantastic. Fantastic. You definitely... Yeah, if you're not in the Discord, definitely go into the Discord because... Um, yeah, we, uh, we, we we can conversate more about that. That that That's very good. I'm glad that you brought that up. I know Danielle would love that. Hello, I'm so happy with my new pet. The one of your from your shelter which gave, you gave me. The dog meets all my expectation. Here is $592. Thank you and thank you. That's awesome. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check on Bubba and see how Bubba's doing. How are you, Bubba? Marianne Tillman and Robert Velez. From the looks of the profile picture, I think Bubba and Robert are going to be like a good match, but we'll see here. Uh, we'll look into Bubba and we'll look into Mary Ann. Hello, Mary Ann. We'll send an employee out to inspect her. That sounds a little wrong, but that is what we're doing. Uh, so a few things about Bubba is that he's energetic and he's distrustful. But he needs a big house, he needs to have a garden, and he needs to have a lot of free time. So unfortunately, Marianne just has a small house. Um, she likes children. Uh, trustful, which is the complete opposite of what Bubba is here. Uh, dogs in the house. Yeah, you know what? Sorry, I don't think you're going to be a match there, Marianne. Sorry. Uh, but Robert, let's see Robert. Robert, let's send out an employee to Robert's house. Or, I guess, interview Robert. We'll see how Robert, this might be a, a hard dog to, to have adopt correctly, right? Uh, he might take a couple of, a couple of people. However, Robert, like I said, based off of the profile picture, so far some things are working here. Robert does have a big house. Robert wants a quiet dog. Um, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. This is, and Robert has a lot of free time and he has a garden. So the best conditions for this pet is a big house, a garden, and a lot of free time, which Robert can definitely provide. I think this is a match. I think that's a match. 100%. I think that's best. Like, luckily, both sides don't really care. Like, Bubba, sorry. Um, Robert doesn't really care too much about traits in animals. And Bubba, the one thing that he needs the most... Let's go ahead and pet the dog before he leaves. You have a good one, okay, Bubba? There you go. The best thing about... Bubba is that he needs certain like he needs a big house he needs a garden he needs all this he needs a lot of free time and that is exactly what Robert is willing to give to him and that's the best condition for the dog so I think that's going to be the best fit for him to live all right Bubba salute you my man <laughs> hello Adi gamer how are you Sorry, I did not get that reputation points before. This is my grand total of reputation points. I see. So regional number four. That was a good one. That was a good one too. I think that was fine. I think Bubba will be happy. I think Robert will be happy and all that. <clears throat> K 
cats are single handedly responsible for half of our, all of, all of our zero tech cell. Is this still tutorial or is it scenario? I think it's a little bit of a tutorial right now still. I don't know guinea pigs keeps biting my hand every time I try to pick one up. See, my guinea pigs, they don't bite. They, I, I pet them, you know, I pet them. And then, like, I'll put my hand up to their mouths and they'll lick me. So, like, they'll lick me and then, like, they'll, like, lick my lips sometimes if I go in for a kiss. I know, unsanitary, I'm disgusting, but F me. I like animals. And then, like, I'll let them nibble on my fingers. Sometimes after I get play, I get done recording videos or playing games or with my controller, my hands are all sweaty, so they, like, get all, you know, they have that salty taste. So I, like, let them lick my fingers and nibble on my fingers. I like it. I do like it. I'm allergic to dogs, but luckily I'm a cat person. It's good for a feet, and it's super absorbent and doesn't smell, and you just wash them. I'm in the Discord now, just so you know. Let me know. Fantastic. I know people will be posting pet pics in Discord today. Today is probably the day, right? Today is probably the day. Hello, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. I think I might I might have saw your name earlier, but good to see you, Debbie. So expand the shelter. So for each level of shelter reputation you gain, you will receive a special token to use in the build mode. Tokens are required for purchases of new space to construct additional buildings. The more tokens you gain, the more space you will have to build. So I think this might be introducing a... Um, hang on a sec. Tabs. ASF. <laughs> Wait, what? ASF? Promotion? There's a promotion? Let's go check the email. This game is pretty cool, dude. Yeah, so for 20% off since I had the other bundles, since I had... I could I chose any of them because I have all three of the games. I have Cooking Simulator, Gas Station Simulator, House Flipper. Um, Sixteen dollars for this game. Yeah. All right. So email. Let's see what Robert says first. So Robert says, "Hello, I'm so happy with my new pet. Here is five hundred and seventy-nine dollars. Thank you, Robert. Here's a promotion. Don't stop now. Your animal shelter has been promoted. You gained a new rank. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds great. Um, so where do we go to expand this? Oh, look at that. So hang on a second. This is stuff we haven't even seen. So there's regional, national, and global. So we are on the leaderboards for, I'm assuming, regional. We can change the name anytime we want. That's really cool. Cleanliness, 92%. Finances, our account balance, $6,000? Um, there's different places that we are actually competing against. Second Chance, Animal Bay, Faithful Heart, Adopt Me, and then the Forehead Shelter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> build mode. All right, great. So now we are in the build mode. We do have six thousand dollars. Yeah, we do have six thousand dollars. Expand one ticket. So we. So this is where our enclosure is. So we can expand this way, or we can go into the back here and kind of go behind our office and expand. Um, really, I'm not sure which way we which way we should go. But try to prepare the area by rearranging the buildings by the washing station. So they want us to buy the washing station. So office upgrade, vet upgrade, washing upgrade. Wash room level one for three thousand dollars. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's expand. Let's make the washing room go out into the back, and then let's. No, no, no. It, some people might be like their mind might be getting blown right now because they're like, "Whoa, I didn't know you could do this as, in this game, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's put the washing station maybe like. Um. I guess right here in the corner is fine, yeah? I don't know where the- Oh, I see the door. I was like, where's the door? Can we rotate? Oh, we can. Oh, baby! Fantastic. I love me a rotation. Okay, there we go. Put it right up against the wall here. Perfect. All right, now we have a washing station now. Great job. So take the dog to the washing station and clean him. Remember, dogs are not cats. Brushing them won't clean them. Put the dog in the washing area. So dogs need a wash. Uh, cats do not. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Hello, Trippy. How are you? Did you miss much? Not too much. No, not too much. Nope, not too much. Other than me, like, fondling over myself in the beginning because the game was, like, on my other monitor. And now that I think about it, using the word fondling myself is probably not the correct terminology to use right now. But, yeah, so no, you didn't miss too much. Let's just say that. So here's our washroom, right? We do have a washroom. We have a cabinet, I guess, right? Oh my god, this is where we're gonna hose it down. Oh, baby. We got shampoo, we got uh, a sponge, we got a dryer, we have a closed box, apparently. Very good, very good. But, it's not a cat. Cat needs... Can I actually open that? No? Uh, cats need brushes. So, okay. So now, oh, oh. 
Uh oh, we do need to do a little cleanliness here. Uh oh, yeah, we need a poop bag. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I throw these away? Let's see here. Let's see. Pick up. Can I throw these away now? Hey, you can throw them away now. Great job. Nice. No, no, no. Now we can finally clean up our place. There we go. There we go. Hello, Damien. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I love when they wave goodbye when they leave. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's go. Uh, sh oh shoot! Not expand, please. Leave the expand. Let's go shop. Let's get. Go ahead and pick up ourselves a nice. Uh, let's see. Um, poop bag. Where's that at? Hygiene. Litter bag. No poop bag. Yeah. Let's get that in. There we go. Confirm our order. Get the poop bag. Wonderful. Cool. 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 If you use the washroom on my cat, my cat would kill me. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Okay, so now we have the poop bag. Let's go do this. Get this going. Okay, there you go. Awesome. There we go. Now, do we throw it away? How does this work? It's a one-time use, yeah? And then we throw it away. Throw it out. Oh, we need a lot of poop bags then. Okay, so that was just one singular one. Okay, I get it. I understand now. All right. All right. Yeah, you probably... You probably don't have reusable poop bags there, forehead. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> all right. So we don't have any dogs. So we got to wait till they come in. And then we'll come in. And then they'll come. And then we'll wash them. We're going to get a nice scrub down. There we go. Okay, so I should probably order more to be fair, though. <clears throat> let's see. Let's go to shop. And let's buy a bunch of these Yeah, poop bags. Three dollars a piece? Wow, that's not cheap. The nine is the max. That's interesting. That is very interesting indeed. Baby! Oh, dang it! That's the name of the dog, Baby? So this pet's mother gave birth to three more animals. Okay, Baby, take the pet. Yes, keep the name. What are you doing? Baby? Oh, Baby. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go wash Baby then. Oh, that's so wonderful. Might as well take our, uh, yep. Take our, whoops, put it down. Take our poop bags. Make sure those are right there. Great. And then let's go ahead and throw this away. I love your workshop simulator vids. Oh, that's wonderful. I have another one coming out very soon. Well, not today, but tomorrow a workshop will come out very, very soon. Someone clip his fondly comment. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Not bad. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I'm very excited. Been waiting for this game for a long time now, Damien. So, yeah. Very, very super excited. Very excited to play this game. Why do you need a washer? Are they going to make you toss the animal in the washer that could hurt the pet? Don't do it. No. No, no, no. Uh, maybe just to, like... Maybe, like, a washer or dryer to, like, put the towels in after you're done, uh, you know, doing their thing, right? So take shampoo and shampoo the dog. All right, so we have shampoo. So washing station. If anyone never has seen this, this is actually kind of like, you don't just like click a button and it's done. You actually have to get in there and like wash it down, right? So squeeze out a small amount of shampoo on your animal to, wa to wash. Sponge, once your pet is in the shower uh, tray, you can take the sponge and place it on your dog. Uh, water hose, we'll hose it down and then dry it off. And that's pretty much it. So shampoo, sponge, hose, dryer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just gave Bella a bath the other day. She loves the bath. She is definitely a salon dog. <laughs> she is for sure a salon dog. She loves that's what we call it for her. We call it the salon. Say, like, alright, Bella, you ready to go to the salon day? You ready to get your nails done and your hair done and your cause like the cutest thing ever is like when she's done. Um when she's done with the shower. Uh she has like natural hair curls. So like when her hair is like wet, she has like curly hair. So damn cute. So damn cute. Can't get over it. Now I can't really say that about Merce because Merce is, Merce is, um, she's short hair and like chihuahua texture. So you don't get a lot there, but that's all right. She hates the bath though. Like I said, Merce is a very skittish kind of dog. Um, she hates bath time. But Bella loves it. Like, Bella will we'll put Bella in. Oh, look at the face oh on this dog. Hi! Hey! This place is off the hook! 
Thank you, Leslie. Very, very nice of you, Leslie. Very generous. Thank you so much for the super chat, Leslie. Thank you so much. Big ups to you. Very generous the past few days. Thank you so much. Incredible, incredible. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, uh, Bella will like lay and sit down in the shower and she'll have a good time. So hand over the animal to the new family. All right, so we have to do this two times. So we have a clean dog. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, but this dog is very hungry. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Thought there was poop bags in the metal square case that's above the trash thing. Oh, there might be. There definitely might be. I'll have to definitely check. If baby is bad, do you put it in the corner? <laughs> Same here. Got to wait to get paid. Then I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah. Definitely should. Definitely should. It's a very good game. Oh, you need more water here, buddy. Hang on. Hang on. I know you're super thirsty and super hungry, but... Like, that looks like Cocoa Puffs. Like, Cocoa Puffs? Is that is that the right cereal? Oh, no, 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 no. I need water. There we go. There you go. There's your water, good man. Very happy dog now. Okay, close that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, poop bags. Take a bag. Oh, well, that's wonderful. So it does there's a dispenser. Is this like a never-ending dispenser then? That's interesting. Okay, cool. That's very good to know. Very, very good to know. Okay, right. So let's learn more about Baby here. Baby is getting her hunger, thirst. I can't, I don't know if it's a male or female. I, I, I can't tell. Uh, probability is, is growing. The trait is that it's an energetic, happy belly dog. And that's all we know so far. We'll continue with Baby here, but we probably should bring in one more dog, right? Yeah, thank you, Leslie. That was really, really kind of you. <clears throat> Well, gotta go, man. Have a good one. You have a good one, too, Rich. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for stopping in and uh, hanging out with us. Really do appreciate that, Rich. Thank you, thank you. Tyler. Oh, oh my. Tyler. <laughs> hey. This place is off the hook. Here before I have to go for 30 days. Have a good time. My men keep making great videos. The videos keep on getting better. See you, man. Oh, thank you so much, Rich. Very, very big up to you. Thank you so much for that. And... I hope your 30 days does go somewhat smooth, somewhat smooth. But thank you so much, Rich. Thank you so much, and uh, I hope to talk to you very soon. Thank you, Rich. All right, so we have Tyler here coming up. <clears throat> Hello, Tyler. Tyler. Tyler is very hungry. Tyler is very bored, and Tyler is very dirty. So first things first, Tyler, you're going to take a bath. Then we'll feed you, and then we'll play with you, and that will be great. There you go. Put your in right there. Thank you, Tyler. First things first, shampoo. Like, normally I don't do shampoo first. I go water, then shampoo. But this is an interesting way to do it. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. And sponge, huh? Shampoo and sponge. That is kind of weird on dry fur. <laughs> Can you train the dogs? I'm not really sure what the extent is. There's a lot of different upgrades that we'll be able to do, like building-wise and things like that. But I don't know. I don't know. If we can train the dogs. It'd be kind of cool if you could, like, train, like, dogs to, uh, for, like, specific people, right? People that needed certain types of trained dogs. Like, if they needed, like, a... Sorry, don't put the dryer in your hand. Like, if they needed, like, a service dog, that'd be kind of cool, right? There we go. Wet them down. Very good. Come on this side. Wet them down as well. Put down that. No, no, put down that. Put, put down the hose. There you go. And grab the dryer. And we'll dry it off. Now, I will admit, we have dry, we have used a dryer on Bella before. But sometimes I just like her to air dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so happy about that, aren't you? Um, I do like Bella to air dry sometimes. Like I said, the natural curls just come out, baby. I just put that on the ground. No, no. There you go. Okay, Tyler. I think you're all done. Yeah, you're all clean, buddy. Let's go ahead and put you in. I know you're hungry and I know you're bored. But let's go make sure that we get that taken care of. Looks like Baby is doing okay. Yeah, Baby's shaking that tail, wagging that tail. Love to see that. All right, Tyler, this is your place. Go ahead and put you down right here. How cool would it be if there was like a multiplayer type... Um... Hang on, buddy. Don't drink the water yet. There's nothing in there. <laughs> How cool would it be if there was like a multiplayer kind of an animal shelter type game, right? But like way big, like huge, you know? Or even like a zoo type game, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Like, I think Zoo Tycoon was, like, the only 
I guess, multiplayer game back in the day, maybe? Maybe? Oh my god, what the heck just happened? <clears throat> How's your fun? You're thirsty and you're hungry? I just fed you and, and I just... Okay, you need more? Alright. Let's not feed him a poop bag. Give him a little bit more food. I don't know if these boxes and waters go out. Maybe they do eventually. There you go. Okay, that's full. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, what else do you need? Your fun is actually pretty much up. So this is a loyal dog. So we can actually go ahead and put a... Um, yeah, we definitely can uh, put in put in this dog for for an ad already. He's thinking baseball. Right on, brother. Me and you both. Okay. <laughs> Let's put you down. We'll, we'll, we'll play with you. We'll give you a little squeak, squeak action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You love it. Good job, baby. Okay, we'll throw the ball out, and then we'll come back, and then he'll come back, and we'll take a picture. Don't drop the camera. Yeah! Okay, good job. One more throw. There you go. Love it. <laughs> Love it. All right, you go right back in there. You have a little bit of drink, a little bit of hunger action. And I'm going to put you up for adoption. Very quick, very fast, right? That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Literally, baby, right? Literally, baby. Uh, no, no, no. Excuse me. Go here. Scan the picture. Get that going. Woo! Love it. <clears throat> I wonder if you have to have pets for longer than you are. Uh, than you are. Wait. I wonder if you have to have pets for longer than you are later in the game. What do you mean by that? Baby needs a toilet. I might have to use. I, I might have to let them out of the enclosure to use it. I know. I, I mean, for some like places you go to, um, they definitely um, they let the dogs use the enclosure. Right to to uh, to go to the bathroom, which is kind of sad in my personal, you know. I mean, but sometimes you can't prevent it. Some dogs just go because they have to go, right? So sad story. Previous left them. Oh God, uh, baby. Sad story. Previous owners left this one in an empty house and never returned. If not for the neighbors, this poor animal would have eventually died from dehydration or starvation. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? For sure, baby would like to trust humans again. <gasps> That is incredibly sad. That is incredibly sad. Oh my lord. That is that's so messed up. How could someone ever do that to an animal? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I don't get how people can do that to animals. I really don't. So that ad's going out. And a Roxanne, Roxanne wants some information on baby. I'm going to send an employee out for her. So for Baby, Baby is a loyal dog who is very energetic, but needs a big house, has a garden, and they have a lot of free time. Now, Roxanne loves a loyal dog. Roxanne loves a quiet dog. She does not like a mischievous and a silly pet. She doesn't like a silly dog. How do you not like a silly dog? She is always busy. She has a garden, and she has, and she likes a big house, but she also likes a loyal dog. Um, that's a possibility. Let's try Chris. Chris Bright. Let's see. Chris does like a loyal dog as well. If Chris has loyalty, if he has loyalty and has all three of these, a big house, a garden, and have time, I'm going to go for him. He has a big house, he has a garden, and he has free time. So yeah, Chris is going to be the match for baby. Yep. There you go. Get matched up. Awesome. Love it. All right, let's go work on Tyler now. Well, we actually got to put the dog into the into the truck, but yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that there will be like multiplayer zoo game, like Cafe Simulator, but instead of buying PC, you would buy the pets or something like that. <clears throat> These potential owners are pretty picky. I know, like, I've been to shelters and like, never have I ever like, expected much like really whenever i've gone to get a dog i just I, I i just spend time with it and just see if the dog likes me like that's pretty much it <laughs> and if the dog likes me then guess what you're coming home <laughs> that's 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 you oh hey hey this place is off the hook sending a little forehead love Rock on King Forehead. 
Cheers to you on that. Thank you so much, Shorty. Thank you very much on that. Very generous of you on that five super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. That helps me out a lot. Everyone that sends super chats, it helps me out more than you really think. So thank you for that. Really do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and open up this enclosure. Actually, we need to take care of Tyler, honestly. So you need to go outside, Tyler? Yo, hey, Tyler, hey! What? I just... All right. All right. I'm not mad, all right? I'm not mad. I'm just... I'm disappointed in my own self. Okay. What, Tyler? Tyler, it just evaporated underneath you, my good man? I don't know what just happened. You're in a magical dog? Put him out. All right, let's have a little bit of fun here. Uh, Tyler, go get it. I love the squeaky toys. Thank you, Tyler. What an interesting name for a dog. I was watching a TikTok and like there was like a there's a TikTok of like a veterinarian office and the, the lady she goes around the entire office asking all of her co-workers what is the most common name for for a dog? What's the most common name? Or not even for a dog, just for a pet. Like what's the common name for pets coming in? And um, the most common name for a pet? Can you believe it? Bella. Everyone in the video was like, Bella, Bella. And then they looked it up. It was like 240 some pets that were named Bella. I was like, damn it. <laughs> I didn't name Bella, to be fair, though. I didn't name Bella. Bella was already named when I got her. There we go. There's your fun time. Actually, I need to take a picture of you, my good man. So, yeah, I didn't get to name Bella. The only dog I got to name, all right, and I didn't even name it. Danielle named was Mercy. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Instaprint. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, buddy, old pal. There we go. Good picture. Good picture, Tyler. Open up his cage in case he wants to go in. What is Tyler all about? So Tyler is happy, so well-fed and hydrated. A truly happy animal. Um, easily bored. Animal gets bored really fast. It needs plenty of attention. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, that that that's hard to do, right? How's his hunger? He should probably like have a little bit more food, yeah? There we go. Go. There we go. Give it a little bit more water, a little bit more food. There you go, Tyler. Maybe you need to go inside, right? You need to go inside to yeah, have your have your water and food and all that. There you go. Alright, let's see here. I want to see his hidden trait. I do want to see it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and put him out on the uh on the advertising board. Hey, subscriber! Hey! Bum! You bum! Thank you for the subscription. And then uh, we'll get this going on. So we'll go ahead and put them. Oh, look at all the... Like, what are we going to do with all these pictures, man? They're going to be just scattered everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to have to see. Can I actually buy a decoration? Hang on a sec. Let's see if Chris was happy. I'm so happy. $891. Thank you, Chris. Good God almighty. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's go into shop. No, not build. Let's go into the shop here. And let's see. Food, medicine, hygiene, decorations, basket, blue layer, camo pillow, closed box, cups, towels, pink pillows. I wonder what we can do with all these things. There's going to be so much more to this game, right? This is just like what we have so far. Toys, a ball, a laser for the cats, a laser for the cats, and a scratching post. Site expansion tickets, we'll get those probably eventually. Hygiene, yeah, yeah, yeah. Medicine, medicine, all band-aids, oh lovely. And then food and things of that nature. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Okay, let's go ahead and put him up on for now adoption. Create an ad for Tyler. The animal doesn't trust people. That's fair enough. Let's go ahead and give him a treat. Yeah, alright, Tyler. Give you a treat. I want a dog that never barks, easy to take care of, has a side hustle to make me money on the side. <laughs> There you go, Ty. Oh, God. Here you go, Tyler. You can hang the picks on the wall. How do you hang the picks on the wall? Do I oh, maybe I just need to place it. Actually, actually place it. I probably... Hang on a sec. I probably know how. Thinking about it. Hello, Chris Shenton. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Good evening. Just got back from the opera where my daughter has been singing with her school. Nice. That is awesome. Chris in the game. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. Let's see here. Maybe I can go like this. <gasps> He's done it. He's actually done it. He's done it. Oh, so good. 
Oh, so good. No, no, no. Put that back. Put that back. Oh, so good. Look at these dogs. Yes. Yes. I approve. We're going to fill every wall up with all dogs. All the dogs will be filled. Or, sorry, all the walls will be filled with animals. Not just dogs, I should say. Eventually, probably cats, too, right? We're not just a dog shelter. So, he does trust us now. And his hidden trait... What was his hidden trait? Noisy. That sucks. <laughs> oh, no, Tyler. You're going to be a noisy little son of a gun, aren't you? So, from one shelter to another, no one knows the true story of Tyler. Tyler is healthy, friendly, and cuddly. Almost as if it had never been in any shelter before. Tyler would be a great friend for kids. You don't believe us? Come and see for yourself. We are charmed by its bright nature. So... Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. All right. <laughs> Look above. Okay. Rephrase. I wonder if you will have to have pets for longer than you are right now later in the game. Right now you have them a few hours. I wonder if you will need to keep them for days on later. That. Okay. I see what you mean now. Um, maybe. Maybe depending on what the dog's needs are. Because like I don't know if there will be um, like when you do start to do the medical stuff like uh, you know, when you have to st start taking care of the dogs medically. I wonder if there's, like, a time where you have to, like, uh, let them recover or something. I'm not sure. That's a good shout. So, Tyler, let's hook you up with Martha, maybe. Let's see what you and Martha have in common here. Uh, we'll send an employee out. So, the best condition is a big house, has a garden, and has a lot of free time. Easily gets bored, though, uh, which, luckily, that's nothing there. Uh, desired traits, happy in a large bladder. Why would that even be a trait? Why is a desired trait a large bladder? You think, how are you, that, someone already said how picky these people were finding a dog? Uh, come on, a large bladder? That's definitely, like, what? <laughs> Garden, a lot of free time in a big house. This does come out the best conditions for the dog, but let's go ahead and check the other. Anna, we'll try Anna here. Um, let's go ahead and see what Anna's all about. So Anna likes a happy dog that's brave and who is quiet. Well, this will be exactly the opposite. <laughs> well, this will be a very loud dog. So it looks like maybe the other person is going to be coming clutch here. Yeah, Anna, small house. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and match uh, Tyler up with Martha Holcomb. All right, there we go. Match him up. Promised animal. Very good. And then let's go ahead and deliver Tyler. Can you, can you wise Georgina, can you wise Georgina a happy 10th birthday for, for yesterday? She asked me to ask you. Um, so yeah. Georgina, Georgina, right? Georgina. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. But a happy birthday. Happy 10th birthday to you. Oh my goodness gracious. Another day older. Another year. You're in the double digits. Hey. Double digits. Happy birthday. And I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful evening. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. All righty. Let's see here. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Let's pick up this animal. <clears throat> Got a phone call. Are you going to get PC Builder 2 when it comes out? I would love to see you play through knowing you do not know anything. Probably. I probably will end up getting it. Um, even though I don't know much about PCs. But I probably will. Because I, I thought about it. And I was like, well, if, if I don't know, at least I can learn. Right? I can at least learn about PC Builder. Right? So, once that game does come out, I probably will. Did we get 100% on it? I got 94. That was awesome. Yeah, 94. No problem, Chris. No problem at all. Good reputation, 861, send it off. Alrighty, very good. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, buy building with cat cages. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so now they want us to get into the cat game. Very, very interesting indeed. Whoops. You love the first one? A lot of people like the first one. I heard like a lot of good things about the first one, for sure. So, do we have to buy a pa uh, cat cage? How do we get this in? So, furniture. There's actually furniture. Office furniture, vet furniture, housing furniture, photo studio. You can actually make a photo studio. 
Brick fence, metal fence. What the heck? Office upgrade, oh. vet upgrade, <laughs> washing upgrade, this other upgrade. Off the hook! Hey! Darren with the super chat. Thank you so much, Darren. Really, really do appreciate that. Big ups to you. Big ups to you. Thank you so much, Darren. Do I wear glasses? I do wear glasses. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm not wearing them right now just because this morning I kind of woke up with like a, um, a freaking headache. So I didn't want to put any pressure on my face. A rubbish skip. Thank you so much, Darren. Big ups to you. Helps me more than you know. And you know that. So, okay. Buy building with cat cages. I'm kind of interested. So cat cages. Oh my lord. This is massive. Holy crap. Oh, this is very big. Oh, this is very, very big. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to put this down right away. Yeah, this is massive. But look how many cat cages there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. I get it. So we need to get our reputation up. We need to get the tokens so that the tokens will give us the ticket to expand more. So, we oh crap, where am I going? We just need more uh more dogs to be be put out then we can get into the cat business oh lord get into the cat business martha says thank you here is 451 dollars thank you martha and then uh nala okay so apparently we don't have a choice we have to <laughs> we have to jump into the cat business okay so can i move i can move yeah i can move uh certain things okay okay hang on a sec let's see what we have here so let's move this off to the side this may be over here. I don't even know what this building is. What is this building for? I don't even know what this building is for. Um, okay, that's fine. And then let's let's maybe bring the washer over here if we can. Maybe it will fit off in this area. Wait, rotate it that way. We, oh, we can slide that in. Okay, great. Great. So that's going to be the new washing place. And then we will put the... Uh, not the vet, not the vet upgrade, the housing upgrade. Put the cat cages over here. Oh, baby. Now, can we put these, like, right here? Oh, we can. There we go. Okay, right there. Now the game is going to teach us how to deal with cats. This is, gonna, this is new territory for me, so I'm not even sure my own self. But here's Nala. Thin, too thin. Nala looks so poor. We all should agree that Nala needs a lot of care, love, warmth, and a good home. I'd love to have pets, but this tiny the, the tiny humans are more than enough right now. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur, happy kitty, sleep. That's a Big Bang Theory, yeah? That's Chris Tucker's dog. Was playing in beta for police officer. This one has the holding cells, and you can now take the criminal to jail in your patrol car. Really? That's, that's a good shout. I did not know. That they've added since. Get the one with the yard? Because they needed a yard for the cats? They regret it? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Let's see here. Let's see here. So if we go to housing. Required cat level 2. Dog cages. Cat enclosure. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So can we at least get rid of this? Let's see. Let's see here. I don't even know how if we can. I don't even know if we could. Um, yes. Delete. Yes. Sell. Yes. Okay. And then let's go ahead and go buy. And we'll do... I didn't even see this one way over here. So there is an enclosure with the yard. Ah! Aha! Right. Okay. This is massive, dude. This is way bigger, I think. So let's slide this in. Right... Oy. Um, I guess we can move this later, but I guess for right now, that is good. Okay, now we have the cat enclosure with the yard. With the yard. Which is interesting, because, like, even cats, like, I don't know. I've never seen, like, an enclosure for cats that had a yard in it. But, nonetheless, we, we're here. We got it. Nala's here. Nala's here. Yep, Nala is definitely here. <clears throat> oh, look at Nala. How wonderful is this? So, wait. Oh, no. Taking an animal with an injured paw into your shelter? Wait, what? Oh, wait. That must be next. So, cat run. It should be... No, no, no! 
It should be catwalk. Yeah, I was about to say, they don't need it over the top enclosure because they're not climbing out. But look at these sons of guns, man. You got to watch out. They will definitely, uh, <laughs> they will, they will climb and climb and climb. All right, so let's put this down. I say this down. A little dinosaur picture for you, Nala. Um, we need to buy Nala a, a bowl. So let's get Nala a bowl real quick. We don't even, like the game is like, I, I, I do have to say the game is moving like fast because like we don't even have a, uh, a place for the veterinarian Brody. I'm sorry, Brody, but we can't do, do that right now. Budget friendly cat food. We'll have to get that. And then a food bowl and a water bowl. Probably. Ah, oh, damn. I should have done two. Yeah. Let's do two of each because we have the two enclosures and I'm going to need. No, I don't need another water canister. I have enough. Okay. Confirm that order. There we go. Oh, I need a litter box too. Totally forgot about the litter box. Litter box. Probably need two of those actually. And then the litter bag. A bag with cat litter. Oh no, dude. The cats are going to be more of a... More of something I got to like get used to here. Okay. That's good. Okay, we'll confirm that order too. Hello, Swedish cat. How are you? Good to see you. Oh my god, I almost knocked something over. Badoof, Badoof is a Pokemon. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Whoops, put that down. Okay, we'll take everything out of there. Oh, shoot. Okay, we can't take everything out of all of it, right? So we gotta go here. Oh, God. Nala, you, you just got here. And you're dropping deuces? Okay, water bowl for you, Nala. And a food bowl for you. That is a bone? I think that's neutral, though. I think any any of the dogs can or any of the animals can have that. Um, let me just give you water at least for right. No, that's the wrong one. Let me. I know. I know. I hear you squeal, squealing. I ran out of water. I just ran out of water. <laughs> oh no, dude! I ran out of water. Hang on, Nala. Oh my God! You can't use this large container. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hang on, Nala. Uh, let me just place these other things down. So food bowl. There we go. Um, water bowl right there. Oh my god, Nala is so upset. Nala says, why am I even here? Hang on, Nala. Let me just get the rest of your stuff. Oh no. There we go. Take all this. Take the litter box. Um, and then, okay, litter box, right. Which obviously that should have been the first thing I put. I should have put down. Let's put the litter box, like, over here, if we can. Right there. Is that possible? I don't want to put it close to the bed, and I don't want to put it close to the food, but I guess that's fine. Put it right there. Put some litter into the litter box. And then, that is good. Now, I will pick this up in a sec, Nala. Just give me a sec. And then, litter box over here, maybe? Right there. Nice litter bag here. Awesome. Okay, cool. I gotta get more water though. I gotta get more water and I gotta get the food in. So, and might as well, you know, just pick this up. Excuse me, there we go. There you go, Nala. All right. Oh my God. It's like all crashing ahead of me, dude. Wait, is this water here? What is this? No, it's just a container. It's all crashing ahead of me. Cause it's like, now the cats are here. Now they're more problematic. No. <laughs> uh, okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Where did I thought we bought cat food? Did we not buy what the heck, dude? Someone's in a hot air balloon. I thought we bought cat food. I guess we didn't buy cat food. What is this thing? Warehouse. Put item in here. Oh, I think. Oh, I think like um. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So this is where we actually put like certain stuff. So like, I see. Budget friendly cat food. Like, okay, we did buy it. So we just need to add it to our thing. Um, probably put away. We could put stuff in our backpack, which I totally have been disregarding, which we should. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. We do need more water. Litter bag, we could probably put away in our backpack right now. Okay. I see. And then this, we'll go ahead and throw this away as well. Throw it away. Awesome. Okay. Let's... I need water. Let's get water. And then let's feed the cat. 
and then that will be good. Nala will, will start to go on the right path here. So food, water, buy, send it. Yes. Good thing we don't have to pay for shipping or I would be paying so much in shipping. <laughs> I hate when my wife doesn't put out my water dish. <laughs> I'm good, Swedish cat. Hope you're doing well. Good, good to see you. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, here's your water there. Oh, so good. There we go. And then the nice budget-friendly cat food. The nice kibbles, right? Is that, is that cat food? I don't even know. I would fill up that one, but we don't necessarily need to. Now, I'm probably going to need a toy, too, right? I saw, I saw a brush, but we're probably going to need a toy as well. Yeah, fun. Yeah, fun. Oh, first date's good. We just need to have fun. So let's go ahead and buy uh, a cat some toys. Let's not have that open. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Let's go ahead and pick up our trash here. We'll throw it out. There we go. And then let's buy ourselves a cat toy. I mean, scratching post. Does a scratching post count as entertainment for a cat? I don't know. Again, I'm not very, I'm not very cat savvy, I will say. A laser! That's cat. For cat to scratch freely. Laser. Special low power laser for playing with cats. Send me. Send me off. Give me the laser pointer. <laughs> Now, laser pointers are not just for cats. Let's not get it twisted. Like, my mom's dogs love the laser pointer. They absolutely do. They love the laser pointer. They chase it. Okay, that's good. Gonna throw this away. Mm. Uh, Kans, where did you get your your Ukrainian uh, bandana? Uh, that actually, I got that from junkbrands.com so you can go to junkbrands.com search ukraine and um for the special time during right now 100 percent of your purchase goes uh is donated to ukraine so yeah if you want a headband and different there's different kinds of styles there's not just the one i have uh, but there's also like tie ones that you can tie or you can have the one like i have now um but yeah you can uh, definitely um you can definitely purchase one for yourself as well all right, let's see here. Um, fun, yes. So let's get the cat out of here. Hello, Nala. Yes, yes, yes. And let's go ahead and put the animal down. And then let's play it with the laser pointer. Yes, play. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, look at it go. Oh, it loves it. It's the fastest cat of all time. <laughs> Yo, come over here. Jump on the wall. See it on the wall? He's looking at the wall. Or she, she's looking on the wall. Come over here now. Super fast. Super fast cat. Oh, I love it. How's your fun? Still wanting more? You want more laser? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it. So good. It's really good how the animals interact with the toys in this game. And really just interact with you in this game. They did a pretty good job, I would have, would have to say, for the AI. Because it does feel like a real, like, you know, feels like you're really interacting with animals and things like that. Nice. Okay, good job, Nala. We're all done. Let's pet you. Good kitty. I should pet the animals more often, shouldn't I? Oh, she loves it. Yes, 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 yes. I want to hear it purr. I want to hear it purr. Okay, go inside your cage. Actually, don't go inside your cage. We need a picture of you, Nala. We need a picture of you, Nala. Okay. Say cheese. I know cats don't like cameras. It's like taking their soul. Nala likes it, though. <laughs> there we go. There we go, and there you go. And I'll get you something soon here. Just be there right now, Lioness. Why aren't you able to refill the water container out of a tap shelter? Would be broke. I know, right? Wouldn't you like be able just use the tap water, right? <laughs> no. Dogs drink toilet water, so tap water is a step up for them. True. They need scratching posts for their claws. The claws will get too sharp if they don't file them on the post. Okay, sounds good. Let's actually scan this photo. Hello, professional disc golfer. I love playing disc golf. Disc golf is pretty damn fun, I will have to admit. What is your favorite free game? I honestly don't know. I don't really play a lot of free games. Can I put a link up? Yeah, let me see here. 
I'll do it real quick. Hang on a second. Give me a moment. I'll go exactly. I'll even go uh, above and beyond here. I'll even maybe I'll find the exact link for the exact ban. Here we go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Scratching post. I do want to get in. So let's go ahead and add that to the cart. My dog used to chase little lizards. <laughs> um, okay, so that's good. Nala, I mean, well, not just Nala, but any cat that comes through will get a, um, we'll get a scratching post. Yeah, we can, we can do it. We can go ahead and create the ad, I guess, right? Animal doesn't trust people. Okay, so no. What about cats do treats, yeah? Trats, cats just don't do cookies? Or do they do cookie? Might not like the cookie too much, but dogs, uh, they will do almost anything for them. Okay, so how do we get, how do we gain the trust for a cat? That's interesting. Maybe, oh, that's, that's a tough one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do to gain Nala's trust, unless it comes over time, of course. Of course, it could take over, you know, come over time. Let's see here. Oh, wait, I didn't even click order on that, uh, on that scratching post. Let me see, let me see. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yep, get that scratching post in. Now, where do I put this? I guess I... Now I'm stupid, right? Now I feel really stupid. I should probably buy it for the other enclosure. I was thinking maybe we put it out in the yard, but no, they should just get it in their enclosures. Not out in the yard. I hate sitting in the yard because it feels like these animals are in prison. There we go. Okay. Whoop, put it down. There we go. Grab that. Thank you so much. And then we will go ahead and grab this, throw this away. Wonderful. And then open that up. Grab that. Okay, so petting the cat. Okay, so petting the cat. Bonding with the cat. Good way to have the cat trust you. Common sense, probably, their forehead. Damn it. What's the blue building? This blue building is where we go to wash the animals. This is where we go and, like, get them all clean and stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put some scratching posts in here. Hello, Nala. I just wanted to put in a scratching post for you, if you don't mind, sweetheart. There you go. Go to town on that. <laughs> and then in here, we'll put the same thing. Put it right there. Awesome. How are you doing, Nala? We're not at the 80%. We do need to get her to the 80%. Her bladder is fine. Her hunger, she probably needs a little bit more food and drink. Let's see here. Give her a little bit more food and drink. There you go. And then... A uh, little bit more water. Nope, water's good. Okay, cool. How's your, how's your, I totally forgot that we have to clean the litter box now. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it. So, the hidden trait for this cat was brave. So, the trait will make any animal a true hero. Intelligent. He quickly gets what's going, he quickly gets what's going on. Um, that should probably be changed to they, not he. Because we don't know. We don't know. Right? It could be a he or a she. Uh, likes children. Not every animal likes children, but these actually love them very much. Um, so a cat that likes children, that's, that's, that's wonderful to hear. Let's go ahead and bond with Nala. I'd like to pet you a little bit more. No, no, put the, put the animal down. Put the animal down. Just pet. Let's pet. There we go, Nala. There you go. Do you trust us? Hey, Reagan. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. You've ordered one. Oh, fantastic, Chris. That's wonderful to hear. That's awesome. That is awesome. Shout out to you, Chris. Good shout. Awesome to see. <clears throat> Android Gaming says, hey, I've been binging a lot of your content recently. I've been subbed for your channel for about a month now, and I just wanted to let you know I am loving all your content. Happy to join the Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Android Gaming. Hope... Hope I can continue to bring the the top quality content for you. I'm so glad that you are happy and that uh, that you uh, that you enjoy it and that you've been uh, binging some content recently. Thank you so much and welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Welcome. Always, always a pleasure. Oh, brushing the cat too. Yo, we got to get a brush. Let's go get a brush. 
Can you wash the cats? No, I think in this game, they want you to just brush the cats. I don't think they want you to put the cats in, in like a hose or anything like that. By the way, let's add the cat to the picture. Now, we have this wall for the dogs. Maybe we start a new one for the cats. Right there. There's a cat. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Um, food, medicine, no, hygiene, brush. Yes, so brush. We'll, we'll get the brush. And that's it for now. We gotta level up our reputation still. We gotta, like, bring in, like, get all this new stuff uh, coming through. Once we get our things in order, our affairs in order. Brody, someone found this little one in the sewer. The animal would surely die if not help from a human. Brody! We gotta take Brody. Oh, no. Brody. Animal paw is injured. Oh, crap. Okay, so animals, yeah, paw is injured. We're going to need to buy a clinic. However, I don't think we have enough reputation points for that, unfortunately. So this, this, I, I really wish I didn't pick up Brody now. Uh, not that I don't want to take care of him. It's more the fact that uh, I just don't have a any room right now to put in a, um, a vet, right? A vet, a vet upgrade, a clinic, right? I don't think I have enough. Oh, well, it's not that big, but I still don't think I have enough room for a clinic unless maybe I play some Tetris here. Never was good at Tetris. Um, I do not want to sell this. I, I just want to move it. Oh, you can't move it with animals inside? That's a little bit of a bummer. Okay. Um, hmm. Um, I mean, we could move the dog shelter a little bit closer, maybe. Maybe, baby. Nope. Yeah, we need we need that little bit of... Uh, we need that reputation ticket to come in before we can... We can... Uh, oh, no. Brody's going to have a hurt paw in our facility for a while. Oh, no. Oh, God. Poor buddy. All right, Brody. Brody looks bad. Yeah! Hey, Brody. Come on in here, buddy. Okay, we'll put you in here for now. Um, I know you have a hurt hurt paw. I do, I do, I do. He's very thirsty, but he has some food. Um, I will get to you as soon as I can, Brody. As soon as I can get this, like... <laughs> this... This clinic in, I will, I will take care of you. I promise. Oh, look at his paw. It's actually bandaged. At least they bandaged up his paw. Okay, I'm, I'm happy about that. All right. Just you, you stay put for a little bit. And I, I'm working on it, buddy old pal. I am working on it. Okay. We can finally throw this away. Playing a little Tetris with myself. Kind of hard, but yeah, it's all good. Loving the spirit of the island, and when will you be doing the next stream for it? Um, I don't know on the top of my head, but I will probably be... Well, actually, I might be waiting for updates for that game, I will say. I will say, probably be waiting updates for that game. Um, and I'll keep my eye on it, because there is a... there is Right now, there's just a point in that game where we're at, where it's like... The progression is starting to really stop. So I'm going to wait for some updates before I continue with that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go shop. Let's go Nala. Maybe she's trustworthy now. She is trustworthy. Fantastic. Cat. There we go. Nala. So this this looks like a cute pet, right? Yep. You may not know, but our friend was born a homeless animal. All right. Put Nala up for, I almost said for sale. Not for sale. For adoption here. Forehead for adoption. Going to get the game right after watching and playing the demo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, just make sure that uh, you 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 if you have cooking simulator, gas station simulator, or house flipper, make sure you get the bundle because you get an additional discount um, when you have the bundle. So make sure to get the bundle if you have any of those one games. So Robert Daniels looking in for Nala here. Let's see here. Uh, we'll send out an inspection. So he's looking for an intelligent cat, which is perfect because we have an intelligent cat. He also likes children. Uh, we have a cat that likes children. Both things very, very good. Best condition for the cat is kids inside the house and a lot of free time. Uh, there is kids inside this house and there's a lot of free time. This is perfect. Robert, congratulations. You are a match for Nala. Cool. That was easy. Yeah. Let's go get Nala. Nala has a new place. Donkey, 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 donk. Fleming, Fleming Lund. Hopefully I said that right. Fleming Lund says I found your channel for almost a month ago. Love the content. So nice to see one one love the games as much as I do. Keep up the great work. 
thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. Appreciate that. Very, very much appreciate that. Um, yeah, dude. These games are like simulator games, all these types of games, tycoon management games. I love these games, right? And um, especially that like this game kind of pulls strings at my heart with the whole pets things. But yeah, thank you so much there, Fleming. I'm glad that you chimed in and I'm glad that you you um, yeah, you made your, your, your presence known and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. My doggo is called Brody and when you said his name, he came running up to the TV. Hey, Brody. You want to go outside? You want to go outside, Brody? Okay, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> hey, we actually broke 1,000 reputation points. Wonderful. I think that's going to give us a ticket so that we can buy a clinic. Should be, right? Should be. Let's see here. Uh, Brody, yep, is hurt. Robert says thank you. Let's go see. Let's go see if that gave us a, um, a, uh, a ticket so that we can expand our shelter. Email says thank you. $933 from Robert. Thank you, Robert. My God, did it give us a ticket? No ticket? Dang it! Now, wait a sec. You can't, like, buy a ticket, can you? I saw something about shops and others. Site expansion tickets. Yeah. I was hoping that you could do that. So right now, we just can't do anything for Brody, unfortunately. Not at this given time. Uh, which is kind of sad. Really sad, actually. And we can't take any pets in. Okay. Right. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to try to make it work. Uh, we are going to try to make it work here. Somehow, some way, we have to do it. So no cats here in this shelter anymore now that uh, Nala is gone. So we're going to start playing a little bit of Tetris in a way. Move that over as much as I can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab this trash bin. Maybe put it off over here if I can sneak that in. I can. Perfect. There we go. Put it right there freaking there and then i think i might be able to put the vet clinic right here it would be nice to put it there now wouldn't it can i put it oh i can put it like really really up front right now this isn't ideal i will say this is not ideal this is not where i technically would like it or we can kind of put it in sideways that makes it a little bit more cleaner we'll put it in sideways kind of back to back to the to the washroom for now but this isn't a permanent spot I would like. I would like uh, more different areas here. Uh, more different placement on some of the things. So now let's go ahead and buy bandages. We'll buy bandages. I don't know how much we need to buy. Um, but I'll just buy one for now, I guess. And we'll see. There we go. I'm assuming one bandage is used up on one animal. Right? So there we go. Perfect. Uh, take the animal to the clinic, put the animal on the surgery table, my lord, and then heal the animal's paw with a bandage. Okay. Cool. Take that, take everything. Okay, we have the bandages. No, 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 pick up the box, please. Thank you. Oh, crap. <laughs> the, the, the trash is not there anymore. It's like back in the back now. <gasps> am I, am I able to get to the trash? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 my God. I'm able to sneak by. <laughs> Barely able to sneak by. All right, so let's take care of, um, let's take care of Brody now, right, Brody? Take care of his paw, finally. Stay, your favorite simulator is still House Slipper? Yeah, and actually, um, let me just hang on, let me see here. There's a, uh, DLC coming out for that game very soon. There's actually DLC coming out very soon for, uh, hang on a sec. Let me check my list here. Yeah, I think there's actually, um, I think DLC came out for Thief Simulator today. Today, too. So, same day. Crazy. I totally forgot about that. Luckily, I have it written down. All right, so let's put the dog on the surgery table here. It looks like a little tiny uh, German Shepherd of some sort. Okay, so let's put a bandage on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he needed a bandage. He didn't have a bandage. It was just a red, uh, red, uh, red, put a bandage here input. I see. Take in a sick animal into your shelter. Okay, so let's do one thing at a time here, game. Let's take care of Brody. Now, Brody, are you, are you dirty? He's not dirty. He's not dirty. He just needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, Brody, we'll take you back to the enclosure. The one thing you gotta love about this game is that it you just don't take care of them. You send them off and that you have to actually inspect, interview people, and get them. I know, right? It's very, very good in depth into the game, right? Definitely love it myself, personally. 
Now let's see your bladder. He's going to get that done. I'm going to need to play with him too. Come on, Brody. Let's go. Send it. Yeah, I like the like more in depth. Like you just don't bring him in, take him out. Bring him in, take him out. Why did he not bring the ball back? Is he does he not like to play fetch? Or maybe because he's hurt? Brody. Get the ball. Bring it back here, buddy. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Good dog. There you go. I'm gonna give you a treat too, since you're just like, you know, you're having a bad day, your leg is hurt. I'll give you a good treat too as well. There you go, buddy, old pal. All right. So he will need to do his business eventually. Maybe that's what he's waiting for. But he still needs a little bit more fun in his life. Brody, get the ball. Come on, Brody. He gets distracted easily. This is a squirrel of a dog. <laughs> there we go. Go get it. Now there is a there's a toy bone I believe too. House slipper is the first game you got really. Oh, don't, the, the the toy went into your. Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted you to do. Good job. Go get it. Now do I have to mop that up? No, it evaporates on its own. <laughs> All right. There we go. Go. There we go. Now he's gonna be a very very happy dog. All of his things are coming up. I actually need to take a picture of him though. Go ahead and take a picture of him. Hang on, Brody. Just stand still. No, no, no. Stand still. Let me get like a side profile of you, maybe. Yeah. Perfect. Good job, Brody. Great job. Now go back into your enclosure. Have a little bit of drinky drink. Get it going on in there. All right. There you go. Cool. All right. Let's go put him up for adoption. Just giving me a timestamp so I can watch this part. The part I missed. <clears throat> yeah, I should get the toy bone, huh? Let's see what it, that's all about, right? I should put that in there. Let's see here. Let's go in and get the toy bone. Because I was like, you know what? I mean, there is that, right? So rubber bone. Perfect for chewing. Almost the best for a dog. Sammy used to love her bone. I wonder if I'll get two rubber bones. Can I put them in their enclosure? In each different enclosure? Might as well, right? Here we go. Okay. That has been scanned. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and add him to our list here. Brody. Great and add. What do we know about Brody? Not a lot, right? Well, there's not a lot. He oh, he has a large bladder. Yes, that's what we know about Brody. Selects Brody. So from one shelter to another, no one knows his true story. All right, there we go. Thank you for sharing. Now we'll wait for some applications to come through. They put Thief Simulator DLC to May 10th. Really? So they changed the release date to DLC? Are you kidding me? That's a that's like a couple months, man. All right. Well, I guess no uh, Thief Simulator. DLC today. I had it written down. I thought it was the 23rd, but I guess they changed it. Maybe the toy bone helps for the posing in the photo shoot. That's not a bad shout. That's a pretty good idea. Hello, Karma. Welcome back again. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, let's see here. So, Raphael Bright. Yes, Raphael Bright. First customer. Let's see. Give him a good inspection. Uh, he's looking for a large bladder dog, and he's looking for a brave dog, which is basically what Brody is. Um, Brody wants someone to have a lot of free time, though. And Raphael is a little bit busy, unfortunately. Let's see what Barbara has. Barbara Bravo. This is, uh, Johnny Bravo's wife. Okay. Great. Let's see what she has. So she's looking for a large bladder, and she's also looking for Brave. So very similar to the other person. And she has a lot of free time. This is a match. Yep, this is a match. Definitely a match. Fantastic. Good job, bra Barb. That's a hard one to say. Barbara Bravo. Let's try to say that fast. All right, Brody is fixed up, ready to go, and he is ready to definitely um, be shipped out. I hate to say that. Shipped out. But he's going to a good home, right? A forever home. That's what we have to think about it. Let's add him to the wall. Good job, Brody. They all seem to be like puppies, right? It doesn't seem like they, they I don't know. Maybe it's me. But they don't seem to be like, um, like big dogs. Like, what if you could have like a big, big dog and like you had to like, you couldn't carry it, right? And you had to like, you know, use a leash to take it wherever you needed to take it, you know? Because let's be honest, all the dogs that are being rescued, they're not all just dogs that are small, right? There's big dogs out there too. Jump in the truck there. Bye, Brody. Very good. Let's open this up. 
check out our reputation points. Did we get an e-ticket? <laughs> Did we get an e-ticket ride? Um, let's see where our reputation now stands. Yeah, that's that's also yeah. House Flipper Pets is coming uh, in a month or so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last house flipper we did was a couple months ago. We actually did a house flipper stream. We did a house flipper stream. Um, the, oh, squeaky squeak. The, not the day before, but like very, very close to Christmas. And I tried to make, I tried my best. Don't go in here to drop boxes off. I tried my best to make the uh, house flipping that we did um, a, um, a very Christmassy old fashioned theme. Like your grandma and grandpa's, um, like Christmas type thing. Are you sure? You, no, 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 no. Do I have stuff in here? Yeah, give me all of it. Take take everything. There we go. Yeah, so I tried to make a, your grandma and grandpa's vintage Christmas house. That was the last stream we did for House Flipper. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in another animal. Looks like we're going to be taking in a sick animal, which we might need to like get a syringe maybe or something, something rather of some sort. I don't even know. How much money did we get for uh, Brody? 695 doll hairs. All right, pebbles. Oh, pebbles, thin too thin. Pebbles look so poor. Taking pebbles. Animal is sick. Okay, so here we go. Animal is sick. So with animal being sick, we are going to need what? A syringe for blood sample collection. Oh god, here we go. Here comes my weakness. So, syringe for blood collection. What else are we going to need? Take blood sample from the animal. Send a blood sample to the vet by dropping it into the box outside the clinic. Okay. Buy a proper medicine and heal the animal. So, this is even more in-depth, right? So, we take a blood sample of the sick dog to find out what's wrong with the sick dog. And then once we send off the blood sample, we get results on what kind of medicine we need to get the dog or give to the dog. And not just dog, really, I guess, even like a, a cat. Well, if, if a cat comes in sick, let's not go that way. Let's go into our clinic. Is that the drop-off box? That is the drop-off box, the blood sample bo block. Box? Not blocks. Lord have mercy. Stop playing these cool games. It makes me want to buy them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, did I order that syringe? I don't think I ordered it. Damn it. I add it to the cart and then I just don't hit send. It's kind of like how I do with Amazon in real life. I put stuff in the cart, not to buy, but just to like keep as a reminder. I know there's a like a list that you can just save stuff, but I like sometimes if you put like items in your cart on Amazon, they'll see like it's in your cart and then they'll like discount the item sometimes because they like see that it's in your cart. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe that's me. So interval, interval veterinarian. So there's pills, um, there's su suppository, and there's taking probes. Wait a sec. So that's interesting. Pills. By using a mouse, take one pill and put it directly into the animal's mouth. Now, anytime I've ever had to put any, um, any pills in any of the dog's mouth we put it like with peanut butter or something like we mix it because they're not going to take the pill by itself let's go ahead and draw the blood here there's no space in front of the animal excuse me what he just growled at me oh no to apply the medicine wait a sec no 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 do we need to do it why he's on the ground wait a sec I'm a little confused. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go to inventory real quick. Let's put a few things away if we can. Let's put the rubber bones away. Let's put the brush away. Let's put the laser away. Um, and that's it. Okay, so if we take Brody. Wait, Pebbles doesn't, Animal doesn't seem to be injured. Okay, right, but we need to take a sample. Do I have to do this in the enclosure? Let's see here. Yeah, you have to do it inside the enclosure. That's interesting. I wonder why you would do that. I mean, what's what's the problem with not, you know, why, why can't you do it on the surgery table? I have no idea. But we'll let, just let him do his thing in there. And then we'll put this off and send it off. Mailbox. All right. There we go. We got everything out of here, right? Yeah. Just want to make sure before I throw it away. To be honest, this has been on my wish list for so long. Same, I know. I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my god, it's finally out. 
It's been on my wish list for a very long time. The youngins would love it even more. Have you uh, tried House Flipper Luxury? I have not tried all the DLC. I have not. Um, there's a lot to House Flipper that I have not tried. Um, yeah. Let's put you inside here. Put you right inside. Right there. I hope we don't simulate administering suppo suppositories. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We have our dog Pebbles here. Getting a little bit of thirst. Getting a little bit of hunger out of the way. Needs a little bit of fun. Is an energetic dog. Health is declining as we speak, which is bad. Now, I don't know. I really, really, really do not know if uh, dogs or animals pass away in this game. I hope not. I really, really, really hope not. Now, let's go ahead and go to our email and check to see what that blood sample came out to be. Let's see. Email. Email says, according to the blood sample, disease detected is it's a cold. So the dog has a cold. All we need to do is give it pills. That's good. Why was the dog, like, fuming out green stuff? I have no idea. So let's give him a pill. Veterinarian food. That's kind of cool. Tweezers. Syringe with medicine. Syringe for blood and a razor. Got it. There we go. Drone will arrive with the pill very soon. Cool. All right. Oh, put it down. I always click the right wrong button. Take all the pills. Thank you so much. All right, let's give this to, to Pebbles. All right, Pebbles, I got your medicine for you. It looks like you have a cold. You have the classic cold. Put that in your mouth. Hope you have that. Yep, there you go. I should probably give you some more food, too. The good boy box. <laughs> probably a little bit more water wouldn't uh, be too bad as well. There you go. And then let's go out here and have some fun, Brody. Yeah. I, I guess you're instantly, like, better, right? <laughs> like, you're cold. It's gone. Let's play ball. Go get it. I, I threw the ball. I threw it. I threw it. I threw it, my good man. Hello. Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. There you go, Brody. There you go. Bring it back. Bring it back to daddy. <laughs> I've been holding on to that one for a while. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take it. Go, go, go. Go, Pebbles. Go. Don't get distracted. It probably doesn't have the intelligent trait. That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Game saved. Go get it. Go get the ball. Do I keep calling Pebbles Brody? Oh, no. Maybe that's why it's not listening. I have to hide my cat's warming tablet in her treats. Yeah, I mean, see, that's the thing. Like, the animals, they, they're not falling for it. You can build a houseboat and you can finally build windows. Oh, really? Windows? That's actually a good shout. Harry the Barbarians. How are you doing, Harry? Hope, good to see you. Animals can die in this game. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. We got to prevent that. <laughs> You're on day 256 for streaming daily. Oh my lord. I got excited when I saw the update, the spirit of the island, but it's just bug fixes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh there is and that's probably what I'm going to be playing just so you, uh, anyone that is a fan of Spirit of the Island, that's probably what I'm going to be playing Spirit of the Island again is when the March big big March update drops cuz supposedly it's going to happen soon uh so actually i need a picture of him them pebbles um yeah there, there is going to be a big march update that's going to drop and that's probably when i'll replay it again supposedly if anyone doesn't know the roadmap uh, apparently there is a roadmap and the roadmap does say that there will be big updates once a month like big updates once a month so that's good there we go put them in there we go all right pebbles be good. I'm gonna put you on the on the block here. So unlock another reputation star. So we want to get to another reputation star, which will be good because then we can expand our shelter even more. That's here. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Actually, we need to scan the photo. There we go. Put the photo in there. Scan it. They said expect more this week. Well, that's good. That's absolutely absolutely good. Very excited to hear that. Oh my god! Look at all these freaking dogs. My lord, look at the look at look, isn't that a meme? Henry the meme cat? Hey! <laughs> Wonderful. Great an ad. Yep. So now we have a lot, a lot of animals that we can take care of now. We're kind of like now starting to phase out 
a little bit phase out of the um what do you could say the uh the tutorial phase right so we have jesse here we can get jesse brutus oh brutus i gotta get brutus that looks like a pomeranian if anything we'll take brutus and then i'll take henry because me me out looks like henry's gonna need a little bit of medical though it looks like henry is injured the take-in pro process is currently full so we can't queue up any of that all right uh let's see where we have as far as ads so Martin wants something here. So Martin, can you line up with Pebbles? So Pebbles is a brave and energetic dog who needs a big house, has needs a garden and some free time. Now, desired trait, of course, is brave that Martin is looking for. Let's actually go ahead and, uh, oh God. Let's go ahead and look for um, Barbara. Maybe, I don't know. Actually, this might be a good hit here. Let's see, big house. Has a garden and a lot of free time. Yeah, you know what? You're a match. There you go. There's our match. Very good. Let's go get Brutus out of the truck now, and then let's put Pebbles into the truck. <laughs> very fast, very high turnover rate we have here at this uh, forehead layer of shelters. Come on, Pebbles. Actually, Pebbles, you're not ready. I got to get Brutus out of the out of the cage first. Hang on, let me get Brutus. This must be Brutus. Definitely not a Pomeranian. Let's go and put him in. There you go, Brutus. Just sit tight for me, buddy. There you go. Uh, where did the other dog go? There you are. All right, Pebbles. Time for you to get up out of here, man. Maybe. <laughs> Hello? Pebbles, need somewhere to go? Do I need to match them up again? Oh, crap. Nope, there they are. Okay, they were just, they were just arriving late. That's fine. There you go. There you go, buddy, old pal. Take it easy there, Pebbles. Later, Pebbles. I wouldn't hand I wouldn't I wouldn't want to hand over the pets in this game. I'd keep them all. Oh, very, very good. One thing you can still do in Spirit of the Island is develop your property more as in staff and power and bigger shop for more cash. It's true, it's definitely true. But I, I do want to kind of save that part. I do want to save that part because I feel like if I do it right away. Then when the updates come out, it's going to be a very short-lived uh, type update look at because it's like then we will have like our property expanded, cash in, and then, you know, whatever little tiny update does come out, we it won't be that exciting to kind of discover more of. What is Tigger doing? Tigger was probably looking his, uh, his manhood. <laughs> Got to give it a few minutes. Apparently there's rush hour. <laughs> All right, so that is uh that that's our buddy old pal. Put him up on the on the on the table. Or sorry, gosh darn it, up on the wall here. There we go. All right, great. So let's go ahead and uh, get six hundred and forty-two dollars from that. Oh baby, that's looking good. Did our reputation go up? I don't think our reputation went up anymore. So let's bring in some more uh, cat or animals. We'll bring in Henry, cause come on, who does it? Tigger licking his thang thang doohickey, and then oh Lola, I like the name of that Lola. Hello, I'm Lola Bunny right henry you're coming home we gotta we gotta get henry in <laughs> yo hey monkey king monkey king says hey been watching your videos with my girlfriend for a while and we love your content and the first time it's the first time we have catch a live stream keep up the good work shout out to monkey king hello monkey king and monkey king queen Monkey Queen, <laughs> thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate that, man. I'm glad that you enjoy uh, the content, and I'm glad that you made yourself present. I, I really like that as, as well. Thank you so much. I always like uh, seeing and, and hearing and uh, meeting new people of, of the community that watch, you know, kind of kind of lurking, right? And then they, they make a move, and they're like, you know what? This guy, I'm going to say something to him. Let's see how it goes and then they say something and then that happens so thank you <laughs> really do appreciate that thank you so much all right first things first is how's your water how's your food food level good how's your water we'll fill up the water a little bit more we'll give you a little bit more food okay i think i'm out of food sorry we're out of food brutus it's a wonderful name by the way brutus we'll throw that away um brutus my man 
What do you want to do? You want to go have fun? Let's go have fun. Let's go outside and have some fun. Doesn't look like he's dirty. I don't think, right? I don't think he's dirty. No, his hygiene's good. His hygiene's good. Okay, Brutus. Uh, I do have rubber toys. Want to play with a rubber toy? Let's get the rubber bone toy out. Let's try that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Go here. So if I give you this, what will you do with it? Would you like this? Or does this go... Does this just go in your in your cage? Maybe that just goes in your cage? I can't throw it for you, unfortunately. Hmm, interesting. Oh god, I just dropped that on the ground now, didn't I? There we go. Put that right there. Maybe they just go into the enclosures. Where's the ball, Brutus? Did Pebbles take it with him? No. There it is. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Let's play. Let's play, bud. Let's go. Go! Run! Very good. Kebab just to, just arrived. A little jealous. I am kind of hungry. It's like a maze trying to get to the dumpster. I know. <laughs> What's the next immediate game on your wish list? Um, well, I'm not really sure because I do have a list of games here uh, that I that I have uh, that I have written down. But these are games and obviously other publish and publishers that I've had. Uh, in contacts with or game devs that I am currently doing series on so uh, there's a lot of priorities I got to go in with right um, so I don't really have like game wish lists like I have a giant wish list like if you want to add me on Steam everyone usually adds me on Steam you can see my wish list but my wish list consists of like three to four hundred games and uh, about most of them 90 percent of them Maybe 95% of them are mostly me adding them to, to wish lists so that I have an idea for future content. Uh, I have an idea of when the games release. I have an idea of when the games go on sale. So a wish list, you know, I use it in a different term in a different way. But yeah, so right now I just have like, like the end of this week, there's a lot of like stuff going on because I think tomorrow there's another new game coming out. There's another new game coming out on the 24th. There's another new game coming out on the 28th. Actually, there's two games coming out on the 28th. And then there's another new game coming out on the 31st. So there's like four games coming out in like the next week and a half. Which I have planned to, to, to cover here. And sometimes I get keys from the devs, sometimes I don't. Uh, this game in particular, I, I, did, I just didn't get a key. Which I have, I'm not sweating about it because I do like this game and I like it a lot. So, yeah. All right, that's enough, Brutus. Get inside. <clears throat> Hello, one-handed media. How are you? Hey, take it easy, Darren. I think I see later Darren on that. So uh, I'm going to just say I think Darren might be leaving. I didn't see the, 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 the chat from before. But if you are, Darren, please take it easy. And thank you so much for the for the generosity. Do we have the one ticket? We don't have the one ticket in. All right, that's fine. Oh, I didn't take a picture of Brutus. I keep forgetting to take a picture of the animals. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Good to see you again, Sarah. Welcome back. Welcome back, Sarah. Just got off work and this made my day because I love dogs. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Yo, look at that. Dude, that, that was a... I had to take that picture in motion. That strut was legendary. That was a very good strut. Good job, Brutus. Don't forget poor Henry. Henry's a meme. He will wait. <laughs> One hand in media says i'm a new sub well welcome appreciate the sub appreciate the sub thank you so much all right so that was done let's go ahead and get the um let's get this going on let's go create for sh uh, create create an ad for mr brutus here not a lot of traits for brutus not a lot of a uh, demand for brutus so that's good sorry pebbles all right pebbles not brutus pebbles wait a sec Oh, I didn't scan it, you stupid son of a gun. You idiot. Put the picture in the scanner. 
Gosh darn it. You buy beds for the dogs in this game? I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. I, I think you can. I should probably look into that. Yeah. <clears throat> Brutus! There we go. Brutus. <laughs> you giving the dogs the rubber bones to chew on? Yeah, I'm giving them, I'm, I'm putting it inside of their, uh, inside of their, um, inside of their, in, into the cage. Because I can't, like, hand it to them, uh, which is weird. Because I thought I was going to be able to, like, throw them. But, I mean, maybe, I guess, the rubber bones, they can just sit there and chew on them, right? Peter Rudd. Peter freaking Rudd here. So, likes children is Brutus. And who is calm. Oh, that's very good. Peter, let's see here, Peter. You are looking for a calm and a quiet dog. Okay. The best condition is kids in the house. That's not too demanding. Brian Daniels. You're looking for a calm dog as well. We'll go ahead and give you a, a shout here. So let's see here. More info on Peter. He does live without children. So that's not good for Brutus. That's not good. Maybe Brian lives with children. Interesting. Okay, so they both aren't. Well, they both don't have that. So... A lonely householder. This person looks to be lonely. A pet will certainly come in handy. Well, in that case, I, I'm going to go for him. Since there was a house with no children, this is a person literally by himself. So if he's by himself and he has a lot of free time, Brian would be able to get with Brutus. Brutus, who is calm and who is uh, friendly with people and children in case Brian does decide to do that. Yeah, I think that's a good match. We'll match them up. Now let's go ahead and take on Henry. Let's see if we can bring in another cat while we're at it. There's not another cat. That sucks. We'll bring in Lola. Lola. Yeah. Let's go get Henry. Henry is literally um, needing medical attention. I probably should have done that first, right? Sorry. Okay, let's get him out. Poor Henry. Now I feel like a total ass. <laughs> now I feel so bad. You watch your King of Retail series too? Oh, that's wonderful. One of my favorite series on the channel. There you go. See a pebble or pebbles? No. Forgot your name already, but have a good one. Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for not watching many videos lately. Life has been a bit crazy. Never be sorry for that. Never be sorry for that. I understand that completely. Don't be sorry there, Sarah. Don't be sorry. So congratulations, we reached the next shelter reputation. Now we can go ahead. Oh god. Yo. Henry. Henry! I got you. Henry, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You had food? Oh, there's Lola. Oh no. Henry. Um uh bandage you up. That's all we need. So put you right there. I'm gonna need to get some bandages. Hold on, Henry. Just hold on a sec, buddy old pal. Lola, welcome, welcome to the shelter. Yep. Yep, thank you, Lola. Lola is hungry. Well, Lola, you're gonna need to just hang on a second. I'm taking care of a freaking feline. All right. Get in there and stay in there, Lola. Oh, man. Now it's getting busy, right? We're becoming a busy body. I'm gonna buy more than just one bandage now. Let's make sure we buy, like, nine, I think. How much money did we get? 568? That's fine. Uh, let's buy, buy, buy nine bandages, right? Is that the max? Nine? Yeah, nine. We'll buy nine. Confirm, confirm that order. We'll get that in. Henry, don't pass out on the surgery table, buddy old pal. We're coming for you. There we go. Okay, okay. That's done. If you hear the dogs barking, I do apologize. They're nuts. I think somebody's at my house. Literally, I, I'm pretty sure somebody's at my house because I am selling something right now. <laughs> Find sprained limb. Yes, let's get that going on here. There we go. Henry, hopefully you're better, buddy. Yeah, I am selling something, so if you hear the house... Dude, he has like a flea. I need tweezers. Hey, I need tweezers. I need tweezers. I didn't realize he had fleas on him, or he had like a tick or something. I don't know. Danielle's outside selling what I'm selling, so it's, it's fine. I don't need to answer the door. Whatever is being sold is being sold right now. It's actually my bed frame. I'm selling my bed frame. <laughs> it's weird, right? I know. Crazy stuff. I'm selling my bed frame. Okay, get this out of here. 
So somebody right now is currently at my house as I'm streaming. They have no idea. They are taking King Forehead's bed frame. They have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Got the tick. Okay, put the item into the medical tray. Oh. There we go. You have any more on you, Henry? Henry, I didn't know you were like all beat up here, buddy old pal. Are you okay? Okay, he doesn't seem to be injured anymore. All right. Well, there you go, Henry. All right, do you need to be cleaned or anything? Your hygiene's pretty good. No, you just need to have some fun now. All right, that's fair enough. So you had a sprained ankle. You you had a freaking tick on you. My lord, Henry. I didn't realize your meme was out of control. Hello, Noir Aquatics. How are you? Good to see you. How large is the game? I'm running out of space. Um, well, I'm not really sure how large the game is. We've only expanded one time. Oh, I gotta actually clean this out, don't I? Can be used by cat one time. Okay, so I need a... Uh, a bag? Do I need a bag for I don't know how cats work. <laughs> Do I need to clean this out? Yeah? There we go. Yeah, yeah, you need a bag. Cool. Alright, alright. So, a couple of bags. Very well. There we go. You play games one-handed. I see. Okay, I see. Could you see this becoming a bit repetitive? There is enough to keep wanting you play. Um... Maybe. There, there definitely could be, for sure. The only thing, though, at least for me, um, is that, um, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. A lot of decoration that has yet been unlocked. There's a lot of upgrades and a lot of buildings that we have yet to use. So, I think the progression in this game definitely, um, is there. We just need to get there, is all. Kind of thing. Uh, I mean, doing the same thing over and over, it is definitely a busy body, but I think that's the fun part about it. I think a game for like this, uh, doing the reputation thing is kind of the fun thing about it, and you get to work with animals, which is fun in itself. There's not a lot of games out there where you have like one-on-one -on -one taking care of animal type thing, a game revolved around taking care of animals. So I think it's a very unique thing to its kind of self, and I think it would um, be very unique to some people, uh, especially animal lovers, right? Um, so yeah, it just depends. I think for the right audience, I don't think they would really care about repetition, really, for the right audience. Hello, James. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back, James. Hello, Noah. Welcome back, Noah. Hi. How are you doing, Noah? Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, good to see you again, both of you. How's the laser going? How are we doing, Henry? Henry, we're doing fine. All right, you're all you're all set, Henry. Come over here if we can. Maybe like right here into the sun. I do want to take a picture of you, Henry. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get down and personal. Henry, Henry, don't do it. Henry, look at me, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Henry. Henry, Henry. There you go. Look at the camera, baby. Oh, good stuff. Good job, Henry. All right, let's put you back inside. This early access? No, this is not early access. Nope. Yeah, this is not early access. This is full release. Oh, that's good to hear, Noah. Glad to hear you're doing well. I always like seeing the I like seeing your name in chat just because my my brother my, my brother is named Noah, and so every time I I see the I see Noah, I'm like I think of him a lot. So I think about what he's doing and whatnot. There we go. Okay. So Henry can officially go up on the market. We did sell... Was it... What was his name? I forgot. I forgot the dog's name. But we sold the dog for 560. I'm starting to lose people's names or the, or the dog's names and things like that. All right. Let's see. Maybe um, Henry is able to go up now. Yeah. Nice. Henry's not afraid. Henry likes people. Henry it was a little injured coming in, but now he's doing a lot better. There we go. Lola is kind of like being neglected at the given time or given moment, but that's all right. Um, so that's good. We'll get those in. What I'll do is I'll let those come in for now. And then right now we'll, we'll bring in some more. So Olivia, another cat. Yeah, let's get another cat. Let's get Olivia in, please. There we go. We'll get Olivia in. Make sure Olivia is okay. I don't know how many cats we can have. I think we can have two cats. I think it's the same as the dogs. Two, two cages. Hmm. 
Plus we have the love and the feels of taking care of the pets. Basically not really completing treating. It's just as it's just a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cats do their own thing. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, oh, look at these using the scratch post. Look at this cat. I just realized it's a white cat. My lord. What a great looking cat. Okay, let's give him some water. Water canister. It is. Henry's photo is a meme. I'm telling you. He's he's a freaking meme, dude. He's incredible. All done? Yeah. How was it? No, I'm freaking hot. They got it? Yeah. Did they pay in cash? Yeah. They did? Cool. Did they, um... Did you explain to them how it worked? Oh, and, and, and it worked? Whew. Could you hear me through the window? No, I was okay. I wasn't being too loud. No. Okay. Have our I know. Do, do you know how we're going to get the bed frame from their house to our house? You could. My mom has a truck, too. Hey, you're going to say hi, hi to chat? Say hello. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. This is another. This is this is another forehead. This is no. queen. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not the only one. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. So Henry, you're gonna be going out here, buddy, old pal. You're leaving for work. Okay. Would you do me a big favor? Would you just give me a cold drink? I was sweating like a mother mofo in here. No, no, I don't. Actually, a Diet Coke would be fantastic. I do care. <laughs> yeah, so when the people came just now to buy or to pick up the bed frame, she shut my door so that it wasn't loud. So that, you know, wasn't being disturbed or anything. And when she shuts the door in this little room, oh, dude, it gets so hot in here. And I was sweating so bad. I'm, like, sweating right now. So now she opened up the door. And so, like, yeah. Which, by the way, tomorrow I did order off Amazon a little fan to prevent things like this. So that in the future I won't have to, like, hotbox myself in here. Because it's not good for the computers, obviously. And it's not good for my health and, and things like that. So I did order a little fan. Never had a fan. Uh, in my room before so it's going to be new so we're going to have a little bit of fun action with that that should be coming tomorrow Whew, okay anyways yeah all right let, let's go ahead and get henry out there right get henry going here so henry who would like to meet match up with you nicole bravo or Sil sylvia mcneil honestly because you're the meme cat you're looking like nicole bravo will be perfect for you she's looking for a fast eat what the heck a fast eater why are you looking for a fast eating cat uh, a happy cat and a kind natured. Now, <laughs> Henry is an aggressive cat who is also a silly cat that happens to be a fast eater. Uh, I don't know if you're going to do well there, Nicole. Uh, Sylvia, thank you very much. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Hang on a sec. Drew, hey, Drew. Good to see you again. I really need to get a PC once I can afford all these great games. I know, right? Another forehead. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Have to go so soon. Apartment hunting. Oh, apartment hunting. That sounds a little uh, exhausting. Bye, Sarah. Thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us again. Hope to see you again soon, Sarah. There a window? There is a window. There is a window. Um, the only problem is, is that at least where I live, like right now, I know spring just started, but it's like 85 degrees outside. So it's like pretty damn hot. And during the summertime, during the summertime, it, like it averages between 95 and 105 so that that sucks a little bit but um yeah and plus like i don't want to disturb my neighbors or anything with my window because we live so close to each other that's another reason so this is not going to be good because sylvia is actually a small house they're looking for a fast eater and all that you know what nicole actually might be the way to go here yeah that cat care is health is going down yeah, I, I noticed that too, but I don't know why. Maybe because they got ticks again? We'll have to see. I'll go back to it before I uh, send this off. So they both have small houses. It's interesting. Okay, let's go check on Henry here. Love you. See ya. Um, let's go see. 
Let's go see what's going on with Henry. He might have another tick. I have no idea. Why, why is your health going down here, buddy? What's going on? Are you sick? What's going on with you? Oh, yeah, he is sick. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got you. I got you. Hang on. Hold on tight. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on, Henry. Hold on. Let me get a syringe. I need a syringe. He looks like he's sick. I did not realize he got sick. Okay, shop. Sick. We cannot send out a sick animal. Absolutely not. We got to get a blood sample in. Probably should just buy a bunch of uh, syringes just in case, right? We'll get a bunch of syringes in. Syringes in. Syringes in. And we will take care of this cat. You're not dying on me, Henry. We got you, buddy old pal. Okay, go, go, go. Take, take. Wow, I got a ton of syringes there. Okay, okay. Okay, Henry, hold hold on tight, buddy. Let me just poke you. Let me take a blood sample of you. I think you just have probably like a like a little bit of a flu, right? A little bit of sickness. There we go. Okay, are we done? Okay, we're done. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I think I, I I think I might have. I think I might have a. Uh, uh, Bug the game out a little bit. Okay, we're, d we're done here. No, no, no. Henry! Hold on tight, buddy. Okay, I think I did bug the game out. Uh-oh. Um, I didn't even get the blood sample out. Okay, we're going to have to save and reload. Okay, save to a new file. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be uh, stream. Yeah, save it. Um, reload the game. Let's load it back up. Oh God, Henry's in dire need as we sit here saving our, you know, saving our game. Okay, Henry, okay, what the heck just happened? <laughs> Pick up the blood sample. Why is there syringes all around? Henry, there's syringes just floating there. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, Henry. Wait, what's over here? That's another blood sample? What is going on? <laughs> Put the blood sample in there. Sample sent off. Did, how many syringes did I use? Oh, no. Health results are now available. Okay. What are the health results? Uh, Henry, do test blood. Examine the test swab. Okay. Blood samples are clean. If your pet still looks bad and you suspect a disease, try to do a test on blood sample, which we did. Examine the taken swab. Examine stool samples. Oh, well, that's hard to do when the health is going down, yeah? Indicates the health that the... Oh, my lord. Okay. So, wait a sec. Medicine. We could give it veterinarian food. Eye drops, a patch. Syringe with medicine. Samples of... of okay, alright. There's a lot going on here. I was not prepared for this. Henry, you are like the problem child. That's probably why you're like the meme. Henry, buddy, old pal, just hold on tight. Now he does have a have a have a dropping here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dropping real quick. I'm gonna put it off, and I'm gonna send a stool sample if I can. Hang on, Henry. Oh my god. <laughs> there's an uh, there's a <laughs> there's a window unlock in like your office management. I know, right? <laughs> We can't put the stool sample in here? How do you take a stool sample then? Interesting. I guess kind of sending crap off in a bag is not the way to go. Okay. All right. Um, well then, can I pick these syringes back up? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Henry. Um, you, you don't seem to be sick, I guess. They said you're fine. But you are sick. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just give him a pill. He had like green stuff coming from his mouth, which is kind of what the other animal had and they were sick. I wonder if giving him a pill is just an easy workaround here. Let's see here. One pill. We'll see what happens. We could redo the test. That's another shout. Let's see here. Let's, let's give him a pill. Because even if it is, uh, like, 
if it's antibiotics, it can't be bad for the for the cat. Right? Let's see here. Did that help you, Henry? Henry? There's no space in front of the ant. No, no, no. Come here, Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. You need to face this way, buddy old pal. You need to face this way so I can give you this. Why do I keep dropping the, the freaking syringes? So sick. Something is wrong with the pet. Okay, so he's still sick. Henry! You're making me sad, buddy. Sit right here and let me syringe that ass. I know you hate it. I, 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 I get it. I get it. I know you hate it. Let me just take another sample. Good lord, I'm like taking all the blood away from him. Henry! There we go. Is adopting out the animals the only way to make money in this? Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we'll see where- we'll see what the results are. Okay, health results are in. Henry, you are not the father. Got it. <laughs> the results are in. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. After careful research, everything seems to indicate that the animal is healthy. I refuse to believe this. Apparently, Henry is healthy. But Henry isn't healthy. So maybe it is an injury. Yeah, maybe he hurt his paw again. Or maybe he has a tick on him. So let's take him to the surgery table. I know we're kind of neglecting all of our other animals. Now, the bigger your shelter gets, I do have to say... I do have to say... Uh, it would be cool to have like someone else, you know, running around with you co-op wise and be like, hey, I'm going to go take care of this animal. I'll be right back type thing. Let's see. Let's put him on the surgery table. So let's see what's going on with him. How are you doing here, Henry? Animal doesn't seem to be injured. So the, the, the cat is not injured and the cat is not sick. We might have ran into a big bug here. Now, question is, am I able to send off this animal? Henry, don't move. Is this animal adoptable? It just hyperanemic from all the blood samples. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see here. Is he able to, like, send off? Like, I know the health is bad, right? Henry. More info. Match. Animal doesn't trust people enough for, to be adopted. Right. Right. This is a mess. This is a mess. We've 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 worked ourselves into a mess here. Okay. Scrap. You. I shouldn't have picked the meme child. I shouldn't have picked the meme. I picked the meme, and now look what I'm paying. And now it's like sending me off here. Okay, back into the cage. Let's try to get your tress. Let's try to pet you. There's like a syringe already in your back end there. Yeah, let's pet you. There we go. So you're not sick, and you're not injured. Are you like, are you just being a brat? <laughs> are you just being a brat? Yeah, I see that. Henry might really be for us to keep. Yeah, he might be the office cat, dude. Okay, you stay there. Don't move. Very upset with you, Henry. Very upset with you. Of course he doesn't trust people. He keeps getting poked. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> Alright, Henry. Let's try it again. Tucker? Oh, that's a wonderful name. Okay, Henry. Match. With... Wait. Did we pick John? Yeah, he was our match. Or he's, he's inquiring about certain someone. Animal doesn't trust people that much to be put up for adoption. And I think maybe it has to do with his health. Maybe he's very um, problematic because his health is bad. But honestly, there's not anything I could do about that. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to save this game. And I'm going to relaunch the game. I'm going to see if that fixes anything. So I'm going to go ahead and relaunch the game. We'll see. Okay, relaunch, relaunch. Hang on, just give me a moment. We'll just slide right on over real quick. All right. We'll relaunch the game and see if maybe... Oh, my God. The text is black. How can you read chat when the text is black, you idiot? I know. My bad. I got to change the color of the chat. I know. Ugh. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll see if this is the problem.
Because if it is, thank you. If it's not, F Henry. Politely, though. Politely, F Henry. Okay. All right, Henry. Come on, come up. There we go. Henry has become such a meme and a problem child that he just start or just stared in the photo and bugged the game for him. He low key be like, "Let me prank cans." Oh my god. <laughs> okay. okay. Adopted ad adoptability is not high, right? And that that's for good reason, right? He's he's very upset with where he's at. Uh, Henry. Henry. Oh, pal. I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, there you go. Eat your food. That's wonderful. Go ahead, get your get your uh, get your get your food up. Do I have a brush? Let's brush Henry. Maybe we can brush Henry. Maybe that'd be good. Hey Henry, can I brush you, buddy, old pal? There you go. There you go. Now you're all brushed up. His hygiene's all the way up. Very good. Thank you, Henry. Um, his fun is 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 pretty good. He has good fun. It's just his health. <laughs> what about your kitty litter? We can give you more litter, yeah. Budget cat food. No, no, no. Let's give him more litter too. Poop bag. No litter bag. Let's give him a fresh, some, some fresh sand there. There you go. Like I hate to neglect the other animals because I'm focusing so much on Henry, but at the same time, I don't want Henry to like leave this earth. Maybe now I should take a sample. <laughs> Maybe now I should take a blood sample to see if he's okay. Oh no, dude. Henry! I know you're upset. There you go. There you go. Use your bladder. Great job. What other pets do you have in the shelter? I have another dog. I have a dog and, a, and I have this cat over here. Yeah. Which has a high probability adoptability rate right now. Okay, Henry. You just love it, right? You love it. I Because I, I really... Because like to... To, to go forward, right, to be like, okay, Henry's bugged, he's a bugged meme, and then, like, to neglect him, um, you know, I, I, I really, really do not want, uh, the cat to, like, die. And somebody said they die, and I don't know if it's true, I don't know if it, if it is true or not, if they die or not, but I really would hate for that to happen. Is there something else you can give him other than medicine? There is a syringe with medicine, and there's pills. Um, so I could buy, like, a syringe with medicine, maybe. But I'm going to go ahead and take another blood sample and see what the results are. I don't know, dude. This is kind of crazy. It is very crazy. The animal's healthy. Animal's healthy. Um, all right. Well, let's look here. Let's go and let's, let's try all different things. So let's go syringe with a medicine. Let's go syringe with medicine. This is something we haven't done. Hey, you know what? Veterinarian food. Let's get veterinarian food in there as well. Can we do that? Let's do that as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually do both, right? I'll do both. We'll get veterinarian food and we will get a syringe and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know how to do uh, how to do a stool sample. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I could check here. Let's see. Let's see if I can if I know how to do a stool sample. Maybe the game will tell me in the encyclopedia. Clinic. No. Um, caring. No. Internal healing. So place your animal on the surgery table next to a support. Next, take a suppository and move and move behind your animal. Put its tail up and apply su uh, suppository to into its butt. <laughs> uh, by using the computer, purchasing, purchasing a sampling syringe. After receiving a storing, the package in your inventory. Right, collect blood from the patient using. Okay, sample. Wait for the message. Purchase the correct medicine for your pet. Maybe we just kind of go and see what we have. I mean, we could try the medicine syringe and see if that does anything. And then we can try the, um, we got to move these boxes. And we can try the veterinarian food, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, there's the veterinarian food. We'll put that in our inventory for right now. And then this is probably our syringe. Nope. This is our syringe. Yeah, this is our syringe. Okay. Let's inject him with a medical syringe. Maybe that will help him. Maybe. Oh, this... Okay, suppository is getting the stool sample itself. Okay, so that is... All right, that's all in one. All right. Here we go. Henry, get taken. Okay. So we did that. And then... I mean, I don't know if I need a separate bowl for him to have his veterinarian food. Oh, we refill it with the new food. Okay. 
So now he has medical inside of him, or medicine inside of him, and he has um, veterinarian food as well. So that's... Pra don't do the laser. That's practically the best that I can do for him for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look away. Look away. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the other animals, see how the other animals are doing, and hopefully he starts to get better. That's all I can really say. His adoptability rate is going down by the minute. Henry, it's up to you, buddy old pal. It is totally up to you from here on out. Except for the stool sample. That's the only thing I can do. <sighs> Let's just do that real quick if I can. Hang on. That poor cat will never be able to go to the vet without freaking out. <laughs> yeah, he's turning into a, a test subject now. Okay. So do I go from the back end here? Don't! Henry! Henry. Henry. How do we... This is awkward. Nope, put him back. Do I just come up from behind? <laughs> do, I have to, do I have to put something inside of him? How do I do this? <laughs> are those tweezers? Those are tweezers. <laughs> um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Did you say? Did it say something about taking a swab? Does he have any Q-tips? That's what I thought too. I thought it said swab also, but there wasn't any purchasable items for swabs. Okay, 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 Henry. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. I'll show you what's in the medicine here. So within the medicine, let's see, medicine, there's the eye drops, the patch, the pills, and the tweezer. This is all we can get in medicine. So I don't know, unless it's in hygiene. Doesn't seem to be in hygiene. Toys, definitely not a toy. Hey, these are new toys though. Springed ball with color accents and a teether. Any new decorations? Yeah, new decorations. Wooden doghouse. Wonderful. And expansion tickets. Very good. And a tripod. Nice. Yeah, so for medicine, you got eye drops, and that's pretty much it. Try the eye drops? Might as well. Might as well now, right? Not all is unlocked in hygiene. Sponge and a experience sponge. <laughs> so... A good sponge and a badass sponge. <laughs> I didn't realize this was the full game. Thought it was early access. Do you know if they plan to add more to the game? I do not know personally, but I did talk about that earlier. I say it would be really cool if they did decide to add more to the game. Now, they might. They absolutely might. And they might even do DLC for this game. Might. Which would be kind of cool. So, I mean, we have the eye drops now. Right? We could try the eye drops. Try food. Yeah, we might just have to leave him in there with his new uh, new veterinarian food and see how that goes. Or it could really just be... Whoa. Okay, so hang on a sec. Tweezers. We, we're very familiar with the tweezers. Syringe. Really familiar with the syringe. Eye drops. Use eye drops to treat different eye conditions. This might be something. Razor. Found a wound to treat the wound. Bandages. Adhesive plasters. Okay. All right, Henry, this is it. This is all I got for you, buddy. <laughs> is his health going up now? Dude, his adoptability is now 8%. Can we just make him an op? God, don't hiss at me. Can we just make him an office cat? Can we just do that? I just want him to be with us. You son of a gun, Henry. Don't yell at me, Henry. We can patch him up again. Let's see. Let's patch him up again. Let's see. Where's our bandages? Bandages, bandages, bandages. Right there. Okay. All right, Henry. I'm going to try to redress. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we cannot dress him up again. Definitely cannot dress him up. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Poor kitty indeed. Um. Try the syringe up the butt. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting take. Syringe, but that's for blood. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, I don't think. Yeah, 
Yeah, take blood sample. No. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's just a problem child. And maybe you just need to play with him more and gain his trust. That's also another thing, too. Right? Where the heck is the suppository? Now, again, that could be because we're not there yet. Like, uh, upgraded-wise, right? Like, we might not have... Because... Hang on a sec. I'll show you here. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, you can see our task is purchase all buildings from level one. From one level, right? Now, um, if we go into here and we go into here and we go into our build mode we can go to vet upgrade and there is a level two clinic so maybe level two clinic might give us something like that right might give us those new items that we want um and things of that so we do have two tickets to expand here so let's see here let's go ahead and expand this way we'll expand that way and then we will expand this way there we go wonderful okay so now let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit so that it makes it a little bit you know easier to look at i will i actually do want to put the um oh i can't put it because henry's in there i do want to put the trash kind of somewhat near the front because that's you know obviously where the the box is coming through here let's like make this come over here and i put an easy access for our boxes there we go and let's see here buildings every building from level one so an office upgrade we don't need a washing upgrade we don't need housing upgrade we could have more dog cages i guess or enclosures interesting and a photo studio a photo studio which we don't have we we could do and other upgrades rubbish skip which i don't know in a warehouse i think rubbish skip is the trash bin okay i see a trash bin photo stu studio is what we just don't have we don't have a photo studio which is kind of cool right um we could put that over here. It's kind of unnecessary, $4,000, right? A little bit unnecessary, I think. But, I mean, that's an option for sure. There's a lot of different ways that we can go with this, right? Henry. Oh. Henry. Well, I mean, we tried most that we could, right? We definitely tried. Luckily, he didn't die. He was taken to a better place that will figure out his shit other than for us. Yeah. Yeah. That is sad. Rem remind me never to get a cat called Henry. <laughs> Our reputation drops by 50. But hey, you know what? That's fine. Henry can go to a better place. And, you know, he will be able to do his thing. Let's go ahead and now start talking to the animals we do have now. Hello, Lola. Lola, you're going to need a bath here soon, but you are 100% adoptable right now. So you know what, Lola? All I need to do really with you is just take your picture. Are you waiting for water? Is that why you're sitting next to your water bowl? Probably. <laughs> Maybe that was scripted to show you what happens? Maybe. Maybe. Right? Oh, so we need to get rid of the water canister? Use the large trash container? Okay, so... We have two water containers that are completely empty. So let's go ahead and throw these away. Wow, the freaking place looks different now. Throw these out. Throw these out. We got to get more water in. Hey, and you know, we did we did what we could, right? We did what we could. Lola, I need to take a picture of you. Come out here. First thing to do now, I guess, leveling up and getting the basic clinic. <laughs> Whoops. Somebody called the animal rescue. Poor Henry is greatly malpracticed no 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 henry or lola Lo now i'm gonna be talking about henry this whole time lola hey this is what lola that was very unladylike it's not funny lola come over here i need to take a picture of you not when you're just standing there come on lola god damn it lola lola what are you doing go go over here can you hire staff? I don't know. I don't know if you can. I don't think so. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. There we go. Awesome. Hey, Lola, you're good. I know Lola had to go. Lola did have to go. There you go. There you go. And plus, I want to actually, uh, I, I want to buy stuff and put stuff in this, um, in these enclosures too, like a dog house and things like that. Let's go ahead and fix this up here. There we go. 
So there's still like there's still so much to do in this game. Like I still need to like do all the decorating, do all of this and do all of that and do that and this and that and this and this and that. Let's put Lola up for adoption now. Oh my god, I just realized something. Hey. What happened to my pictures? Who came in and took my pictures? Oh, come on. Something's weirds happening here. There's a lot of weird bugs happening in this game right now. And that's very unfortunate because I wanted to collect that collage of, of I wanted all those, um, all those pictures for the dogs. Damn it. That sucks. All right, Lola, let's put you out. Some people want you here. So we're going to create an ad for you. Let's upload you, get you out there, out in the world, Lola, create an ad. Thank you for posting. No problem. Hello, Lava Man. Good to see you. Welcome back again. How are you? They actually didn't say death because that would be really sad. Yeah, I'm glad they said that he, that they went to, I'm glad that they said that Henry went to a competent uh, facility. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like Olivia needs playtime. So I am happy about that. Somebody's interested. Marianne is interested in Lola. Let's see here. They just collide. They, they, I'd rather take the dis than the animal pass away. You're not competent to run a shelter. We're taking the animal away from you. So let's see here. Lola herself needs... No, there's no best condition for that. So that's not too picky for the, for the dog itself. But Lola is trustful, calm, and happy. And that is exactly, exactly what Marianne, Marianne is looking for. Now, the only bad thing about Lola is that Lola does not like kids in the house. And luckily, Lola, uh, Marianne is a lonely householder. So this is a perfect match. Wonderful. All right. Let's go ahead, drop Lola off. Let's go ahead and talk to Olivia. Make sure Olivia's okay. And then let's clean up the boxes too. Like this is getting ridiculous, right? It is getting very ridiculous. Lola, we have a place for you. <laughs> yeah if this had played with friends it would be cool right yeah if you could play co-op with this with people it'd be really cool it really would i think there's a lot to do in this game where you definitely could right you definitely could play with friends 100 percent Having a great time, Lava. Lava, having a good day because guess what? We're playing this game. This game just came out today, so I'm very happy. Guess what? We are now number three in the regional. Very cool. Very cool. Most probably relaunching got rid of the photos. Yeah, I think I think you're right on that. I absolutely think you are. Okay. I know Olivia needs some playtime, but real quick, Olivia, let me just throw away some boxes. You know what? I should just bring a box for you. You might like it. I don't know. We could get like some more balls. Excuse me. Uh, more hanging balls. Excuse me. More toy balls for the cats. Yeah. <laughs> Co-op would make it a chill and not having to be in a rush all the time. Yeah, I know. And I think it'd just be fun to like, play with your friends and be like, hey, hey, man. Hey, can you go check on Henry and see what the hell his deal's all about? You know, something like that. <laughs> like, hey, go go check on Henry. He's being kind of an ass. I can't deal with him. Maybe he'll talk to you, you know? It's funny. Danielle always wanted to uh, actually work in a shelter or work in a, uh, work at a, at a veterinarian place. All right, Olivia. Go ape. Oh, got to get that nice stretch in. Come on, Olivia. Olivia, let's play. Uh, hello? Olivia! Do, okay, first things first, Olivia. Do you want me to pet you? I'll pet you. I used to have a pure white cat. I don't know. I forgot the name of the cat, but like the what the type of cat it was called. But it was the type of cat where it had long hair. And it was one of those like flat squared face cats. But it was all white. I don't know what kind of cat those are called. Olivia! Play with me. She's definitely not interested in me. Undefined notification. Have a nice day. Wait, what? 
undefined notification have a nice day every time i click on her to have fun maybe she just doesn't want to play with me maybe she's so upset her health is declining too no she's sick too oh jesus christ no no olivia you did not catch a henry did you oh my god the cats so far most troubled species in the game yeah shut that <laughs> just locked just looked on steam and you cannot hire staff but there is also a game coming out called pet hotel yeah i know about pet hotel i think i have that on my wish list too Sitting here watching you guys and trying to get better. I've been sick for four days. Oh no, that's terrible. Hope you're doing all right. Hopefully you're, hopefully you're, you're past the, the worst of it, right? And you're trying, you're on the road to recovery now. <laughs> yeah, I have Pets Hotel on my uh, wish list too. Yeah, kind of excited for that. Uh, promotion. Don't stop now. Your animal sh shelter has been promoted. Okay. Olivia's test. She needs pills. Okay, so at least she's not healthy. At least we know that she needs pills. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Let's just buy a bunch of pills so that we have just in case. And then we'll buy that. There we go. Thank God. Whew. I was like, this is not going to be another Henry situation, is it? Is Henry a, is now officially sickness or disease? Yeah. Henry is. Anytime a cat gets sick, they're pulling a Henry. You ever watch like Fun with Dick and Jane? You know? Pulling a dick. Yeah, this is pulling a Henry. No, no, no. Put it out. Did I not get all the stuff out? No, no, take everything. There we go, okay. There we go. Okay. Where's my pills? Okay, I see the pills. All right, Olivia, we got you We got you some medicine here, sweetheart. Here we go. Bring it in. Why is my syringe just sitting there? I think she's peeing. She just pissed. Okay, let's, let's just step away. Just step away. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. She's, like, throwing up, dude. Hopefully, this helps you. There you go. Have a little bit of pill time. Um, yeah, let's just, like, clean this up a little bit. I know we're, like, scrubbing the grass. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, Cherokee. How are you? Good to see you again, Cherokee. Hope you're doing well. Drinking a lot of ginger ale. I love drinking ginger ale when I'm sick. Ginger ale, some Gatorade, some, some stuff like that. Hmm. Hello, Kenny Scott. Hashtag Henry. Hashtag F Henry politely. <laughs> okay, so for for Olivia here, she wants to have fun. So maybe now that she's had her medicine, maybe she wants to play now. Hey, Olivia, do you want to play? Yeah, she's so happy. You go. Go, girl. Get it. Yeah. Send it off. Uh, do you need, uh, by the way, hello, Martin. Good shout there. Do you need to clean the cage out before uh, putting in a new pet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. I mean, realistically, that would... Yeah, you you would probably want to do that you know, in real life, right? Maybe you can upgrade the clinic now? I, I might be able to. Might be able to. Or like every time an animal will bug, they'll be pulling a Henry. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Hello, FM fan. Good to see you. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Sounds like the cat's got worms. Okay. Here we go. How's your fun now, Olivia? Are you good? She's 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 ecstatic. Now we can give her a little bit of brush too. Let's do that. Let's give her a little bit of brush. Kind of get her hygiene up. There we go. Good job. That was quick. Quick and easy. Uh quick, easy, and painless. What else? Um, oh, we need to take a picture of Olivia. Yeah, let's have her come into the sunlight. I just realized it never gets dark in this game. <laughs> it's always the same day, maybe. I don't know. Which is funny, because we're on October 23rd. Oh, good picture, Olivia. Good picture. Okay, let's put you back in your enclosure here. There you go. I need to buy water. Oh, no, I need to buy water for the pets. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of bags. Let's clean out the litter boxes. Can you get more cat and dog toys? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. Or, I guess, if you're asking me directly, then yes. Yes, I will, or yes, I can. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that away, and then let's go ahead and get more litter into the box here. There we go. 
Now, it doesn't seem like I need to cleat. Oh, wait, maybe actually, hang on a sec. There is a, uh, there's, there is a, um, there's a broom. You can buy a broom. So maybe we can buy a broom and we, we can sweep out these, these cages. Maybe that's something I just have to do, right? Let's see here. Let's give this cat some food, yeah? Here's some food, but I don't have any water yet. I know, you're gonna have a dry mouth here in a sec. I'm gonna go buy some water for you. There you go. Just hold on tight, Olivia. And I'm gonna put you up for adoption as well. All right, let's see here. Uh, if I go in... Yo. There's a broom right here. Can I use this? Unless it's a decorative broom. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like an actual tool broom. Oh, Gotta put the picture back up. There we go. Then we'll scan this picture. Let's see. Um, first of all, get a bunch of waters. Like, get me all the waters I can. That's the first thing I want to do. Second thing I want to do is check hygiene so broom so broom for sweeping floors quickly yeah i want to buy that and then toys scratching post here's a spring ball with colorful accent i would like to buy two of those and the teether is that for a dog yeah dog rubber teether i'll buy two of those as well and then anything else i mean a tripod we don't need right now uh site expansion so this is right here these are tickets i guess you can expand your 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 land with this Decorations, definitely want to get, I, I want to get into this. I do, I do. And I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. When I have the, not when I have the time, but when I'm, when I'm, when I'm ready to do it, I'm going to do it. Okay, good. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, you know, when I have no animals in the facility, then I'll do some decorative stuff and expansion stuff and things like that. Put it down. Okay, so take everything. Oh. Love the squeak action. Put that in here. Put that right there. Yep. Put that right there as well. Wonderful. And then water canisters. We'll put that in there. Tweezers, litter bag, brush, veterinarian food, poop bags, all that. Cookie bandages. I need to buy dog food. Dang it. I didn't buy dog food. Cookies, bandages. Let's put the bandages away. Okay, let's try this broom. Hey! Was that Martin? Shout out to Martin. Shout out to Martin. Big shout. Yo! Cleaning the cage! Why haven't you done this? Hey! There we go. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Another thing added to our to-do list. <laughs> Another thing to stay busy. Like it. Nice. I am like one little speck off, I think. Unless it's clean. There we go. It does say clean. Yeah, it does say clean. Go clean Henry's cage, because you know that cage is a freaking mess, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, not too bad. Better things. Enjoying the... Better thanks and enjoying uh, two weeks before I head back to work for my two months off. Wow. Today, one of the guppies and one of my goldfish just died out of the blue. Was kind of sad, unable to understand what caused it. The rest seemed to be doing fine. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, Patricia. Good to see you again, Patricia. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I guess these are like good, yeah. It does have like that little tiny speck, but it keeps putting me into the center of the cage, so. There we go. That's I mean that's close enough, right? That's close enough. Finally got another stream. Good to see you, Patricia. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, sorry about this, Olivia. I'm gonna just brush right over you if you don't mind. Andre. <laughs> Fish play dead sometimes? Do they really play dead? No. There we go. Okay, good. All right. That's good. Now let's go ahead and get uh, Olivia up and running. Oh, damn it. No, I got to actually put the toys in there too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got the toys. Getting more toys in. Love to see it. Right there. Cool. 
And then in here, Olivia. Right there. There you go. Have fun with that. All right. So, I need dog food. Oh, I need water. Well, I have water. I just didn't give her the water. We'll go ahead and give um, her water when I... Well, I guess I don't really need to give her water now because we're sending her off here. In a Dude, it actually says it. <laughs> I didn't know it actually said it. <laughs> I didn't even realize it said it, but it says it. My God. All right. Let's put Olivia out on the market. All right, Olivia. Anybody want you? Let's create an ad for you. Create an ad for Olivia. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for posting. No problem. We'll sit here and wait for her to get a get a match here. Let's see if anyone swipes left or swipes right. <laughs> That's a Tinder joke. They do not play dead. If they overheat, they sort of go belly up. We'll go back to normal. Took it out of the water and still no reaction even after a couple of minutes. Here we go. Raphael McHammond. McHammond? McMammon. McManhan. McManhan? Mc McMahon. McMahon. Maybe. Uh, let's talk to Raphael. So Raphael. So the thing about Olivia is Olivia is a troublemaker. She's also silly and she's a glutton that loves someone to have a lot of free time. Now, um... It doesn't really line up very much with Raphael very much. So I'm going to kind of back off and I'm going to go to Patricia Tillman. So hello, Patricia. Patricia is looking for a loyal cat. Um, doesn't really match up with her either. One of them needs to have free time. Yeah, one of them needs to have free time here. If Patricia has free time, Olivia is going to go to Patricia. Okay, Patricia is busy. Always at work. Not good. Um... Raphael, if you would like to have Olivia, you need to make send in, uh, you, you need to make sure you have a lot of free time on your hands. Not a perfect match for this cat, Olivia, but we have what we have, and they're busy too. Is there anybody else? Like I don't want these guys. Let's remove them. Yeah, let's get new people in. Give me out. Let's see more more people for Olivia. Those both of those options were not right. I saw that. My hand slipped. I just bought this game. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Patricia's are cat people. I literally have two of them. <laughs> now, this person does have free time, but doesn't really have any, well, desired traits that uh, Olivia does have. Let's see. Oh, God. Let's see if another person, maybe. Uh, more info back on this uh sylvia let's talk to sylvia here sylvia is looking for a large bladdered animal no absolutely not none of these people are really coming up for olivia here nobody coming through unfortunately for for olivia is that your music or uh the game it's actually the game it's the game's music yeah yep 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 uh, Mark Rudd, I mean, you have free time, so I guess that's a match for now. I know that's, like, kind of, like, the worst of the worst. Not the worst of the worst, but, like, it's not a, a complete match, but at least it's someone who has free time. So we'll give Olivia to someone who has free time. And then, finally, this will be our last animal in the facility, which also means that we will um, kind of do a little bit of upgrading to our facility now that we have no pets to worry about right now. Less sweeping than the rave bus in the gas station sim. That's a very true. <laughs> Hello, Kenny. Welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. Um, this isn't going to be... This is going to be probably our worst match. It wasn't too bad. We still got reputation points from it. it wasn't too bad. Cool. Okay. Now that we have money... Let's go ahead and spend that money. <laughs> Let's spend that money. So purchase all buildings from level one. So the game l wants us. How much money did we get from that? Uh, that um, 
that that pet that cat we got 686 dollars from that cat okay that, that that works out so every level one um building now we have the cat cages we have the dog cages now i don't know if they want us to do enclosures or anything like that but they want us to probably get a photo oh studio hey God. this place is off the hook Zombie Slayer, welcome. Good to see you. Welcome back, Zombie Slayer. It's great to see you. How are you doing? Thank you for the super chat, making your presence known. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we do have a photo studio now. I guess the other other upgrade would be a where I think we are. I think we already have a warehouse. So I think that's good. Vet, we don't need washing upgrade we don't need the only thing that i think we would possibly need is the other enclosures like the cages like the cat cage and the dog cage which might be we might have to do that right we might have to buy those two separate uh cages instead of just having the enclosures <clears throat> so let's hear let's bring um let's bring the yeah let's bring the bath back bath back bring it back there and let's bring the clinic and rotate it and maybe slide it in right here possibly there we go slide that in right there now look how much room we have right we're, we're bringing in the room baby we're bringing in the room and really we could move the office kind of back to over here a little bit like what if we move the office over here that's not a bad look, right? And it kind of gives us more room <clears throat> in the future to add more enclosures and, and cages and, and things of that nature, maybe, you know? Okay. Uh, furniture. You can get office furniture, computer desks, trash bins, long. You can get all these furnitures for these uh, different uh, things. So, like, like the veterinarian, you can get a medical lamp, medical chair. Is there, like, anything else I can buy? Nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, decorations we can buy as well. Uh, washing furniture. We can have a washing machine. A paddling pool. <laughs> uh, housing furniture. Dog cage, dog cage, dog cage, dog cage. Okay. And photo studio. Cool. All right. Nice. I like the good stuff. Mine are called Nugget and Muffin. Your cats are called Nugget and Muffin? That's wonderful. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. We will mark that as red. And now next thing I want to do is I want to add, right? I want to add to the uh, cages. So I want there to be um, specifically the dogs because the dogs don't have a house really. So like a wooden dog house, wooden dog house with gold roof, wooden dog house with red roof. Let's go ahead and do one gold, one red. What's a towel rolled? I don't even know what the towel, I guess just a towel. A towel laying down, maybe for the dog. Red square house, pu purple, pink pillow, pattern pillow, clothes box, cream layer. Cream layer, that sounds naughty. Um, open box. <laughs> Adopt me. I like this. Let's get maybe four of those in. I mean, I could lay some towels down for the dogs, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's a little too overboard. Okay, a thousand dollars there. Okay, great. We're running low on money, but we have a photo studio now. I don't know if it makes a difference with a photo studio, but I am willing to try it out since the game does want us to buy all level one buildings. Let's see here. Whoa. You have definitely changed. <laughs> all right, let's see. Open that up. Let's grab the adopt me's. Okay. But put, put me right here. Yeah. Is this where is this where we put them in here? In on the cage. Yeah. Oh, oh, how wonder. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Rotate. Yeah. We'll put that right here. Even though nobody comes and visit, visits us in person. Is that a member? Hey. Let's go. Look at that. Look how cute is that? Hey, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for that. Very big ups to you. Big ups to you. Indeed. You'll be added to the list. Thank you so much, Patricia, for becoming a member of the channel. Really do appreciate that. Welcome. One of us. One of us type thing. <laughs> thank you, Patricia. Really appreciate the support. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Finally, I guess. <laughs> You've been around for a long time, yeah? You definitely have. You definitely have. How many more buildings do you need for the levels? Um, really, I'm not entirely sure, but I think, if anything, maybe two cage buildings. So, cat cage and dog cage. These are different. These are, like, enclosures, but, like, the actual, like, the big building cages. Maybe I need, um, maybe I need both of those as well. There we go. We'll put that, like, maybe right here. Kind of hide the litter box. There we go. Adopt me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How cute is that? I think it's pretty damn cute, if you ask me. Put that, oh god, put that over here. Oh my goodness! This place is off the hook! Hey! THX for your and community support last two months. <laughs> Thanks, thank you FM fan, thank you so much. Community support for the last two months, thank you so much for that. Very big up to you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, big big ups. Thank you so much for that, FM. Really, really, really generous of you to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Big ups to you. Big ups to you. And I hope everything's going well. I do. I do hope you're doing well. There was a time there. There was a time I was like, uh, you know, you know, with, with everything. Especially like, let me just say like, especially like, you know, what's going on in your life. Because I know what's going on uh, in your life. And um, I just hope you're doing well, man. I just hope you're doing well. And thank you, by the way, sharing that with us in the Discord and all that. Because some of us actually do really care. So, uh, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for that. Put that there. I've been thinking about it for a few weeks. You've been thinking about it for a few weeks, and then uh, the forehead pulls out the dogs and cats, and you're like, you know what? This is a good time. <laughs> uh. Have you tried defense attorney game called Phoenix Wright? I loved that back in the day. I've actually never heard of that. Never heard of that game. Been a member for almost a month already. I know you're all, you're gonna get the silver badge before you know it there, James. Okay, very good. All right, now this is the photo studio that we just unlocked. All right, look at this. Tripod, can I actually put the camera on here? Or no, I, I need the real camera to do that. Okay, I see. I see, I see. That's all right, that's good. I still think it's worth it. We'll get some nice photos of the animals. The only pet I have ever had was an orange tabby named uh, Tigaru, Tigaru, which is the French version of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Had to rehome him when I moved because the place didn't allow any pets. Aww. I love the name, though. I love the name. Tigaru being the French version of, the, of, of Tigger. I love that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Mocha? Yeah, we, we will get Mocha. Okay, we just lost Mocha. We just lost that person as well. I don't even know what that last one was, but we can get Huck. We'll get Huck. Let's pick up Huck. Oh, no. Chance is hurt, too. I wish you could under... Like, I wish you could do a queue. I wish you could get, like, multiple dogs or multiple pets in um, at the same time. Like, they just, like, come in, like, a complete package. Look how much room we have, though. It's really good. There we go. Huck looks bad. What's wrong with Huck? Uh-oh. Is he hurt? Huck, what's going on, buddy? Is your health okay? He needs a bandage. Yeah, he needs a bandage. Okay, yeah. We gotta go take care of Huck real quick. He is hurt. Take him to the veterinarian. Have you tried the new update for Recipe for Disaster, the Mice and Health Inspector? I have. I have. Yeah, we actually streamed that. Um, and that was a lot of fun. But yeah, we definitely did that. We streamed that, and uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, still a little bit glaring issues with some of it, but yeah, for the most part, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. How are you doing? Like, you look dirty. Do you need a bath? No, he's good on that. <laughs> he just needs a friend. He just needs a friend. Um, right. Let's go give him a friend. Let's, let's, let's get him ready to get a friend, I guess. All right. So let's get in here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I just smacked him with the fence. Smacked him with the fence again. All right. And now we have the water, right? Where's the water? I got the water, right? Yeah, water. Let's put the water over here. Let's put the cat food right there. 
Did I get the dog food? Did I get the dog food? Damn it, I gotta get the dog food. All right, here, have a... Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. I'll go get the dog food. Hang on there, Huck. Hang on there. Oh, there we go. We'll get the dog food for Mr. Huck. Totally forgot about that. I should probably get more than just one bag now. Yeah, we'll probably get more than one bag. Yeah, I, you know, I just noticed. October 24th, 10.25 a.m., Thursday, I guess. This, it never changes. That's funny. The time never changes. So it's like you're in a never-ending loop at work. <laughs> now does it sound very, uh, now does it sound very, uh, fun, does it? Here we go. Buy that. Confirm our order. Get the dog food in. Wonderful. All right, so now it's time to really grind it out, really. Uh, we need to make money so that we can buy our other buildings and things like that. All right. Take everything, and then we will go ahead and put away a few things. Like, we don't need the syringe. We don't need the bandage. And the broom is fine. Mop is fine. Um, cookie's fine. Laser we'll have. And then we can go ahead and finally take care of Huck. Yep, we'll give him the food, we'll give him the water, everything that he needs, we'll definitely do that. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's get it. Alright, Huck, I got the food, I got the water, it's all here, buddy. It's all here. Water first. And then... Food for you. There you go, I know, you're gonna be so happy. You take that, I don't know why you wanna just stare at the wall, but that's fine. There you go. Um, all right, let's go get another animal. Let's go bring in another one. He'll do his thing in there. We'll take care of him, and then we will. Um, we will. Uh, <laughs> we will. Uh, we'll bring in more here. All right, who's next? Chance and Ash. Oh, look at Ash. Oh, look at Ash's face. Oh no, Chance is hurt. I want to pick up Chance. I want to pick up Ash too. I do want to do that. Important question, have we had any pup cam this stream? There was briefly a Be Bella cam. I talked in the beginning, I was like, if Bella walks into this room, I will pick her up and she will be shown to the world and she was shown to the freaking world. But I need more of her. Maybe I can bring them in. I'll get them. I'll stand up and like take a stretch for a little bit because I haven't stood up in like almost four hours. So that's probably not good for circulation reasons. <laughs> Okay, now let's go water. There we go. Oh, water's full. Sorry, 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 sorry. We'll give you a little bit more food there. It's purgatory. Uh, you're stuck there and getting judged on how well you will treat these 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 pets. It's pretty famous in the trilogy is there for the PC. The most famous line from it is objection. It's kind of iconic. Maybe you could look into it and try it on stream. Yeah, definitely will. Uh, I will have to be reminded probably. You know what? Actually, take that back. What was it called again? Tell me the name of it, and I'll write it down in my notebook here. Uh, oh, no's you are in a repeat of the same day over and over and over. There was some Bella Camp action earlier. There's something about the that date as there, uh, as there are a few games with 24th of October. I only noticed it. It's on my birthday. Hey, shout out to Haley. Haley Spooner. Good to see you. Welcome. That's that's funny, though. That's funny. Get that nice little little birthday little birthday little birthday uh reminder every time you still haven't seen bella yet hey what the heck is this full release yeah it is full release it is full release not early access yeah 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 okay hang on a sec let me just take care of our new dog here real quick quickly and then we'll 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 dump into this um yeah she needs a bath and i didn't realize her health is going down so she is practically hurt or potentially sick did I just... What did, did I just do? Okay. We got to check on her real quick. Hang on. All right. Let's get this. That dog is like barking nonstop. Let's go into the clinic here. You all right? Needs a razor? Uh-oh. We don't even have a razor. Hang on. Hold on there. I got to get a razor. Let me buy a razor. Okay. Razor, razor, razor. Medicine, razor. I would like to buy that. Thank you. Phoenix Wright. Okay, let me write that down. Okay, Phoenix Wright. Wrote it down. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Do this. Okay, we have our razor now. We can take care of our dog that is, like, unfortunately kind of hurt. 
I'm thinking about trying Phoenix Wright myself, but I'm not sure if I would like it. Let's see it. Take everything there. All right, let's try it out. Zzz, bring out the buzzers. Dog lovers recommend Pup Academy on Netflix. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, find the wound. There's the wound. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, let's not make it too big. Now he needs a patch. I think he needs a Band-Aid. <gasps> Damn it! I don't have a Band-Aid either. I'm a terrible person. I don't think I can use bandages. Yeah, I'm a terrible... I, I need a Band-Aid. I didn't buy a Band-Aid. Hang on, pup! I just shaved you. But I need to wash the dog. I should have washed the dog first. Then did this. Patches. We're gonna need multiple patches. Like nine. Yep. There we go. Okay. Good reminder. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I, I I went out. I ordered the pack. D damn, I'm an idiot. I went and bought the bandages, and then I just walked away from it. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Take the bandages. Cool. The trilogy. Initial release was 2014, but it had been remade and ported to the Switch during 2019. Oh, really? That's really cool. Do you have to hold this? Oh my god. Stop breathing, dog. There we go. <laughs> I think I did it. Okay, can we give can we give her a treat, you think? No. Okay, good dog. Can I touch the dog? Okay, we can't pet the dog either. Okay. We're, what's the condition? Okay, we need to actually give her a bath. So, I know it's kind of backwards how we did this, but we are going to give the dog a bath. Because the dog still needs it. There we go. All right. Let's go shampoo. Give you a little shampoo. We haven't done this in a while, now, haven't we? Okay. There we go. Get the sponge. The cheap sponge, apparently. Scrub her up. Yep, that probably hurts a lot right on your wound there. I know. I'm, I'm so sorry that i know don't get it in her eyes don't get it in her her eyes you idiot so sorry dog i forgot i don't even know what's her name what's your name your name is chance this is your second chance there chance all right there we go do that grab the hose water it down again hold on tight to your bandage you might need to redress that <laughs> this dog has like not moved a single muscle like even in the in the vent in the in the like on the surgery table, she didn't move a single muscle. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and dry her off. Here we go. Yeah, love it. Hey Bella. Hey Mercy. There we go. All right, she's all clean now. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's go put her in a cage. Get her some food and some water now. This game looks so relaxing. It, I would have to say, if I like, if I was playing this casually, I, you could easily play this game, right? Um, you could easily play this game and probably have, um, what is it? Uh, like YouTube on the side or TV on the side, whatever you're watching on the side. You know, you could you could do both for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, so look at this. Adoptability is at 100% now. Very good. So happy, loyal, likes children. Let's get this dog going here. Let's get Huck out. Okay, Huck. We're going to take a picture of you. Actually, no, no. We have a photo studio, Huck. <laughs> Let's go use the photo studio. Waterproof bandage. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. Can I put you on the table? Oh, I do put you on the table. Okay, look at me. Hey, Huck. <laughs> Huck. Other way, buddy. I, I'd rather not take a picture of your rectum and put it on a Craigslist ad. This is not what I'm doing. All right. Maybe I put him on the ground. There we go. He goes on the ground. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Actually, hang on a sec. Do I put this on here? No. No. Okay. That's, that's actual for the real camera, not the instant camera. All right, Huck. I don't know what we're doing here, but this is our first time using it. So enter photo mode. Here we go. You look beautiful. Fantastic. Good job, Huck. You look frightened as all hell, though. Maybe I can make decorations. Maybe I can make backgrounds and stuff for them. I probably could make backgrounds, which is kind of cool. 
So on that white, you know, on that white screen, you could probably make some cool backgrounds with the decorations that you can buy. Oh, that's fun. That's really fun. There you go, Huck. All right, let's put them up for adoption. Yeah, it was very relaxing until uh, Henry came along. <laughs> As one shiny dog. Currently have you streaming while playing also. See, exactly. That, that, exactly my point there is like that, that this is an easy, very much easy game to do, do such thing. Um, all right, let's get this dog going here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We need to put the picture on scanner. There we go. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy is a remake complying, complying of the first three entries in the right. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations into a single package. Ran into Henry on the streets and, scra and sca scratched up. Okay, here we go. Huck? Here we go. Yeah, dude, Huck. Or no, was it Huck or was it Chance? Chance, it was Chance. Henry got Henry got after Chance. That's what it was. Uh, okay, here. Go here. Select Huck. There we go. Create an ad for Huck. There we go. Wonderful. We'll wait for the, the things to pile in. You should... Oh, that's a freaking idea! That's a fantastic idea! I should add the Adopt Me sign in the photo studio. Yes! Yes. Yes, I should. You know, yes, I should. That is a good shout. Yes. Jonathan Ramsey. Okay, Huck. Jonathan Ramsey. So, Huck is a happy, loyal, like children kind of dog. He needs children within the house himself. Now, um, Jonathan is looking for a happy, loyal, quiet dog. Now, he has most of the perks here. Hopefully, this guy has children. He does not have children. Okay. Not good. Um, Dominica? Dominica? Dominica Cruz? Let's talk to Dominica Cruz. She's looking for a happy, loyal dog as well. So that 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 helps out. That helps out Huck. Now, will she have a house full of kids, though? She doesn't. She doesn't. Now, I could go with matching the, the 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 dog with uh certain desired traits or i can match the dog with the best condition for the pet and honestly i think i should match the pet with the best conditions like housewise traits are good and all but i think matching the house to the or matching the dog to the right house might be a little more important maybe i i don't know you know She's looking for a dog, just in general. Brave, quiet, and kind-natured. Agnes. Looking for happy and likes children. Okay. She might have children then. If she if, if she's looking for a dog that likes children, she probably has children here. Let's see. She probably does. Yep, she does. All right, perfect match. Thank you, Agnes. There you go. There we go. All right. Huck is now good to go. Where did I leave Huck? <laughs> did I, leave him? I left him in the cage, right? I didn't leave him sitting on the veterinarian table, did I? Or the photo studio table? No, there he is. All right, there's Huck. All right, Huck, time for you to go. Oh, I forgot Huck was injured too. All righty. All right, Chance, how are you doing? Chance, you need to go to the... Oh, baby. Looks like Chance needs to go to the bathroom here. Yep. I love it. I love the fact that we choose the best condition for the pet. That's that's That means more, right? Reputation hit 2,000. We did hit 2,000 points in reputation. 2014, baby. All right. All right, do you need to, like, go outside? I know... Oh, he's chewing on the toy. Oh, very good. There you go. We're going to put you out here. There you go. Go to the bathroom. And then while you go to the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and, like, sweep up the floor in here, if you don't mind. It does... Oh, God. It does say the, the, the floor is technically clean. So I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Did you go to the bathroom, dog? Did you go over here? You did. You son of a gun. <laughs> All right. There we go. Pick up after you. There we are. 
Throw you in there. Okay. Um, Chance? Don't put that in his head. Don't. Sorry. Sorry, Chance. No, I just almost poured water on it. Okay. How are we doing with Chance? So, Chance, we can actually take. So, let's... Let's... let's hang on a sec. Let's actually put <coughs> Chance down. And let's take the Adopt Me signs. Because I like that idea. And then let's go ahead and take Chance. And we'll use that part of the decoration in the photo studio. Yeah. Maybe you can get clothes for the pets to wear. That would be that would be lovely. Okay, we'll put that there. Okay, and then we'll put the adopt me sign. Maybe like, oh wait, can we can what? Yeah, okay, there we go. Put the adopt me sign like right here. I can't wait till we upgrade. Now we can upgrade our our camera, which we will we'll be able to do. Now hang on a sec. Can I actually put you on the table and you face the right direction? No, that that's not correct. Okay, so you're still down there. All right. Well, in that case, let's bring this and make it like... Oh, we can't put it down here on the ground. It has to go on the table. Oh, that sucks. That's a big sign, dude. How am I going to get all of this in there? Okay. <laughs> hey! Adopt me! Big, huge sign. Little tiny dog in the background. <laughs> Are you adopting the sign or are you adopting the dog? Well, I guess that that's up to you, right? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm bringing the dog into the office. No, I don't need to bring the dog into the office. <laughs> Might want to sweep where they go potty at. That's a good shout. 6.30 p.m. for me. Gotta go make dinner. Oh, that sounds amazing. I would love to have some dinner right now. Or maybe late lunch. Let's go ahead and grab this picture. Put this picture back on the wall. No, no, no. What did I do? No, no. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Poor dog. This dog, like, totally got... <laughs> oh, chance. Have a second chance here, buddy. Here, adopt my sign. Take my sign. Incorrect photo. Post a photo that clearly shows the animal you want to put up for adop adoption. Fair play. Fair play, game. Fair play, indeed. Uh, yeah, I, I did kind of feel... I felt kind of bad <laughs> because of that. That's funny. Okay. All right, let's see here. A hey, chance? A hey, chance, buddy, old pal? Turn around. Please turn around. <gasps> yes, that's that. Oh, oh shit. Chance is sick. Oh, damn it. All right. All right. All right. That's a party foul right there. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> terrible timing, Chance. Terrible, terrible timing. Yep, you're sick. Let's go ahead and get some medicine for you or figure out what's going on with you. Oh, no. Sorry, Chance. What just happened? Games will never make the broom realistic. That animation just spreading the dirt even more. I know, right? At least they know why you're taking the picture. Yeah, at least the game does know that. Okay, um, test results. He needs eye drops. Okay, we can do that. We have eye drops, yeah? I believe we have eye drops. Or we did have eye drops. Maybe we don't have any anymore. No, I think we only had one. So we gotta buy some more eye drops. Buy some medicine, some eye drops. Yeah, we only had one. So let's buy the eye drops. Confirm that order. There we go. Cool. Bad timing, Chance. Bad timing. Alright. Package has been dropped. Open that bad boy up. Grab everything that I need. Alright, come and do your rescue, buddy. Here we go. Yep, I know. It's terrible. Here you go. Did, did we do it? <laughs> Health is green. Okay. Health is green. Alright, let's take your picture now. Good God almighty. There you go. Wag that tail. Wag that freaking tail. There you go. That is not a bad picture. And I think I might have dropped the syringe again somehow. Don't take a... What? <laughs> Don't take a picture of that. Okay, let's put the eye drops back away. Put the picture back in our place. There we go. There we go. No, no, no. Syringe in here. 
Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Let's throw these boxes away while we're at it. Cool. <sighs> Chance has a lot of bad luck. Seems like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, put that in there. Chance also has bad luck with pitchers, but I will keep this pitcher regardless. He's going to have two pitchers. Since Chance has had a like hard time here, we'll give him two, two pitchers. Oh, that's a good picture of Chance, too. Yeah, that's a really good picture of him. Oh, that's probably my favorite picture we've had. Good job, Chance. Okay, let's put him up for adoption. There we go. Create the ad. There we go. There we go. And Chance. Send me off. Woo! All right. Very good. Hopefully people will take a chance on him. <laughs> take a chance on... Take a chance on love! Right? Do, do 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 Is that how you say that song? Take a chance on me. Honey, I'm still... Something. I don't know the full, but you, you know what song I'm talking about. Paul Ramsey. All right, let's see here. Paul Ramsey. Let's match him up here. Paul Ramsey. You're looking for a happy and a children-ish dog. Now, Chance here is a very happy dog. He's a fast eater and he's a glutton. Uh, and he has no living conditions, really. So you honestly... I don't even need to check your inspection because Chance doesn't have any good or bad uh, conditions. As long as somebody's happy, right? I guess this is good. Yeah, this is an easy match. Not too, too crazy. We could have fished for like somebody who likes children, but that's not too, uh, it's not too dire, right? There we go. Take a chance on me from ABBA. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> See you, Reagan. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you, Reagan. Good to see you. Glad to see you. You stopped by again. Thank you so much, Reagan. You take care. Yeah, we'll take a chance on taking a chance. <laughs> there you go. A little bit shaved, a little bit hurt, but uh, this is probably my most emotional dog here. Most emotional adoption. Stay away from the vehicle. Don't tell me what to do, game. I'm enjoying this moment. Bye, Chance. <laughs> it's not a Henry. At least he didn't pull a Henry there. Oh, the man didn't want a glutton animal. Oh, good shout. I didn't. I didn't see that. Good shout. Good shout. That's the first one that we got wrong. Good shout. I didn't see that. Yeah, that that would be a problem. My kids are loving the stream. Oh, that's wonderful. I love to hear that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more animals in. Let's see what we have here. Should we get a cat? We haven't done a cat in a, in a quick minute. Let's get a cat in. Let's go, uh, cat. Oh, peanut. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get peanut. Yukon and Max. I want to, like, load up the facility with a bunch of animals. Like, just keep bringing them in, bringing them in, bringing them, bringing them in and stuff like that. All right, here comes peanut, everyone. All right, peanut is hurt, so let's take him straight to the veterinarian. We know that. We don't know what's going on with Peanut. Ooh, Peanut has a scratch on him. All right, let's pull out the razor and the bandages. Uh, bandages, there we go. All right, Peanut, hold on tight. I've never shaved a cat in my entire life. I've shaved my dog plenty of times, but not a cat. <laughs> I have a great feeling they do not like it. All right, there we go. How are you doing on health-wise? So we need to clean you up too. Let's go ahead and bring you out a brush. There we go. We'll bring you out a brush and clean you up. There we go. Wow, that went really fast. So now his hygiene is up. There you go, Peanut. What else do you need? You need some hunger. You need some thirst and all that. Yeah, let's just take you to uh, take you to your cage now. All right. Chance wave goodbye. That's the first I've heard a cat being named Peanut. <laughs> there you go, Peanut. Go ahead, go ahead and have some food. Can you put more than one animal in the cage? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. No, yeah, because you got to go buy the clipboards here. I don't think in real life they put uh an more than one animals in shelters. I think every animal is have has their own uh, their own enclosure. Shaving a cat is an ordeal. <laughs> I can't imagine. It's already hard enough to give a cat a bath, let alone putting a razor to him. 
All right, let's bring in another one. Let's bring in another cat. Yeah, Max. When I owned a dog grooming shop, we used to call, we used to get a call from a person to shave their cat. We let them know we do not do cats. They would have to go somewhere else. <laughs> that tells you then right there, right? Oh my God. Luckily, we don't have to take the cats to like the showers, right? We don't need to do that. Just put them on right here. Here you go. Hey, Peanut, you have a friend named Max here. Uh, Max, what do you need? Anything special? Food, thirst, a little bit of first status, a little bit of playtime. Yeah, we can do that. We can do all that. Let's do, excuse me, put that away. Um, we want to get the brush out. Start brushing up our cats. Let's brush them while he's eating. Probably did not like that one bit. How you doing over here, Peanut? You good? You want some fun? All right, let's give you a little bit of fun action here. There we go. We'll get the laser up and running now. Oh, baby. Yeah. Get it. Go, Peanut. <laughs> the only time I saw more than one cat in a cage at the shelter was young kitten from the same litter. Yeah. Yeah. Staying with their mom. Because they need their mom just because of the, you know, nourishment and the milking and all that. Cats are only shaven for medical reasons. I mean, they're, they, they, they shed, right? Cats naturally shed. Now, I remember when we had a long-haired cat, when I had that long-haired white cat, like I was talking about. Um, the problem with him is that his hair, his long hair, constantly got knotted up. Like, so many knots got into his hair. That was one of the most annoying things. And I know it's like, well, you gotta brush him. That's true, you do. But sometimes, you know, you don't brush him for like a few days, maybe a week, and oh my god. His hair would get knotted up. That was a pain in the ass to deal with. There we go. <laughs> the thing is that cats would attack if you if you need, but dogs would just try to resist or tug away. I know Bella. Bella doesn't like going to the groomers. She doesn't like getting her, uh, her, her, her nails done. She's not a big fan of that. Um, but she likes to get her nails painted. So she is a fan of that. <laughs> there you go, kitty cat. Give you some water. You good on the water? Nope, you need water. All right, we'll give you water. Give you a little bit of cat food as well. We're going to probably need to buy some more cat food here in a sec. There you go. Oh, shoot. I just dropped the box of food. Hi, buddy. Do you need some food, too? We'll give you more food. Give you a fresh bowl of food. There you go. And then a nice, fresh bowl of water. There you go. All right. You cat. Okay. Get the syringe out of there, though. Get the syringe out of there. Why are syringe... Like, I feel like syringes are just popping up out of nowhere. Put the syringe there. Okay. You guys stay put. You guys have fun. I'm going to go adopt another... Or I'm going to go rescue another animal here. <laughs> we have a solid black cat named demon and he is so funny when he chases his tail and hey, subscribe and yes he earned his name demon <laughs> that's funny <laughs> how about it the outside enclose a bit enclose it a bit I want to buy the, um, I want to buy the other, like, enclosures, too, and things like that. Gonna get going. Have a good night. Hey, good to see you, James. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. Really appreciate that, James. Thank you so much. Um, you have yourself a good night as well. I do want to get Yukon and Samantha in. Ventex says, hey, how's the game compared to the demo? Well, uh, it's full. It's open. You know, it's, it's full access. You get to... You get to do a lot more. You get to build, um, which is very important. I'll show you here. Uh, you get to do reputation points. You get to do statistics now. So uh, you get to compete regional, national, and global. You have your cleanliness. You have finances, of course. Um, and then where, where, where was it going? Oh, yeah. And you can go ahead and start building out your, um, your shelter, right? You can expand it, make it big, huge, photo studios, other upgrades warehouses um trash depots 
washing stations of different kinds of levels and things like that. So there's a lot more decorations, of course, as well. So yeah, um, there's, it's basically the full game compared to the demo. <laughs> so, I mean, you get all the other stuff that they uh, had previously advertised uh, during the demo, I guess you could say. Yep. I didn't take my cat to the vet yesterday. He hated me for the rest of the day. Probably for the rest of the week. Let's be fair there. Okay, so dog. Get, hang on a sec. Dog, are you okay? Hello, Hans. How, how's it going? Good to see you again. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome back. He looks very skinny. His health is good. He could do a little bit of, a, of, of washing. Yeah, let's give him a nice wash down. <laughs> okay, let's put him down. Let's give him a nice little scrub scrub here. Get him some uh, shampoo. There we go. Good job. Whoops. And then add him there. Grab the sponge and do this. Scrub him down. This is actually kind of dark. We haven't seen this. This is, this is, I don't know what kind of color you would call this. Like, I don't know if you call it dapple or something, but uh, this is like the kind of color that Mercy is. This actually reminds me of Mercy. Mercy! Come here, dog. There we go. Very good. Awesome. Put that there. Let's go ahead and wash him down. There we go. So good. Thanks for the info. Definitely get inspiration checking out what you're playing. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I'm glad that I can bring a little bit of inspiration and at least give you some ideas of what games to try out and what games to play. That's awesome to hear. Glad I can do that. Let all the pets together to play in the area. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them all out there. See if they... I don't know if they interact with each other. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a pity mix. That's what it seems like. Yeah. That's what it, it does seem like. Hello, Nectarina. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. What about myself? I'm doing good, Hans. Hans. Um, Brindle. That's a nice, good color. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing good because um, I'm playing a game that I've been waiting for a very long time. Uh, this game came out today, and uh, I've been waiting a very long time for it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I also sold a bed frame today. Also definitely excited because the reason why, you ready for this? The reason why I sold my bed frame is because we have a queen bed, right? We have a queen bed, and it was... It's old. It's a hand-me-down bed, but the ba bed frame itself was a very, or is, uh, well, it was high-tech. It was like one of those, it's one of those reclining bed frames, so like you could recline your bed all the way up if you wanted to type thing, but we hardly ever used it. Anyways, one of Danielle's friends, her husband, recently bought a king-size bed, and he's OCD, apparently, like heavily OCD, and apparently... The mattress that they bought, the brand new mattress that they just bought last week, came to them and it had like some kind of weird smell to it. Maybe like, uh, like a, not a weird smell, but like a, uh, what, what, like, like, not like a fresh car smell, but there was a smell to it that I guess her husband just couldn't stand. So they went and bought another bed. So in their extra bed guest room, they have this king size bed and, and it came with a frame and everything. And they're like, well, we don't need it anymore. Would you guys like to buy it from us for really cheap? And we're like, uh, because we've always been in the market for a bed, but beds, let's be honest, are very expensive. So uh, we were like, yeah, that would be kind of cool, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, I actually want to go for these dogs. They're hurt. Mocha or cash? Let's go for mocha. So... We sold the bed frame today. We just said, hey, can you wait if you if you guys, like, wait for us to sell our bed frame. We'll put our mattress on the ground for, like, a week or something until we can get your guys' bed. And so we're using the money that we sold with the bed frame. We're using that money to um, to buy the king bed, king size bed from our friends. So, yeah, very excited. Never in my entire life have I ever owned, even as an adult child whatever it might be i've never owned an a king size bed so this is like this is like a big deal <laughs> this is a big deal to me so i'm just wanting to have some you know a good night's sleep 
because sometimes it's kind of hard to do that when you have little ones, little doggies, uh, that like to uh, have hierarchy <laughs> over you. So, I don't know. Um, you know, when your dogs uh, like to think they, they own the house, you know, things sometimes get complicated. And so, yeah, it's very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, so Mocha seems to be okay now. Let's go ahead and put Mocha in. There we go. Mocha, Mocha, Mocha. Put you in here, Mocha. You, you're going to buy this on April 1st? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful there, Hans. I blame you. I just bought this game. Lady Kryptonite. Oh, dude. Oh. It's a cool game, right? It's a fun little game. You could definitely put a lot of hours to it. And like I said, if you own House Flipper, if you own Gas Station Simulator, if you own Cooking Simulator, if you own any of those any of the three right if you only own one of them that's good because then you can buy this game right now for a bundle for 20 percent off so you could get this game for about 16 dollars usd and i know you can well well get way over um 16 hours worth of of gameplay in this game for sure for sure but only if you like this kind of game. If you like this kind of game, yes. Somebody did say, hey, does it get repetitive? Well, I mean, kind of, yeah. But, like, I don't know. It just, it's a good repetitive. You know, some games have bad repetitive. This is, this, I, I get down to this, right? This is a repetitive I like, you know? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Keep playing, Mocha. Let's go. <laughs> Mocha! What happened, Mocha? Did you break? Oh my god. Oh, the game just saved? Alright. Slight chemical smell? It might be. It might be. It, I don't know. It was like some, some kind of weird smell or something like that, they said. There you go. Let's go for the ball. Send it! Come on. Now I can't send it. There we go. <laughs> Oh, the ball went into the enclosure. Hello, Christina. How much did I miss? Well, I, I would have to say maybe four hours of content just now, but, that, that you know, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You can always rewatch. A king size is awesome. Yeah, I have no idea. Will you play uh, Spirit of the Island more? Yeah, probably will when the big updates come out. Yeah. Dude, the, the ball is, like, acting funny. There you go. Is this fun all the way up? This fun is all the way up. How's your fun? You want some fun? Okay, let's put both of them both of them out here. This is your friend. Be nice to your friend. <laughs> Be nice to your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna play? Look at that, dude. Look at his paws. That's how you know it's a mixed pit bull, right? That, the paws on him are huge. Maybe if they have interaction okay. I was say, maybe if they have interaction with them, with each other. Then, um, maybe their fun even goes up, too. <gasps> Are they chasing each other? Mop it up. Mop it up. Mop it up. Mop it up. Mop up the grass. Mop up the grass. Are you guys, like, just chilling out, having fun? You guys are. They're socializing. Yeah, and it does help their fun. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Now, can I just take pictures of you guys? Peanut looks bad. Okay, that's terrible. That's the cat! Oh, no! I forgot we had cats. <laughs> no! Peanut! What the hell is going on? Peanut, you look sick? Okay, let's take care of Peanut. Hey, Peanut. Um, I need to, like, take a blood sample from you. Here, buddy old pal. All right, let me just wait for you to get done scratching the post. Come on, roll through, turn around. There you go. There you go. Okay, don't have the water bottle in your hand. Okay, now let's go send that sample off. Where's that sample at? There it is, blood sample. Okay, hold, hold on, peanut. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Now, I, I do assume that they're going to be throwing out hot fixes for this game very soon. Very soon. There we go. Throw in there. 
And then let's go ahead and put, well, let's see. Did we get, is it medicine or is it a syringe? What do we need here? Detected eye drops. Easy, easy. Nothing too worried about there, Peanut. Some will fight too? Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. I did not know they would fight too. Oh my god, your guys' litter box. I know, I haven't seen you guys in a couple, in like a hot minute. Um, eye drops. Let's get your eye drops in here, Peanut. There we go. There you go. Come on. Let's give you the eye drops. Come over here, Peanut. Peanut! Oh, you son of a gun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what a peanut here is in a sec. I don't know what that means, but something's gonna happen. Okay, put you down. There you go. There we go. Fine. Oh, I thought he had three eyes. Okay, there we go. He should be fine now. Yeah, he should be a-okay. It's gonna take this syringe back in our pockets. There we go. Okay, good. <sighs> peanut is fine. All right, wonderful. Let's go ahead and, um... Let's take pictures of the dogs. So yeah, we don't have pictures of the... I don't think we have pictures of the cats either. So all of our shelters are all technically... Um, they are technically filled, right? Our enclosures. Okay, here we go. No, 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 hey! Dude, Jason, come here! Gosh darn it. Okay, so this is probably the bad part <laughs> about having both of them out. Is they want to chase each other. Okay, you stay right there. Don't move. Look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Yukon. Yukon. Great job. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's Mocha. Hello, Mocha. I just dropped the camera. Hold on. Hold on, Mocha. Don't move, Mocha. Oh, blue. Pretty blue eyes and a nice little bark action. Love to see that. All right. Cool. All right. That's done. Uh, I guess we got to go and like, take a picture of the cats, too. I got too much stuff in my inventory, I do. There we go. Come here, buddy old pal. Come here, Peanut. Put you out here. Put you out here in the sun. And let's go ahead and give you this. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're a two-tone two color. I didn't know you were two-tone. Look at those green eyes. Thank you, Peanut. I will get you out eventually. I just put you down. Mocha wants to chase the cats. <laughs> my cat hit the keyboard. <laughs> I just see the number three. Oops, my cat just hit the keyboard. <laughs> that's the thing, like, about cats. Like, you ever, like, like I, that's why, like, another reason. Well, that's not the only reason why I won't get a cat. Um, because, like, you know, cats jumping on the keyboard and, like, and, uh, and, 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 you know, getting all wild. But, like, I can't have a cat because I have, like, an open enclosure when it comes to, uh, guinea pigs. So, you know. That's probably a disaster waiting to happen if I had a cat in the house. They could just, he could just jump right into the cage and whoop some ass, for all we know. <laughs> so it depends on their personality. Some are aggressive, right? So the aggressive ones probably would fight then, yeah? Let's put these in the scanner now. <laughs> I thought he only had three eyes. No, that's coming in the, in the next DLC. <laughs> put that in. The best thing to do once they have been initially enclosed is to let them freely or let them free and if friendly and keep the enclosures open. I mean, obviously, like, yeah, because then you don't have to worry about fun as much. Like, they're both out. Look at him. He's like, you can barely see him way out there, but he's like by the door, by the fence, just chilling and like, what's going on, you know? So we're going to put four animals up at the same time on adoption. And we're going to kind of cycle these guys out go oh cat put the cats over here uh put the cat over here i hopefully they like change in like a hot fix or a bug fix that um that if you put pictures on the wall that it saves them on the wall when you exit and come back into the game all right let's see here let's go to animals first things first is going to be peanut we'll get the ad going for peanut uh, which one's peanut 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 this one get peanut going there we go and then we'll have max going great add for max and this is going to be like a big lump so this potentially right here
could give us uh, around maybe more than two thousand dollars if we get if we uh if all these animals get adopted which i'm sure they will right who the heck was this yukon uh yukon oh look at that he's a beefer he's a beefer dude he's a beefy little guy i like him there we go and then we'll get mocha uh, out there on the market as well um mocha yep awesome all right let's see here olaf is looking for peanut all right so let's talk to olaf and have him talk about peanut so olaf is looking for a funny and trustful cat uh peanut is a funny large bladder and high energetic cat looking for a lot of different things let's see who else is looking for peanut marianne fisher marianne fisher is looking for a funny cat so let's see here let's give marianne a quick uh, dab here see if she has a big house a garden and free time that's going to depend on everything here we want the best living conditions she has nothing <laughs> terrible uh sorry marianne you are the weakest link goodbye all right olaf time for you to send me off here <laughs> you are not right for peanut you are definitely not right for peanut all right, what do we have here? Olaf, virtual visitation carried out. We have funny. Uh, he does have a garden. He doesn't have a lot of free time, but he also has a big house. Um, he does not like glutton, and he does not like animals that get easily bored. So everything here checks out, mostly. The only thing that doesn't check out is the free time. Now, because it's a cat, I think for the most part... Um, Two out of the three for the best conditions for the cat is good. I'm going to leave Olaf right there for now. Um, he might be someone. Let's talk to Emily, though. Emily is looking for a happy, large bladder, quiet cat. Let's see if she has a good living condition for Peanut. If she has all three, then I will, I'll, I'll pick her. If she doesn't, and she doesn't, so she's kind of the same as as Olaf. So you know what? We'll match her. We'll match them. That'll be a good match. Okay, so they're matched off. Uh, Max is next. So let's talk to Max and Dominica. So Max is a distrustful, loyal, quiet. Wait, what? How can you be distrustful and loyal? Even if the world clap. This is strange. <laughs> well, at least we have loyal. Done. But max is looking for adults without home and have free time we have one thing here so let's let, hang on a sec before we actually do that let's take, take a look at agnes here agnes is looking for a quiet intelligent cat now this is quiet let's go ahead and do agnes if agnes has adult without children and free time she will have uh she'll she'll take max yeah she'll take max we'll just have to see she does have free time and she does have a house without um children yeah that's a match there we go okay yukon yukon we have emily and nicole let's talk to nicole so yukon likes children is distrustful and is funny she is looking for a funny dog and then she needs uh kids in the house so hopefully nicole has some children if she doesn't it's not happening. What about Emily? What's going on with Emily? Emily's looking for a funny, loyal dog. Okay. Go back to Nicole. Nicole has free time, which is good, but she doesn't have any kids. And sorry, if you don't have any kids, then Yukon is not the person for you. Yeah. Definitely needs kids in the house. If that's a trait, right, and a condition, I mean, come on. We got to do that, right? Kids in the house good okay yeah kids in the house doesn't have a lot of free time but oh wait no this person does have a lot of free time free time kids in the house and funny this works out okay yukon has been matched mocha let's get mocha in uh mocha let's try to match with emily so mocha is loyal likes kids and needs kids and is trustful good she's also looking for someone who is loyal and is looking for um uh, children as well we'll do that did it show you uh Yukon as sick? Oh no. That's not good. And we just adopted. <laughs> and we just put up for adopt adoption. Oh god. Um children in the house? Yeah, this is gonna work. This is a match. Alright. 
Yukon is sick. Maybe I can fix him up before he leaves. Yeah, let's fix him up before he leaves. We'll do that. Yukon, what's going on, buddy? He is sitting here. Did he sprain his, like, leg? What's going on, buddy? You all right? He's sick. Okay, so he is sick. Let's take a, uh... Yeah, yeah, don't bark at me. I'm trying to help you. Let's take a syringe here. Come here, come here. Yep, we're gonna take a syringe. We're gonna figure out if you need pills. If you need anything else. Eye drops or whatever. I don't even know who the first one was. Was it Peanut? I think Peanut was the first one. So we can at least drop off Peanut. We'll let that go. Let's go ahead and grab Peanut real quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Peanut. There we go. Peanut. You're first to go, buddy. Why did that... Do we have... Oh, we do have a cat outside. I was like, why is there... Why is there feces outside? Oh, it's because we left a cat outside. Okay. There you go. There you go. See ya, Peanut. All right, let's go ahead and take care of our boy uh, Yukon. Make sure he's okay. Adoption. Perfect. Perfect. That's a good. That's good. Yeah, good, good, good hit here. Reputation's gonna come in. I hate the sad face on Peanut. Woo! Did you hear Bella bark? Might have heard Bella bark. She's kind of crazy. Okay. Um. Yeah, check the computer. I hate that you have to go all the way to the computer just to read this uh, this test. So, Peanut. No, we don't need Peanut. Yukon needs pills. And we got $400 just about for uh, Peanut. So, okay. We need pills. Do we have pills? We do have pills. Okay, great. I'm going to give Yukon his pills. And then we will... Yep, looks very bad. I'm coming, Yukon. And then we'll send out the other dogs. Or other pets. Animals. What if you could be like, what if it, this was like exotic animal shelter too? Like if there was DLC for exotic animals, like, hey, here's a freaking parrot. <laughs> here's a, here's a ferret. Here's a parrot. Here's whatever, you know, like exotic animals. That'd be fun. Hey, you, you chew on that buddy old pal. And I'm going to go and deliver this cat now. And we'll deliver every single animal that we have here. There we go. Um, oh, this cat's outside. Max. Did I give it to Mocha? Hey, I can't put the cat. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Hang on. Whoops. Hang on. Hang on. I will like drop the cat in the freaking <laughs> dog <laughs> enclosure. Mocha or Yukon. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hey, at least somebody's paying attention. Uh, sorry, buddy old pal. Yukon, you son of a gun. I, I guess... I guess he just got his vitamins. Mocha got his vitamins. Here you go, buddy. Oh, my lord. Here you go, Yukon. God damn it. Keeping track of so many dogs and animals and names and things like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. All better. Actually, Yukon is going to be the next one to go. So, Yukon, you better get up and ready, dude. Because... Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Yukon, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it's Yukon. This your is this your bus? <laughs> is this his? I guess so. Bye Yukon. Sorry for the confusion, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that he was distrustful. I didn't realize the the I didn't realize Emily didn't like distrustful. Oh, that's a shame. That's alright. At least it's not too big of a penalty, right? <clears throat> Here's a sick guinea pig to adopt out. Small animal DLC. Exactly. That would be cool, dude. Or like a rabbit. A guinea pig. A rabbit. A uh, whatever, right? They can do a lot with DLC-wise, for sure. With a game like this. With animals and things like that. All right, Mocha. Thank you for having a vitamin on me, buddy old pal. Yep, it was the Flintstone ones. The chewable ones. Yeah, take care. <laughs> Good. 100 times 150. I wonder what the multiplier comes from. Like, I don't know what the 1.50 comes from. There we go. Bink. Nice. Reputation 175. Very good. All right. How much money do we have? I don't know if we have a lot. I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. Bunch of messages just came through. Thank you for the pets. No problem. Uh, let's see build here. Because, like I said, the, the one thing that we actually do need to get in maybe is is going to be hmm, 
dog cages right because the, the enclosure yeah the enclosure is the actual grass one so we're going to need to get dog cages and cat cages these are going to be the next level one buildings that we need to get so that's all together about nine thousand plus dollars and we're currently at 3300 for much as we are yep 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 put all the pictures on board yep we already did that oh aquatic animals that's a good shout i rehab rescue reptiles too bad they uh don't have that in the game have you ever seen like the like those tv shows like the dr pole you ever see anybody ever seen dr pole ever seen that tv show that uh veterinarian show he's a baller dude i like dr pole he's a good guy i was about to tell you uh about that but you just clicked so fast <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Pull is the shit, dude. I'm telling you. Dr. Pull used to be on our TV like 24-7. Not even kidding. 24-7. Like, I think we've seen every episode to every season. Because Danielle loves that show. It's like one of her favorite shows. And then like exotic... Doc, uh, Dr. K, there's like Dr. K who does the exotic animals and stuff. The birth doctor? It's it, it, like, uh, I guess, I don't know how you say it. like Animal doctor that takes like big animals too, like horses, cows, and, and does that on site. A veterinarian too. I still miss Steve Irwin. He was an amazing man. Um, now you have what's uh oh god, what's her face? Uh, I forgot her name. What's her name? She just got married. I think she just had a kid. Yeah, she just did. She did have a kid. I guess she just didn't get married. It's been a long time, but um, what? I forgot her name. Does it start with the B? Is it Bindi? Bindi? Bindi Irwin? I forgot her name. Bindi? That might sound wrong. Yeah, Bindi. Okay, Bindi. Oh, it is Bindi. All right. I was right. How the hell did I remember that? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now, I don't think these, these cages... I mean, they could be broomed out, but they still say they're clean, so I'm not going to broom them out. Everything clean in here? We're good? I think so. Do I need to clean outside here? No, I don't. Bindi Irwin. What about in here? Anything going on in here? Any bad? I mean, the dogs seem like they're a little bit more dirtier, right? A little bit. So as you can see, at max, we could hold about four animals, right? At max, we could hold about four animals. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we could make a consistent 2000 you know i like i don't know i like the way we we brought all the animals in and then we took care of them all and then we sent them all out at the same time i kind of like that that um that method there i just wish that you could queue up um animals coming into the into the shelter let's hear uh tessa let's get tessa like if i could come and like queue up all these animals that would be great but we can't. I gotta keep running back and forth. Which makes me think that it might not be a bad idea to move the veterinarian office closer to the entrance. Like over here. Maybe swap the office out over here and with the trash and all that. It's a good shout. Here we go. Alright, buddy old pal. Put you in. Let's check to see how you're doing. How are you doing? Are you hurt? You're not hurt, right? No, Tessa, you're not hurt. But I, I know, I know. You need food. We'll give you food. There's your food. There's your water. Wonderful. You know what? Probably should like get this ready for the next dog. <laughs> and do that. There we go. And then probably we'll take him out. Maybe here in a sec. How's his fun? Yeah. We'll need to socialize. So let's bring in another dog for him. Or her. I guess it's her. Tessa. Yeah, it's probably a her name. Alrighty. Let's hear it. Um, Tessa. No, no, no. Rom, Rom, Roma, Romania, Rom, Rom, Romian, Rom, Roman, Romani, Romani. 
Alexis? Oh no, Alexis is hurt. Bring in Alexis. I always like that, uh, like that name, Alexis. Even like, as like a little girl's name, Alexis. I always liked Alexis. Did you see the upcoming Ghostbusters game? I did not see the upcoming uh, Ghostbusters game. I did not. There we go. Oh yeah, we gotta go take her straight to the vet. Here we go, put them there. All right, bandages, give me some bandages. Where's the bandages, bandages, bandages. Anybody see the upcoming Harry Potter game? Let's be real. <laughs> the upcoming Harry Potter game looks kind of spicy. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think you're good, right? I think you're good to go. Yep, you seem to be good to go. If you think about you, if you think about it, you're taking rescued animals in need of care, so they wouldn't keep one hanging in the queue. Right, you're right. You're right. Now, um, they do kind of like rescues where I'm at, and they do it kind of weird sometimes. Um, I think it's because of like overpopulation. They sometimes get like a big van, and they bring all the dogs to like Petco and PetSmart. And, like, there's a bunch of dogs at Petco and PetSmart, like, every Saturday. And you can go there and see what dogs are, like, waiting to be, um, waiting to be, like, adopted or want to be adopted type thing, I guess, right? Let's put them outside together. Let's see if we can have them socialize. Gave them a little bit of food. I wish they could walk in and out of their enclosure if the doors were open, though. Uh, someone went to the bathroom. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't! Oh, you're bandaged. All right. Holiday 2022 announcement just screams delayed to me. <laughs> there was an episode. There was an episode of, I think it was Dr. K. This fam brought in a fair and said, and the doctor said that it's, it's a male or that is male. The fam was shocked. Vet pointed out the, the PP and they said, thought that was their belly button and kissed it all the time. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no. No, don't be kissing ferret pee pee. No. Oh, my God. That is something you probably shouldn't admit on camera, you idiot. Didn't they see the camera crew? And they still went on and said, you know what? Yeah, even though you just told us that that's the, uh, the ferret's genitalia, we still ended up kissing it. Like, maybe that's a secret you keep for yourself. Like, mistakes were made, but don't make it worse. That's like, you just need, like, the wasted screen to pop up right there. That That's a wasted moment. <laughs> oh, my God. Apparently, that ferret was getting, uh... That ferret went to a loving home. <laughs> God. Oh, Casper. Casper looks frightened and he's injured. I'm gonna take Casper. <clears throat> Probably more like 2023 before we get it, but still excited. Right, is it going to be Ghostbusters, like male Ghostbusters and female? Or are they going to do both female and male Ghostbusters? I almost put the cat in the warehouse. Whoops. The whole family, even the kids? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Why would you kiss something that you're just not unsure, that you're just very unsure of? <laughs> Whoa. Let's actually brush the cat. I mean, might as well just brush them while we're here, too. There we go. There you go, Casper. That's hilarious. Look at them. Have fun with each other. Just... They, I think this is another thing they need to fix. They need to fix their animations a little bit. They do kind of get stuck inside of each other. <laughs> there you go. We cleaned your cage. You're ready to go. All right, I'm going to go get another cat. I don't know if I... I think I might need to refeed the cats, though. Yeah, they should probably not admit that on, on Discovery Channel. The only part of the animal I kiss is the forehead. I mean, that, that's the best, right? The forehead is the best, right? Come on. We all know about the forehead. We're all familiar with it. We're all familiar with it here by now. We're very, very familiar. That's that's all you need, baby, is, is just the forehead. All right. 
Ellie looks bad. At least I picked up a couple of animals that do need a little bit of treatment here. I'd rather do that than not. Looks like there's a tick or some sort. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the tweezers. Uh, put them, put the item into the medical tray. Oh, oh, I see. It's, oh no. Okay. It's okay. So I have something on my, uh, on my tweezers. I have a bug from the last time we did this and I need to put it in the medical tray, but it's not going in. So that might be a bug there. Literally. Um, so let's pick up these tweezers and use this. Okay, we take that out. Then we should drop that in there, right? That's the medical tray, yeah? Right? Unless we have to buy a medical tray? I thought that was where we did, like, we dispose the bugs. We'll just put that there for now. <laughs> All right. And then let's brush down Ellie. There we go. And then let's put away the bandages. And let's take Ellie to her new uh, temporary home, I guess. Yeah, temporary home. <clears throat> Ghostbusters 4v1, but no much on characters. Figured there'd be uh, both, but just a quick gameplay session uploaded recently. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, and probably they'll, they'll do that with, like, um, like, I mean, hell, I mean, you could easily do DLC characters, too, as well. Probably cosmetics are going to be a big deal anyways for a game like that. Let's go to get more water. Oh, I just poured that all over the cat's head. My bad. Look at this cat going ape on the on the bell there. Love that. I ran out of water. Whoops. Throw this away. Nope. Too large. F. F, 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 F. I got to run all the way over here just to throw away one container. There we go. I accidentally fully drained my phone watching the stream. Had to switch to my Chromebook. <laughs> That's dedication right there. That's dedication. There you go. All right, you know what? You guys will actually go outside now. Oh, no. What's the health? Why, why, why? What's going on, Casper? You're not sick. Uh, Casper? My man? Oh, you have a tick on you, too. Oh, no. There's a tick on him also. Not good. A lot of cool licensed games coming out, uh, though the Evil Dead and Te Texas Chainsaw are around the corner. That's kind of interesting. Texas Chain. But aren't they like... Um, they're probably going to be... Well, Texas Chainsaw, that sounds like... Uh, mostly like... Uh, what is that one game called? Dying Light? Dead by Daylight? No, not Dead by Light. Daylight. Dying Light, maybe? The one where... Um, the, they, they recently had like a Scream... Uh, DLC that dropped it's like a 4v1 right it's like a 5v1 seems like there's a there's a lot of uh, ways to go within that genre of games uh, let's grab the tweezers see this is the problem though I, I need more tweezers because that that's not working properly uh, unless I need to buy a medical tray hang on a sec cat hang on a sec let me just check the online service here let's go shopping go shop Medicine, hygiene, uh, decorations. I don't think. Hang on. Uh, build. Vet upgrade. Furniture. Vet furniture. Medical table, medical lamp. No, there's no medical tray. That might be a bug then. Literally. Okay, so that's fine. What I'll do is I'll just order more tweezers. I mean, that's all I can really do tweezers confirm the order there we go we'll buy one what are those big blue containers they look like they hope they would hold water yeah i would i would agree with you it says rainwater tank cat certified safety certified i don't know if they're for cosmetics for decorations Texas Chainsaw, probably most going to be like the Jason game. That's what I'm thinking of. It's like the Jason game, yeah? That's what I'm thinking of. Like, I put it in here, yeah? I thought I did. Why are we so short? I feel like we're a child. We are very short. 
<laughs> there we go. Okay, you're good, Casper. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is really just take pictures of all the animals. And then they're good to go. Okay. Put you down. Okay, look at me, Casper. No, you are a fat freaking cat. My lord. Look at the cheeks on that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, Casper. Oh, ca Casper. Yeah, all right. All right. Let's just look away. Look at me, Casper. Hey, buddy. Look at me. Or do that. Let me just step in the piss real quick and just take your picture. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Casper. Thank you for that. Gosh, it's hard to do. All right. Next cat. Come on, Ellie. Have I tried filling the water containers with those big blue ones? I, I think I have, yeah, in the beginning, but I'll try it again. But I don't I don't I I don't think it would work because then uh, there'd be no point of buying water containers anymore in the shop. There we go. There you go. You guys can chill out and have some social time. Yeah, have some social time indeed. I'll be back to uh, take you to your new owners. Now you guys have not moved an inch. Hey, don't fight. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Good action. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon Snap. Okay, good shot. Good shot. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And yes, Pokemon Snap is good. I like it. I have a good time with it. It was fun. All right, let's see here. Scan these photos now. Oh. I think they're, I, I don't know if like in the future when the new camera, you get a new camera. I don't know if they automatically go straight to the computer. I think that's what happens maybe is when you get the actual digital camera, um, the cameras or the pictures go straight to the uh, computer. You don't have to scan them anymore. There we go. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Put it in. Hey, dog one here. Nope, 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 I, nope, there we go, okay, dog two, okay, cat one, <laughs> no, there we go, and then grab here, and put that here, all right, wonderful, let's go ahead, and then, um, get these going on, so Tessa, let's, oh god, okay, water's good, everyone's health is fine, right, everyone's health is fine, Let's get Tessa going. So Tessa, let's create an ad for Tessa. Which one is Tessa? This one? Yep, this one's Tessa. Hard to see that, but I am. Chris is going now. Thank you for, for a great stream. See you next time. Hey, see you next time, Chris. Uh, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. Really do appreciate that, Chris. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I do hope to see you very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it is very repetitive, so it's a, it's for a specific niche target audience. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I mean, I, I, I and I think people that like to grind, right? People that like to grind games, because there is, you know, obviously there's like level two, level three, and things like that. But um, I, I feel like, I feel like the only way to um, who was this for? It's for Casper. I feel like the only way to really fill out your animal shelter is if you deliberately don't do the adoptions, right? You would just fill out all of them like every like if you had like six different enclosures right and then you fill them all out and then you sell them out right i hate to say sell them out but you, you probably understand right that boy is thick okay all right um so let's go tessa anybody look for tessa roxanne's looking for tessa let's get some more i wish this adoption i wish the adoption thing was a little bit more challenging I do. Doesn't seem too challenging. Doesn't seem too challenging. Now, this is a big ask. Like, this is huge condition. This is looking for a, a big house. Looking for no dogs. This person has dogs. Looking for no cats and free time. So, this is actually kind of hard now thinking about it. So, sorry, Roxanne. Can't work with you. Like, Tessa is asking for a lot here. Wow. Um, is a quiet animal. 
I think this alone is going to be hard to find someone. Like, this is four specific things. Big house. We just found it. All right. Well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was. <laughs> okay. Alexis. Let's talk to Alexis. Alexis with Alex. Alex and Alexis. Seems like a good match. It's going for that. Um, desired trait is kind natured, uh, which is what Alexis is. Now, Alexis is also looking for a big house, no cats, no dogs, and more free time. Big house, yes, on the cats. And sorry, Alex, can't do anything about you there, buddy. Uh, Michael Swift. we get Michael Swift in here. Looking for good natured and a calm dog. Does not want a easily bored or silly dog. How do you not want a silly dog? I love a silly dog. This guy, nope, not for you either. All right, well, looks like that's going to be a little bit hard for you, Alexis. Sorry. Um, anybody else want Alexis? Claudia. Claudia wants Alexis. All right, Claudia. Let's see what you got. It does get a little challenging, but not so much. All right. Looking for big house. No whammies. All right, that is definitely a whammy. I might need to, like, move on from you, Alexis, momentarily. Let's go to Casper. Sandra looking for Casper. Um, Large bladder, which is what Casper does have. All these animals, all four of these animals are all looking for very specific things here. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have, again, small house, my god. My lord. Alright. Another Claudia coming up here. Looking for another large bladder. Ladora Vulner. Ladora. Ladora. How you doing, Ladora? Ladora says you're pretty much the only gamer I watch anymore. Grillmaster is hard on the ears. Is hard on the ears. Really? That's interesting. Why I wonder why hard on the ears. Like yelling hard on the ears or or That's interesting. Hard on the ears. Anybody else want Casper? Or we, we're moving away from Casper. Yeah, we're moving away from Casper. Let's go for Ellie. Ellie? So these are getting a little bit more, I guess, difficult. Damien. Looking for a happy cat. This is a happy cat. Does not want a silly cat. What's the conditions? Just free time. Ellie just wants free time. That's it. That's easy. Oh, I see. I see what you mean there, Ladora. Ladora, I see. Free time, yeah. This is this is this is it. Yeah. This is a person. So Damien, that's a match. Great. So I gotta remember these in order. So I have Alexis. No, I have Tessa Ellie. I gotta remember these. Tessa Ellie. Oh god. <laughs> Dog cat. <laughs> um right. To Ellie needs a needs a needs a little bit of a comb through. We can do that. Let's go back to you know what? No, let's 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 do the the two right. Let's do the two for now, so I don't get it mixed up, and so that I can give them a little bit of attention, anyways. Yeah, we'll get we'll give them a little bit of a of attention here. All right, look here. Where are you? Oh my God, it's filthy in here. What is happening in here, Ellie? Brush it up. Okay. Um. This is a filthy, 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 filthy. Where's our other cat at? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Casper the ghost. Okay, so Ellie is going to be coming through. But first things first is going to be this guy in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it Alexis? No, Alexis was hard to find. Tessa. Tessa is the one we found, right? Yeah, yeah, Tessa, yeah. All right, let's see here. Tessa, send it. There you go. Yay! You, 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 you take it out. You go. Have a good one. It's probably a stuffed shirt CEO who never laughs. So silly. So a silly trait would be a waste. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, though. 1.70. Again, I don't know where that increased multiplier is coming from. But hey, 3 th 3K? No 3K. We're going to get 3K, though. Now, next would be this guy. Or this girl. Girl. Ellie. Time for you to go next. <clears throat> Big house, 
because very big YouTubers can't possibly keep up with the community and it gets overwhelming. But with people like Cans, new people who join get opportunities to be heard. Yeah, it's very true. It's it's true. It's true. Very true. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, 50,000, 100,000, you know, and it's a lot of people to keep track of sometimes, right? Tap Crimson Games. How you doing, TCG? Can I call you TCG? Tap Crimson Games. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you. So we did get 3K on the reputation score. That's good. I do want to kind of go in there and and, and 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 give our animals a little bit of care. Like, put them back in their enclosure. Casper's probably like, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Casper in here. There you go, Casper. Have a little bit of fun in there. Your friend got adopted before you. Sorry. And then in here, we'll do the same with the dogs. Uh, yes, you, Alexis, let's put you inside. You are very thirsty, so go have some thirst. There you go. And then I'll clean your guys' cage out once you guys are adopted. Dun, donkey, donkey, donk. All right. These two are being a little bit troublesome, right? $400 and $700, all right. These two are being a little bit troublesome. So let's go back to Alexis, see if anybody wants Alexis. So Anna and Alexis, can we do that? Is that possible? She wants a quiet, calm, and happy with kids. This might be, if she has a big house, no cats, no other dogs, and a lot of free time, this might work. And that is wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Anna. Get out of here. Raphael. 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 Raphael is looking for a quiet, funny dog. We have a quiet dog. This is hard, dude. This is hard trying to find the, the like, one exact, right? Big house. Empty. Empty. Free. Send it. This is it. This is the match. Matchmakers, baby. Perfect. Okay. So, Alexis is done. Casper, you are next. Gabriella, large bladder, okay, does not want any of those, which is fine, okay. All right, so, so far so good, so far so good, okay. Maybe this is this is it right here. This is where we're at. We're at 4K by the way. We could buy a, another building. Not everything was filled here, so sorry, Gabriella. Maybe Nicole. Nicole wants a lot. I don't, I, I, that's just a weird trait. I, I think it is. I think it's a weird trait for somebody that wants a, an animal that has a large bladder. I don't understand it because that's not the animal's control. They're born with what they got. But this is terrible. Nicole, sorry. <clears throat> All right, well, nobody's looking for Casper. <laughs> I don't think you can look for Casper. I'm pretty sure he's a ghost. All right, we'll at least get Alexis out of here. You need a computer with the right specs to play this, these types of games. <laughs> That's right. We're just hanging out and playing some freaking games. That's absolutely right. You're absolutely right about that. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that. That is what we're doing. We're just chilling, playing some games. Oh, that was loud. Okay. Last but not least. Casper. Breathe and Casper. Breathe and Casper. All right, Casper. Nobody is wanting you. I feel terrible. I feel terrible for the cat. All right, we'll just sit, hang on a sec, you know. Casper, nobody wants you.
Uh, what do the submissions mean? What do you mean by that? <clears throat> the submissions? Uh, the submissions. Oh, right here. This is the. This is just uh, people uh, coming in. Uh, they're submitting that they want that they're interested in uh, uh, animals and things like that. It's like an, It's like their application. Yeah, their application. Dude, nobody wants this cat. The, all right, the, the advertisement expired on this cat. <laughs> now we gotta re redo the advertising. All right, try it again. Unless I cancel that out on accident, but. <laughs> yeah yeah and these i would actually look into this too like if these were uh, interested in cats i would definitely look into this but the fact that they're all interested into dogs i can't really do much about that uh, we got six hundred dollars though from uh, from Raphael. That's good. Come on, come on. Still looking for Casper. There we go. Great. God Almighty. Chris Ramsey. All right. So Chris Ramsey's looking for a large bladder, trustful cat. Let's see if he has what it takes. Let's see if he has what it takes. I really like these simulator games. I hope I can get a PC that can run them. I hope you can too. I do. I do hope you can. Because they are a lot of fun. They are definitely, they definitely are a lot of fun. And uh, with simulation genre in general for the past few years and probably the continuous, I, I would say almost forever, um, simulation genre is going to just continue to grow over time. Over time. 100%. Not, not a match. Not a good match here. Still not a good match. Barbara? Does the quality of the pick affect the ad's effectiveness? I don't know. I don't know. If it did, that'd be really cool, though. That would be. I don't know. I can't really confirm that. Gosh darn it. We are not finding anybody for Casper here. Spending $25 each. That's up for another sim game, but Ranch Simulator should have a nice update later this month. I've been waiting for them to get it out, but could be fun. I, I, I actually do own... I do own Ranch Simulator. I've owned it for months now, but I have not played it yet. I've never played it because I do plan on playing that game in the future because a lot of people have uh, requested me to play that game in the past. Uh, but I've, I've owned it for months, just haven't played it yet on the channel. I don't know when, though. I don't know when I will play it um, since right now it's it's like extremely busy with all these new releases and things like that. Hey, is this it? Hey, we did it. Large bladder, big house, no dogs, no cats. Aaron McLeod, send it. Hooray! We got a house for Casper. Hooray! Wonderful. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. Casper, you freaking ghost. Maybe because he was thick. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Casper the thick ghost definitely just couldn't. Couldn't hang, dude. They had a hard time getting the... Look at it. Look how look how slow we're walking because he's so heavy. No. <laughs> he had a negative he didn't want? I did go over the best conditions, though. I did get the best that I could. That was a hard one. I work at one of the bigger hospitals in St. Louis, and when I get home, I'm whooped. Nice to watch someone else play. I get that. I get that feeling. I used to be the same way. Um... Like, I'd get home from work and just be like, I don't have energy to play. I'll just watch someone else play, and I'll just sit and maybe have some dinner or have some food and just chill the hell out. So even with this little tiny, like, dislike, I'm all right, because the best house condition is across the board. It's still a good trait. Even though there's one thing, you know, aggressive, like... That's all right. Casper's a little skittish. You know, he comes off a little aggressive. That's all right. Congratulations. You reached the next shelter reputation level. New items have been unlocked. Well, that's a surprise. I was not really um, expecting that. But hang on. Let's take a look at that real quick. So what 
So that means we have three tickets. Oh my lord. Oh my god. So we can expand there. We can expand there. We can expand here. We can expand there. So very, very, very big. A lot of open spaces here. Now what about this stuff? So we have unlocked office level two, which is interesting. We have unlocked uh, uh, clinic level two, but the money. There might be a little bit of balancing they need to do, like uh, updating the game. They might need to balance out uh, money, maybe, in this game. Potentially. Potentially. Cat cages. So these are the things that I think I need to get in to complete my quest. So at least one dog cage. So we can at least go over here and slide in the dog cage. Right? And this is typically what you would see in, like, your, your, you know, your, your shelters, right? Your local shelter. These kind of cages. Now, I don't have enough money for the cat cage level 1, but I think once I get that in, I think I complete all purchase building levels from level 1. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> Interesting indeed. Uh, but that's going to do it in today's uh, stream, live stream of Animal Shelter. We went 5 hours today. Very good, right? I got to change my text on my, uh, my chat log here in this screen. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna do it in today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed this five-hour stream and hanging out with me for five hours today um, If you guys would like to see more of animal shelter in the future, just let me know um, In the comments or by hitting the like button. I would really appreciate that um, If you're watching this in the replay, I really appreciate you watching up until now um, Because you know, yeah, that's a long that's a lot of content five hours for you Anyways, I do want to say a special. Thank you real quick Special thank you to uh, Leslie for a super chat. Really do appreciate that. Rich, I am. Thank you for um, for the super chat. Shorty, thank you for the super chat as well. Darren, thank you for the super chat as well. Zombie Slayer, thank you so much for the super chat. FM Fan, thank you so much for the super chat. And Patricia, thank you for becoming a member after all these months. Good to see you. And thank you for uh, becoming a member and supporting the channel. Thank you all. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. And just so you guys know, uh, once again, this is hashtag creators for peace. So we are uh, spreading awareness for um, what's going on overseas, at least for me, um, what's going on uh, overseas for the Ukrainian and Russian war. Um, you can go ahead and click the first link down in the description box below if you would like to help support uh, Ukraine children, Ukrainian children as millions of them are displaced because of the war. Um, all donations will go to the help out children to bring back more or a little bit of normalcy back into their lives just a bit. And I know some of you guys from the last stream, you guys did also um, donate, which I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for the donations there uh, for uh, Creators for Peace. Really do appreciate that. Yeah, we will be spreading awareness for the next um, you know week, March 21st to the 28th. And going on and so and so so on. So yeah, thank you guys so much. This was uh, I see yes more of a of a game very relaxing. Uh, yeah. So anyways, it was good to see you. Thank you Cherokee. Thank you Android Gaming. Good to see you. Uh, Mana Forever. Great to see you. Drew. Good to see you as well. Hands. Very very good to see you. Um, Ventex. Ventex. Very good to see you as well. Nectaria. Nec Nectaria. Nec Nectarina. Nectarina. Sorry. Nectarina. Good to see you as well. Um, Tap Crimson Games. Very good to see you. Adi Gamer, good to see you as well. Norman, great to see you. And again, Shorty, you guys all take care. I will see you guys. I got to go make some more videos, believe it or not. I got to go record some more videos for tomorrow. There will be some games coming out tomorrow. Uh, expect tomorrow a workshop simulator episode. And also expect some more uh, driver simulator or grub dash driver simulator, which I... I I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Also, uh, another thing to expect going on uh, later in the next couple of days, expect more games, more new games coming out. Um, I don't know when the next uh, live stream will be, uh, but I will figure that out in the next couple of hours. So I will schedule that here on the home channel as well. If you want to know when the next live stream is, you can go ahead and join the Discord. That's another easy way. And you can join the Discord. And when you want to know when I go live, Anytime you can join the Discord, go to the notification squad tab and click the little bell icon. That is another uh, place where you can know when I go live. So sometimes the YouTube notification bell doesn't work. So there's another way that you can get notified as well there. If you would like to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to join the Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. And uh, you can continue the conversation with me, continue the conversation with the community. And other than that, um, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here. 
by the way, good to see you, Haley. Haley Spooner, good to see you. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, we will get, we will get, we will, I will see you guys. Sorry, I will see you guys very soon. I expect to stream very soon in the next couple of days if not tomorrow there might be a stream tomorrow i have no idea yet right i'm still playing it day by day because there's a lot of things going on this week and in going into the next week anyways been a pleasure thank you all i will see you guys very very soon in the next video or stream or wherever that may be and do as always take care <laughs>